That's cute. I remember when I had my first beer. I'm an idea. <laughs> You are watching the vodka stream. What is happening, everybody? Welcome to the vodka stream. It is Friday. How's everybody doing? Huh? The lounge is open. What's going on, everybody? All right. Uh, we got through another week. Uh, this week was, eh, this week was interesting. Next week, I'm not looking forward to, but whatever. We're not talking about work, real work stuff. We're talking, we're talking, you know, YouTube channels and movie stuff and pop culture and whatever the hell else we talk about here on the Vodka Stream. Make sure you guys smash that like thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. We got, I know, we got lots to talk about, don't we? But, uh, of course, we're going to get uh, Christopher in here. We'll talk about uh, his channel, get his origin story, and uh, have some great conversations. Been uh, been wanting to talk to him for a little bit, and uh, that'll be a good conversation. And then, of course, we'll get the panel in here. What's going on, everybody? hope you guys have a great stream. Looking forward to it. All right, yeah. I try to, uh, yeah, usually uh, the next day when I'm nurturing my hangover, I try to, uh, you know, I get the... Uh, the vodka stream up in podcast form uh, up on your various streaming platforms, your Spotify, your Apple Podcasts, your Google Podcasts, your Amazon Music. So, but cheers, guys. Got my little vodka, my vodka and my uh, LaCroix. Not doing anything different tonight, but cheers. Mm. My vodka spritzers. Uh, yo, what's going on, Jose? I celebrate another appearance. With a, yeah, that's right. I know, right? I just find it funny. It was like, he's back. And then I'm kind of going, yeah, he's going to be in the flash. <laughs> he's, we already knew that. But it's just, but it is great though that he's coming. He's coming back to do at least another appearance that gives some hope for a little bit more bat flick, right? It's really good stuff. Hey, what's going on, Miss Nighthawk? Steph, how's it going? Good to see ya. Good to see ya. Good to see ya. What's going on, Andre? Thoughts? Uh, well, I posted a little YouTube short. To kind of give you my little uh, reaction to it, which mute, move on, ignore. That's pretty much it. Finally free. Well, there you go, Mr. Venom. Good to see you. Tony Movie Chappy D9 Neil Blomkam fan. How you doing? Hey, just got back from watching Super Pets. Honestly, not bad. And very cute. The voice cast was stellar. Yeah, true. I just felt, if you saw my first reaction, I enjoyed the movie. It's an enjoyable movie. Um, but I just felt like Dwayne Johnson. Do we really need Dwayne Johnson voice in crypto? I was kind of going, eh. I wish it was somebody else to be honest so hey we got nikki here miss captain gator girl grace randall <laughs> ahoy hoy, mr jason mckenzie always good to see you sir always good to see you uh on the other side of the world right there yes hello there mr jason all right we got some infinity what's going on will it will be you know right isn't that great and i love that don't we just love how much that blew up the internet like way more that and alan horn you know, coming back to Warner Brothers really gave a lot of hope when it comes to what's happening on the Warner Brothers DC side, more than what happened at Comic-Con. That's what's crazy about it, right? Uh, we got Lane here. Um, yep, yep, yep. Like I said, it was just, eh, yeah, I mean, you can find it entertaining, but I just was not going to not gonna uh, engage. Just happy. For, yeah, exactly. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, right? I mean, as long as we get a little bit of him back. And I think that's kind of what he he said that, though, too. That's what's funny is like he said that he's open to come back. And but maybe it's not going to be like the big, huge whatever. He's that he's down to come back if it's not going to be like that much. But maybe just maybe he'll just be like, you know what? I want to go out with a bang and make my freaking Batfleck movie, you know? Yeah, Batfleck on the menu. I know. I was like, all right, got to wear the Batfleck shirt today. So with that all happening. Yeah, right. She's the one that put it together. He marries J-Lo, and then all of a sudden he's in Aquaman. The power of that booty. The power of that booty. That's right. Getting Batfleck. That's right. We are We're getting some more Batfleck because we already are. We're getting Batfleck. Don't forget, he is going to be in the Flash movie. Prey is a week. I know. I can't wait for Prey. Yeah. 
Definitely can't wait for Prey. So what's going on, Clay Talion? We got Mr. Legend right here. That's right. We got Alex Lopez. Well, I mean, he's kind of back. He's going to be in uh, two movies next year. So that's uh, that's a start. You got to look at it like that. Baby steps. Baby steps. That's the way you got to look at it, man. Way you got to look at it. We got Selena right here. And then we got uh, CB Rue Toys. CB Rue Toys. Indonesia. Wow. All the way from Indonesia. Good to see you. All right. Who else we got? Who else we got here? Hey, thank you for the $1 super chat there, my friend. I should probably pull this up right here. Didn't even think about it. Got a laptop for a reason. All right. Who is CW fell off? Yeah. I still have to catch up on Superman and Lois. What's going on, George? Good to see you. Uh, Tim, uh, imagine we all unfollowed Grace. No, nah, I don't think she would lose it. I think she's got a pretty significant following. So um, I think she'll be okay. But she just, in my opinion, she should have just like, you know, not. I mean, I understand uh, people with big platforms have not had the best experience with the fandom, with the Snyder fandom. Uh, hell, I've even had some bad experiences with that, that certain side, too. But. I think partly it's just because, I don't know, she's like kind of losing her grip on her sources because things are changing over at Warner Brothers Discovery, that's for sure. So, yeah, people are very spunky tonight. <laughs> we knew it was going to be the case there, Scott. So, but you know, you know how it is. Uh, yeah, I did see the Will Smith apology video. Good on him. Good on him. You know, he took some time off and then he sat down and answered the questions, mentioned that he apologized to Chris and his mother. Yeah, you know, and then and then, of course, made the video thing. I just hope now we can get back, you know, to Will Smith getting back to what he's doing, because I miss seeing his YouTube videos. I really do. So. All right. So what else we got? Anybody else joining here? Oh, we got another. Thank you for the two dollar super chat. Ben Affleck's double chin. <laughs> Carson looks like Namer from Wakanda forever. There you go. Maybe he'll cosplay as Namer for uh, for uh, Halloween. You never know. He might do it. Don't dare him. All right. I think we got that pretty much it. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Comb your hair. <laughs> Comb your hair and relax, Grace. Yeah, she. it does look like, like she has a blowout a lot, doesn't she? All right. Let's get my uh, guest in here. I'm going to get started with uh, a little one-on-one. -on -one. My freaking computer will just like do something here. Please, pretty please. Oh, come on. Computer's acting slow right now. My God. What are you doing? What? That's not the page. Come on. Oh, geez. I think my computer's already drunk. My laptop. Ah, there we go. All right. Let's see. Get it in. Jeez. Got too many tabs open. That's what's happening. All right, let's join the stream. Boop. Is this the right? I don't even know if that's the right one. Better make sure I got the right link. <laughs> you know me. Sometimes I send the wrong link. All right. Okay, let's get my guests in here. Let me get all set up. Um, all right, we got that. All right, T3 Media, head of T3 Media Studio. We got Mr. Christopher. What is up, sir? Sir, I have been falling for the past four hours <laughs> falling what i was i was trying to do my loki in person hey what's going oh, on man? Is that what it is? Okay. <laughs> all right now now i got it now i got right. it i just rewatched ragnarok too like a couple of weekends right, ago. right after watching thor love and thunder i thought i'd give uh the rest of the franchise uh, a watch again see how i feel after watching thor how's it going no, oh, man, it's it's going great, man. It's been a great week. I was I was very curious on what you were about to say about next week. I'm like, uh oh, we're about to get to see. Oh, work. Yes. Yeah, I, daytime I, work. I tried. I was like, nope, nope, not going to talk about that. Right. Not right. going to talk about that. So, but yeah, you know, that's a whole it. other thing. Tonight, tonight's all about just yeah. Right now, having a drink and uh, appreciate you coming on, sir. Right. And uh, everybody, of course, I I have the link down below for uh, for Chris's um, Christopher's um, YouTube channel, Three Three Media Studios. And uh, cheers, yeah. sir. I lo I love your shirt, by the way. Oh yeah, life life is a party. That's what I life is a say. party. There you life go. Is, and I like that. It's 
that it's like uh, in the dare font. I remember, yeah. I remember those days of dare and the, uh, the cops, uh, you know, a cop showing up in class and telling you not to do drugs kids. And I'm just kind of wondering if that really helped or did that push kids to do drugs? I don't know. Uh, yeah. I mean, I mean, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, if you got, yeah, if you cops really want uh, to know what's going on, don't, don't look behind the bleachers right yeah, now. I'm <laughs> I'm just, ah, just wondering. I mean, I guess it's still going on too. I don't yeah. know. I don't ever, never really hear about dare anymore, but yeah, uh, I, you know, I thought this shirt was kind of neat. I actually, this was merch that I got from, I, I was invited to that. Uh, what was that movie? Was it? what was that movie of that woman who uh i can't even i'm trying to pull i, I can't even remember the name ma ma what was her name that ma uh, okay yeah was, was with, it ma? Uh, yeah uh where, where she, she was, was like she was like uh you know like friendly with the with the, with the, kid, with the kids yeah, and with, stuff uh, like that but then she was to, spencer right or yeah call me ma yeah something yeah, like yeah. that this, this free merch that they gave me they invited me uh me out to to do a screening of the show and yeah. I, I i was like thanks for the shirt so like, yeah. what, what did you think about the movie? I was like, thanks for the shirt. <laughs> <laughs> movie was, you know, it was fine. It was, uh, you know, she did a good job. She was creepy yeah. as hell. Oh, yeah, uh, she was, yeah. But the overall yeah. movie, though, I was like. Yeah, mm -hmm. it, was, uh, it, was, it, was, it was like one of those where it was like, shirt. all right. <laughs> I watched it. I watched it. It might not be a rewatch anytime soon. Maybe if it's on TV or maybe if it's, if I'm just in the mood to watch something like that again, sure. Right. Maybe I'll watch it. But, uh, yeah. but, uh, what are you drinking? You got a Jack and Coke or what's going on? Pimp juice, my friend. Pimp, Pimp juice. juice. That's, what I call, that's what I call it. Jack and Coke. It'll, it brings out the player in you. I learned that. There on, you go. Uh, another, that's uh, what we uh, want right National, there. National Lampoon's Jake's booty call. That's what he calls it. <laughs> Jake that is a very name. funny movie, by the way. Watch that. Movie. I don't think I've seen that. No. It's, a, it's a cartoon, but yes, yeah, a national. Oh, is national it? Lampoon, okay. National Lampoon's Jake's Booty Call. He, that's all he drinks through the whole movie is is Jack and Coke. That's, Jack and, and Coke. And, and that was years ago, so it's just it's stuck with me ever since. But nice. And I love your freak. I love your studio setup, man. Very <laughs> well done. I like the brick wall, as you see. I like my background of all this. I like the brick wall, and yeah. uh, even when I do my show, like, and I have my little banner in the back. It's green screen, obviously, but then I have a brick wall behind it. I love the brick wall look. I yeah. really dig that look. So, yeah, kudos to your background. I like the posters, like everything. But uh, yeah, it's like a nice little studio you got there. Oh, oh, this old thing? Oh, come on. This old thing? <laughs> I just oh, put this on. Oh, you know? Jesus. This sundress? Oh, this old thing? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Right. So uh, let's get the origin story of T3 Media Studios. How long you been at it? Oh, man, for a couple of years now. Originally, um, about the 2015 uh, area, it was called, we, uh, me and my friend Sean Malloy, we uh, we decided, hey, we we... We were introduced to each other through mutual friends, and when we played uh, Call of Duty all the damn time, we noticed that me and him were the only ones who got our um, our movie references, like RoboCop, nice. uh, things like that. You know, we we and I was like, oh, I know that reference, and we realized that me and him were both uh, movie freaks. So we we came up with a channel. We called it uh, Talking Through the Movies. Originally, that's the that's the original name of this channel. It was T Three like Movies. Um, then after a while, we started talking about more than just movies. So we changed it to T3 Medias. And uh, then I learned that there is no S at the end of media. So <laughs> it was too late. By then, I was getting press passes and invited yeah. and stuff like that. So I'm like, okay, there's, a, there's an S. But, you know, it's, uh, uh, now it's, uh, it's grown to a couple of friends of mine. We, uh, Sarah... Um, uh, my wife actually uh, actually helps me with the show as well as um, yeah. the full time sponsor of it. Thank thank God for her day job. Otherwise, this show would have been gone a long time ago. <laughs> um, I'm, and I'm not a mooch. I do eventually give her foot. Okay. Hey, I'm not, I, I'm not. I'm not. I'm saying I, anything. I'm not I mean, saying anything. As mooch. long as as long as is that as long as Daddy does what I have to do, the show will stay running. I, I put there it. There you go. Uh, but. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and and uh, ever since, and uh, also uh, Amy Newman is another uh, guest. She she's a, a person that helped the channel grow from um, to like a few hundred to like to the to our numbers that where we're at uh, today. And then uh, shout out to her because then she uh, went up to the what I call the big lead. She moved up to the John Campia show uh, recently, mm. and I don't expect her back. <laughs> but uh, probably not if, if she's up to there yeah <laughs> but uh but she no but she has been back since then and uh oh, that's and good it's a it's 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 been a uh it's been fun what we do just like 
entertainment news, movie reviews, things like that. Oh. And um, yeah, every week on Wednesday, I, I try to go live. I, I try to make, I'm eventually going to make it a daily entertainment news show with my show. My show is called The Rundown, where I run down uh, top the trending topics, entertainment news, yeah. movie stuff. Um, but Wednesdays, for now, Wednesdays is when I usually just I go live. And then on Saturdays, I go, uh, there's another show on this network. I'll air quote it, <laughs> uh, where I, I do a podcast called The the Rant Over Show and other, and other things. It's, it's, it's all in the description. If you go to the channel, you'll see it. I, I, there's... There's nothing really going on here. We're we're nobodies over here. Nothing, <laughs> well, how about you? How, well, what's just going talking. on over there? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm just doing my thing, just drinking and talking shit. That's what All I right. do. Right. No, but uh, no, it's cool. I mean, like uh, I remember we we followed each other a while ago, and I think we DM'd each other a little bit ago too, and oh, um, yeah. and then it just took a little bit, and and then it was funny because I would see your tweets and then occasionally I would just just peek in and I'm like man I like this I like again I like the studio setup and I'm like you know me I'm just in the corner of my living room right here and I got my green screen and whatever um and then I was like you know I was like all right eventually and then and then I think you hit me up and I was like well wait a minute shit I totally forgot and then here we are which is also yeah. always great you know oh, no, communication no, I, re people. I remember I remember that I said hey hey Dave uh, you want to collab and it was like excuse me anonymous peasant <laughs> yes, I said no. I'm above you, <laughs> sir. How dare you creep into my DMs? Like, what I'm are sorry, you talking Chris, about? Here? I heard that you yeah. were only five foot six. I'm sorry, it's not going to work. Oh. <laughs> I'm one inch taller than you, actually. So I'm just saying. But if I'm wearing boots, two and a half, maybe. Damn it, yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> Significant shrinkage is what I'm suffering. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Oh man. But, uh, no, I mean, that's, what's so great about this. Uh, and what, you know, that's, what's so been great about Fridays is just, you know, just seeing people on the street, you know, following each other and I'll see people like follow me and I start yeah. looking in and I'm like, all right, this is a person that I want to talk to. And, uh, and, uh, yeah, this is what's, uh, good about all of this. But, um, so when it comes to, uh, the channel, so, you know, so basically you're doing it full, do you have a daytime? Day job too, or just this? Believe it or not, I am a real estate broker. Ooh, look at <laughs> you. You know what? I mean, you have a good speak. I could see it. I could see yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. I, I help people find homes and, and apartments and they That's buyers good. and sellers and things like that. But my my passion is sitting on my ass and doing nothing. Right. <laughs> I think a lot of us have that. I know my passion <laughs> is doing that with a drink in my hand. Yeah, exactly. And oh, that's speak, it's, it's speaking of that, that it's it's funny because when you told me, I said, "Do you ever do you collab with a lot of people?" And you said, "Yeah, yeah. On, I, I on Fridays and and it was it was a drink related." I said, "Me and Dave are going to become best fucking friends." Did we just become best friends? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. No, I know. I mean, that's the thing. It's like you know, after a, a long week, it's just yeah. like, hey, let's just sit back, relax. But, you know, I don't say it's required. If you want to have a drink, go for it. I'm going right. to be drinking. So, right, yeah, right. why not? Well, well right. like, as my wife would say, like, Chris, are you drinking again? No, I'm not drinking again. <laughs> I'm drinking still. <laughs> yes, there you go. That's a good way. That's a good response right there. I like that. You're drinking and you're talking and, you know, it's just, yeah, yeah. it's it's the goal. It's the goal of life on Friday. Just the bullshit. Talk about movies and everything like that. So, well, that's cool, man. And, uh, yeah, like I said, uh, um. Uh, I mean, that's what we all want to do. I mean, it's it's a it's a grind to tell you. It's really yeah. sometimes like just trying to learn stuff. I mean, I somebody even sent me a video of the the new YouTube algorithm and how and they broke it down. And I'm just going, what, <laughs> what? Like, I, I mean, it just seems like this whole thing changes all the time. Oh, I mean, exactly. I don't, I don't know. I mean, I know like with you, you probably like you were saying, you know, you're always just like trying to come up with like new ideas, new uh, shows, or even just doing videos. And you got YouTube shorts, which I know you guys do YouTube shorts. That's like a thing that you have to implement. So I'm mm -hmm. trying to implement that too. It's always things like changing and just trying to just, you know, just lick your finger and go, what, where's the wind blowing, blowing right now? Exactly. Exactly. It's difficult. Yeah. Yeah, it, it is. And it's it's funny. I feel like I and I, I went through a lot of growing pains and, and changes. It was a time when I I stopped streaming for a long time. I feel like I've really like jacked up the algorithm for uh, for my channel because it was I was we were me and my friend Sean were so laser, laser focused on on movies. And then I started doing all kinds of different things. And I, and, I, and people kind of um, they jump ship, they go, you know, because I wasn't consistent and 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 things like that and people are looking at my channel they're like um like dude you you have uh, like what 9000 subscribers that's 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 great i said dude 
I would I don't I wouldn't care if I if I only had like a hundred subscribers. If I had a hundred subscribers, but a hundred people were just shooting the shit and talking because I love talking with people. All yeah, the time. that that to, to me is the dream. But uh, but then I, I I think I pissed a lot of people off because it's like, dude, you used to be cool. You used to have this guy on. We used to talk about this, and now you're not talking about that anymore. And I I I, I think I, I pissed a lot of people off. So now I'm on my apology tour. So. Oh, is that what it is? Apology <laughs> tour? <laughs> is this the first uh, first uh, you know wing yeah. of it right here? I was like, Dave, help me be cool again, man. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's that's what he said right there. That's what the DM was like. I need to be cool again. Be no, cool. no, but I mean, no, I get it. Like when you change stuff. I mean, I I remember this was like at the beginning of. Uh, I remember this. It was a it was a funny text message I got because it was somebody that. Um, that was kind of like giving me the a little behind the scenes of uh, the Directors Guild kind of stuff. At one point, this is before the uh, the Snyder Cut came out and stuff. So you know when that whole thing was going on, he was um, kind of giving me the lowdown about the Directors Guild stuff. And then I hadn't heard from this guy in probably a year and a half, two years. He texts me out of the blue on a Saturday night. I'm literally like, um, I think I was I was at a bar in Temecula, and he goes, "Hey." You should start doing regular videos again and stop live streaming. Just saying. And I went, what? I was like, wow, dude, I haven't heard from you in a while. And he goes, yeah, I'm just saying, like, I like your old stuff better. I'm like, yeah. oh, well, I'll just get right on it then. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like, okay, I'll just change it back to just doing regular videos. And I'm like, I've been doing the live streaming for a year and a half. And all of a sudden you just have, I mean, not, not everybody's going to like, you know, everything that you transition to. But I mean, right. what I like about the live streaming is, there's I, I see the same names in my live chat right here. I got moderators and members and stuff that are always here and always like, you know, down to like hear the discussions, hear what I have to say, all this stuff. And, you know, I like bullshitting with them, too. That's why at the beginning of uh, the vodka streams, I always like to uh, talk to them before I bring the guest on. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, during the live streams during the week, it's like, you know, I'm, I'm trying to see whatever thing. And, uh, you know, and then, of course, I got to get rid of the porn bots and they help me with that. Mm. <laughs> I, you know, I don't mind the porn bots that much. They, you know, they give me, they give me something to think about, you know? Oh well, yeah. With their, with their, with their, uh, squirting emojis and lip yeah, emojis like, and all like, that like, stuff. Do I want to risk this guy hacking into my bank account and stealing all my money <laughs> for that picture? I think I will. <laughs> right. Exactly. Right. I know there's nothing wrong with that and adds that, a little flavor to the that, life. That Nigerian thing. prince seems trustworthy. <laughs> Yes, right. I'm gonna donate my uh, and my half of my life savings to him. It'll come back. <laughs> yeah, but anyways, but yeah. I don't want you to. I don't want people to think that this uh, broadcast is being sponsored by. Oh, don't Jerry worry about it. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Don't worry about it. You can have it up there. It's cool. Right, um, right. But um, yeah, I mean, it's just it's uh, it could be. It could be, uh, yeah, it could be a little bit of a challenge with uh, with everything. Like I said, I got sent yeah. that video about the algorithm, and the guy was trying to break it down, and I'm just like, okay, so basically I just got to do what I keep doing and hope it just goes like this. It just mm -hmm. goes like, <laughs> yeah. like, like, okay. I'm like, I just don't really, you know, understand. And it's funny, too, because sometimes, you know, when I post – you know, I do a live stream, you know, three days a week, and then I chop it up to just do the individual topics because yeah. I thought, all right, well, let's see, you know, people and people who actually were like, hey, I like that because I'm not yeah. going to sit there and watch you talk shit for about an hour and a half by yourself and kind of go through. So, hey, cut out the topics. I'll watch the topics that I want to hear from you. And, right, exactly. Yeah, uh, I like yeah. that. That's, so that's I was like, good, yeah. Good so I thought that was cool. And then and then there'll be times where like there will be one that gets nothing. Nothing happens. But then um, the other day, like uh, I, I did for like, you know, just a brief time. I talked about uh, Brendan Fraser, the first image of him in the whale. And that that freaking clip blew up like it blew up. If you go to that, it's like it blew up because people were just going, what the fuck? That that's yeah. Brendan Fraser. But it's just like, how was I supposed to know that that was going to do that? I didn't. It's it's one of those things where it's probably because you're like one of the only uh, people that's people really talking, talking about, about it. it. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, that, that that always uh that always throws me off too because I, I do the same thing on, on my channel i don't uh, guys trust me, i'm not copy carbon copying everything that that dave's doing on his channel yes he is Man. don't don't know yeah he's a liar <laughs> but uh i yeah i segmentize <laughs> by, by my topics too ever since yeah. this conversation and uh and it, you like you're right you'll be surprised that, that, that the things that you think in is just going to be okay it's an okay video be the one video that'll get crazy amounts of uh, uh views and and things and 
And then I get, but my problem is then I get into my own head and I'm like, oh, okay. So th- do I need to change the, the algorithm again? And then, then that's what I, yeah. I do. I, I fuck it up. Then I, I mess with the old algorithm. <laughs> yeah. It's, I mean, that's the one thing is just try not to get in your head too much yeah. about stuff. I mean, that's, that's the, just like, just do it. Just keep at it and just keep grinding. I mean, I, I need what, what you got. I, I need the ghost from uh, videos past to, to text me and be like, dude, just go back to doing the things that were happening when you were cool. Like, I, I need that. <laughs> I know. It was like, I couldn't believe I got that text just randomly on a Saturday night. Like, really, dude? I'm like, um, and then I'm like, and then it's funny because then I'm like, um, my numbers are better than it was uh, right. before. I'm like, um, everything seems to be going a little bit better now. So I don't think I'm actually going yeah, to Ever since that. I sold out to Big Oil, I'm doing Exactly. Fine. Ever since I started getting paid by Warner Brothers, which people right. have claimed that I am. Uh, no, no, yeah, you just gotta oh, do that's that. A, no, that's when you know you've made it when you simultaneously get uh, accused of being paid by Warner. Oh, yeah. and D- Disney, you've made it. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, I've gotten, I've gotten those accusations. Oh yeah, yeah. congratulations Anytime. on your accomplishment. Yes, I know, right? So I was like, Mom, look at me now. Yeah, people are accusing me for being paid by a, a big studio. I'm not, but yeah. hey, you know, people I, I've made me it. Being paid by and uh, simultaneously against. This same this same studio. That's mm-hmm. weird. It's weird. <laughs> it's crazy, right? It's crazy. <laughs> so, uh, but I, uh, I mean, but you get early uh, access, early screeners, and all that kind mm-hmm. of stuff. Is that still that's still going pretty strong, right? Yeah, yeah. Ever since the uh, the 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 demic, ever since that uh, kind of started winding down and people started opening things up again, yeah, we're we're starting to get invited uh, to things more. We and for the first time, we were invited to. Um, uh, to to uh, cosplay events like uh, Comic Palooza and yeah. um, uh, Fan Expos and stuff like that. So yeah, we're we're uh, we're plugging a- along and and hoping to, hoping to cover uh, more things, not just here where I live, but we we got a couple people. We we have a lot of uh, secret ninjas all over the place. You just never know. There could be somebody behind you right now in your city. What? But, I knew. Uh, what yeah, the hell? This, what the yeah. fuck? But uh, but yeah. yeah. But it's been it's been it's been cool. I was I was worried about it for a while when when things started shutting down. It was it was interesting. That was when we started getting. I'm sure a lot of people got a lot of views because everybody was at home. It had nothing to do. But then yeah. when things started opening up, um, of the the. the uh, I thought I didn't know I didn't know what was going to happen, but it seems like it's going back to to normal again. We're getting invited to more movies. It's it's been a lot of fun, and we're just having a great time out here. And you're located, you said in uh, Texas, I'm right? In Houston, yeah, I'm in Houston, Houston. Texas. Yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. Houston, Texas. Um, yeah, I know. I mean, when when the pandemic was, you know, and when it, we got in the thick of it, that's when I started doing just live streams like crazy. I was like, you know mm-hmm. what? Might as well. People are at home. Fuck it. You know, why not right. just. Why not just start doing it? And, uh, you know, then I just was having fun with it. And then, of course, mm-hmm. you, you shape it and whatever. I mean, I've been doing the vodka stream for a while, mm-hmm. um, which was always fun. And it was always something to look forward to on Fridays. But, um, yeah, I mean, when it came to, like, uh, screeners and stuff, I it's it's funny because I've tried to get to, like, the screener thing. And I, I have done that. But I, I, I'm lazy with emails. I need I need somebody to handle emails. I tell you what, sometimes when it comes to emails, I'm like, oh, shit, I was supposed to send an email. And I just totally there. blanket and i'm like fuck uh but then when it comes to like screening see i live in southern california mm-hmm. and anytime that there's gonna be like a screening it's gonna be like during a weekday out in la and i'm right. going you gotta be fucking kidding me i got a day job i can't just drive to because it's gonna take me like over two hours you gotta get on the 405 and we yeah gotta- <laughs> exactly you know i gotta do this and leave at the right time and hope there's not an accident and blah, blah, blah. Exactly. yeah so no, i'm just like what? yeah exactly i'm like every anytime that anytime a, uh, a press screening or whatever has come across it's mm-hmm. like oh yeah tuesday at five o'clock i'm like yeah five yeah. o'clock p.m that's when rush hour is very, very rushy. Oh, yeah. And if you're not, no, no, yeah, actually, it's not rushy. Nobody's rushing. Everybody's at a standstill. Yeah, okay. Yeah. That's you what gotta, and the movie starts at five o'clock. You have to be there by 4 45 or else you lose your seat. <laughs> yeah. That's I'm like, the... I can't do that. <laughs> but yeah, it's, 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 uh, and I guess in Houston, I guess it's a little bit uh, easier. They, Better. nine times out of 10, it's like it's a movie starting around seven. Yeah. Uh, and, and things like that. And, um, I don't go to all of them, but yeah. it was funny what you said about like for like emails. It was funny. I, I like I I put out the 
my outlet to get sponsored by not sponsored but get press conferences was for like hulu and all that and then it said you know uh your little measly nobody channel is denied <laughs> you are not getting press pass and then i so then i did what, exactly what you said what you don't do i i got on the email and i said okay i'm i'm sorry that i'm a loser but if what can i do to get approved in the future and yeah. the person that responded to that email just responded with you're approved I, awesome. I don't know i don't know why i i, I don't get it but i i guess i i don't know i use the word um I don't know. I guess I use enough big words to make it sound like I knew what I was talking about. And the yeah. reason they, they approve it. So, so sometimes you're, you're right. It's about communication. You just, it you really just, is. You just, just send the email and just talk to them and you'll be surprised. I mean, dude, you're, you have a good following. You have a great fan uh, base and, and you, you know, what yeah, they're all right. About. And uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you, if uh, these, these uh, sponsors, these marketing companies, if they, if they see what you do, Dude, yeah. you, you will you will get approved. I'm, I, I know. I there's I'm just like I need to. Think, doing it. Yeah. I know. I know. I know. There's just sometimes where I'm like, all right, and I've reached out to like things where I'm like, all right, if uh, if I'm gonna get like uh, you know, reach out to certain things, and then I don't get anything back, and then I'm just and my emails are such a mess. I need to just like sit down, clean out because I have two emails, one specifically for this, and then my normal email, and I gotta like just kind of yeah. clean out that one and just sit down and just kind of like go over everything and be like, all right. What do I need yeah. to like follow up on? What do I need to submit? I need to do that kind of stuff. But but at the same time, I when it comes to my schedule um, and having like the the normal show at six right. uh, Monday through Wednesday, and then I have my Thursday off because that's when I go to the movies. There's just right. something about I just love doing that. I love going to that early sh that that first showing at the movies, and then sometimes I'll have people come along with me, or I'm by myself. It doesn't matter, but I just kind of like that aspect of it. And then, I mean, if I didn't have this damn day job thing, I mean, that's yeah. the thing. Is that's if I didn't have that, then I'd be like, all right, I can do all kinds yeah, that of stuff. Makes sense. But, yeah, that's what yeah. just kind of and there's you know, and working from home, which. You know, it's like literally the workstation's right there. And I'm just right. kind of going, man, why do I have to do this when I want to do just this? Like you said, sit on my ass, yeah. watch yeah. things, talk about them. I'm but yeah, but you'd be surprised. I mean, if even if you just every now and then, if you just if you respond to them or send the 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 mm -hmm. uh, interest out, you, you'll get approved. It's not it, the second you get approved. It's not like you have to use it every time they invite you to something. True. You know, so, so you know, you don't you don't have to go to to everything, but you know, check those emails. It's the regular yeah. America Online over here, not checking his emails. <laughs> What's going on? Uh -huh. <laughs> Mr. Windows ninety five over here, right? Not yeah, I know, right? Oh, bump, 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 bump. Yeah, it's freezing <laughs> up. No, I know. There's like some things that I'm in, and then it's funny because then I'll look and they'll be in my spam email for some reason, right. and I'll like, oh yeah, I got invited to this and this and this, but I'm like, I don't even know what that is i mean there's it's amazing how much content there is out there i mean my god it's it's crazy how much content there is and people invite you to like oh yeah there's like a virtual thing for this or that or whatever the fuck and i'm like i don't even know what show that is or anything <laughs> so and i'm like i'm trying to keep up I'm, I'm like on third season of westworld i don't i'm trying to keep up with some of this shit and uh trying to keep up with uh you know the bigger stuff obviously yeah. when it comes to marvel star wars dc or whatever and and uh that's that's where it's that's where it's difficult and uh but yeah every thursday i'm like all right i gotta just get i just love going into a movie theater turn my phone off and just watch something and uh i i didn't catch your um i didn't watch your video on um uh your review for nope so but i wanted to ask you about it because I really enjoyed that movie, and uh, I wanted to get your full-on thoughts and talk about it. We, we, um, when me and my wife saw it, we, yeah, we, we did what everybody else pretty much was saying. <laughs> like, uh, it's not as good as Get Out, but it's way yeah. it's a step up from from us. Um, but I, I enjoyed the movie. I, I thought that it was, uh, it was a good time. I, overall. I don't know if you. I mean, it's been a while. Like, are we talking spoilers? I guess I don't know. I'll oh yeah, we. Can. I mean, we can I mean, talk a little bit. I'm like, yeah. you guys, you you guys don't know the uh, that that M, uh, M Night Shyamalan made a, a cameo. <laughs> maybe, maybe maybe we won't talk about spoilers just yet. <laughs> you know, it has been a week. We'll, we'll keep it. We'll keep it on the because I mean, 
I mean, we all know it's uh, you know, it's aliens, it's yeah. this, it's that, you know. But uh, you it know, was was it? I I have a theory that it wasn't, <laughs> but but uh, I I have a feeling that that, that was that was really Keegan, Keegan Michael Key uh, Key's uh, car uh, the whole time. Somebody asking. needs to do a video of that when you see like the UFO like going. Shh, like that, yeah. just have him like saying some shit. You know? Yeah, yeah, coming through uh, from from, uh, Liam, <laughs> from Kim Peele. Liam Neeson's or something like that. From the, <laughs> but I I thought you know there was there was parts of the movie that was just that was brilliant. That was and there, and there was parts I felt that um, that was unnecessary. But I I overall oh just I thought it was a, a good time. I I really enjoyed it. I. I I thought it was very tense at, at some moments. I and and it and it um and it and it and it really had me at the edge of my seat. But um I don't know. It's been I, I just it's weird, it's weird. It, that week <laughs> when I watched it, I was yeah. all about it. And I was and I yeah. could and I and I and but now that it's been a week or two away sat with it, from it yeah. now it's like I was like, all right, that's that's fine. I'll, I mean, if I if it comes back up on on like I said on on TV or something like that, I would probably watch it. But overall, I feel like it was a, a great movie. Mm -hmm. I'm not. I mean, a, a good movie, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> not great. Uh, I'm, I'm not gonna put. I'm not gonna say great. Like like Get Out was great, but. But yeah. there was there were things about it that were uh, that were great, so like great. The, the, the history about um, yeah yeah uh, about the uh, the ranch would be a black ranch because mm -hmm. my father is a ran I, guys remember I'm from Houston my father was a, a, a rancher my wife didn't go. even realize that there, that black people could be cowboys I was like <laughs> look. She's like, minute. wait a minute. Like, like, yeah, she was like, my wife, my wife is white. She was like, she was like, I and uh, our community wasn't aware of this. Hey, she's like, mm -hmm. she, I was like, Lone I'm Ranger. Sure. Okay, just because Johnny <laughs> Depp was in that movie with that <laughs> Army Hammer guy, that what? the Lone Ranger was black, guys. You know, like, but um, <laughs> but it was but, so it was it was funny watching uh, th that movie because I, I I know the history of like how yeah uh, the, the like like black ranchers and, and and cowboys their their numbers were at a certain level in, in the past and then and, and then they're they're like a fraction of what they used to be so i was looking for um certain things and i and i didn't get those things but yeah. overall i i enjoyed um i enjoyed the what the, it was the, the, the every moment every the tension moment, the tension, the tension. I, See, that, that, that's i enjoyed the, that more than anything else i was like hey they he really pulled off the tension very well on that one and I, that's, I think, that's what i enjoyed more. yeah i think that jordan peele has a uh he has a knack for tension building and yeah. you could see all you could see that in get out you could see that in us regardless yeah. of how you feel like us i know us is like his more the, his most divisive film <clears throat> because um i mean even like me i was like walking out going okay i get what he was going for but i'm like but, <laughs> but there's things where I'm like, uh, I don't know. I just don't know. Um, but I, I, but I get it. And uh, Nepito, uh, uh, she, Nepito was like, she was fantastic in it. Sure, her, her acting on there was was, was yeah. top notch, was top especially show. with like the 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 other one. <laughs> yeah, well, but you can't, but you can't. Yeah, Mbaku couldn't. They couldn't carry this move out. I was like, yeah. as, as great as that acting was. It's just this, this you story. really had to suspend some disbelief. Like yeah, exactly. you really had to yeah. where the hell did all those fuckers come from? <laughs> yeah, I know. And then they're all just they're all just standing around with their arms linked. I'm like, where the fuck is like the the, the where's, where's the, the army? Where's the Marines? Where's, yeah, where's uh, like uh, um like something's gotta get black here. Helicopter right? this bitch. Let's get it. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I'm like, so I mean you really gotta suspend some disbelief, and I'm like, yeah, okay. I mean, and I've watched it twice, and I was like the second time I went kind of like, all right, yeah, this one's just I get what he was going for, but I don't know if it but when it came to uh when it came to nope, I was all about it because I'm a sucker for uh any kind of alien Aliens, movie, any yeah. alien sci-fi. So when I when that was the case, and then like again, we won't say any spoilers. I know some people I just saw some people in the chat say, Don't say anything yet. I'm like, all right, we won't, but I do like the fact that when the curveball gets thrown. I was like, "Oh, whoa, okay." I didn't expect that, right. and I know yeah, you know yeah. what I'm talking about. Where I'm like, yeah. "Oh," when like you realize, "Oh, I get it." And then of course there was like this whole like parallel story that they were trying to do too, where yeah. it cuts back to a certain event that happens, right. and that's also a little thing where I was like, "What were they trying to?" And then it took me a little, and I was like, oh, "Okay, I get what they were trying to go for with that." Did it fully work? Maybe no, not I mean, as well it sh as it should, it should have. have 
And I think, yeah, I think that's where the weakest part of it was, was there, was he was trying to do, you know, when it comes to a different character, um, uh, and just, um, doing like this flashback thing while this other story, while the main story is going on. And I was like going, okay, I see what you're going for, but at the same time, I'm like, uh, okay, I, I dig it, but I'm not sure if it fully worked for me, but the other stuff really worked for me. And like, you know, certain things and, uh, like that, that scene where like, even when the UFO is like over the house, I mean, that was in the trailer too, at one point where yeah. it's like, yeah. Some really spent spectacular shots. In, yeah, in there, was, there was some moments in there that, that, like I said, that were brilliant. There was, and and don't worry, guys. I'm not like I said. I'm not going to spoil. I see yeah. J, uh, Jess Allen in the uh, in the comment section. Like, what the hell? No spoiler. Like, no. No, no we're good. We're, we won't, I will, we won't, I will we won't, say this. I, I will say that um, what I noticed was like, pay attention to everything that you're seeing. Even I, I felt like, yeah. every, even, the, even the most trivial scene that you think this is about nothing to say this and, and and there's a scene where you might feel like this didn't even need to be in the movie and that's true but i felt like almost everything that they did and said had something to do with the overall uh plot it was it was a lot of things yeah not, when i saw it at the end i was like they were talking about this through the whole yeah. damn movie and i felt like and he see, did that well well but if you didn't but if you're not looking for that if you don't if you don't realize it you're just I, I don't know. Is this something that I noticed? That no, no, like, no, 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 no. I got that too. And if you act, if you watch my first reaction, I said it gave me signs, M Night Shyamalan signs vibes, yeah. Yeah. which which also does that same thing. It's like you have to pay attention throughout because you know the resolution is going to be some things that are pointed out throughout the whole movie right now. Yeah. You know, so and you know, I mean, it's not obviously signs. I mean, I love signs. It's one of that's my. That's actually my favorite M Night movie, to be honest. Oh, I know people are like, oh, "How dare you? It should be six i I'm like, "No, nah, I think I like." Excuse me, the the village yeah. was no, I'm just joking. Well, the village. <laughs> like, Lady in the water, we, Dave. That's Lady all the in time the water we have for Chris. So. <laughs> the happening, come on, plants yeah, were killing me, people. A little oh, thing called God. the happening, where the wind was killing yes. me. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that the wind because the plants were like, "Fuck these humans!" Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> This time is personal. It's you know what's funny about that is like I just saw on my timeline before we went live. Uh, Zoe G D Chanel was uh, I guess somebody asked her in an interview like about the happening, and she goes, "I don't think people got it." And it was like, and then somebody actually quote tweeted that quote and said, "No, we got it." I was, <laughs> I was literally about to say that. Oh no, we no, got we got it. it. We get the, the plants. We get it. We, we like plants hate us apparently. Yeah. And they were making people like kill kill themselves, but the way that it was, you know, you know, it's like the idea I always said when it came to the happening, the idea was there. And there's some yeah. very cool sequences and that the trailers for it were amazing, but Jesus Christ, when you have Mark Wahlberg like talking to a plastic plant and just like, you know, doing his hey, you know? <laughs> hey man. This plan. I mean, hey, you know, it's just, it was very. <laughs> How's your mother doing? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's just, it, it's like now, you for me, plan. <laughs> yes. I mean, that was when like M Night. M Night. I love. I you know, I love him as a filmmaker, but sometimes he he'll swing for the fences, and it sometimes the execution is just not there. Like even with his last movie, Old. I I I love. Well, I still haven't watched it, but but go yeah, ahead yeah. I would, no spoilers. Then I won't say anything. I think there was. Um, the idea was very strong and like the start of it, the first act was really strong. Okay. The second act was like, all right, this is now getting weird and just getting way drawn out. And then when you see the twist, which is what he does, the twist was fantastic. And I went, the thing is though, this could have been a short film. And I don't know if you, the filler, the in between the act two, where they're trying to like make it a, a the length of a movie, that's where it starts to fall apart. But the start and the end are very well done because it's like, oh, you when you see like why this is happening, you're, oh, okay, not you know, it's just so it's like that's what's hard about it though when you're and I and I could tell he probably like thinks of these ideas and I'm looking forward to his new movie. I know he just wrapped it up like a couple months ago or something like mm -hmm. that. Always will watch an M Night and um, but. <laughs> The funky bunch gives better performances. <laughs> <laughs> Feel the vibration. Yeah. 
<laughs> oh god <laughs> Jeez, you're, you're, bringing your it back session is like oh, oh i'm telling like you like i said that this, yeah the live <laughs> chat i swear um oh yeah but then you got you know m night did split and that movie yeah. was just fantastic and then and then when that that ending i remember when uh when that ending happened i freaked out like when it was have you seen split yet yeah oh, yeah i'm, I'm yeah. all caught up on the, the glass yeah screen. when it when it when it totally just like linked to unbreakable i freaked out I, like i was like going oh my god i literally yelled that oh my god and right. everybody was looking at me like, what the fuck? And I was just, and my girlfriend, uh, she was like sitting next to me and she was like, what, what? And I'm like, oh my God, oh my God. I mean, I was freaking out because I did not see a lot of people. A lot of people would not, of, of course, a lot yeah. of people would have recognized Bruce Willis, but they yeah. would not have realized what was Where really happening. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So you would have to have been a huge, uh unbreakable fan exactly to have that that joy gasm that that gave oh, uh, me yeah i had I, the joyous of gasms oh I was, yeah oh yeah. I, oh. I had to change my pants yeah I, uh, it was oh great. yeah I, I dude, yeah. I cosplay when I went to Comic Palooza, but I, I I was Mr. Glass. Uh, no as, shit. Yeah, oh, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> I, I, I did. I was Mr. Glass on day one, and I was Ruby Rob on uh, on day two. So, but Mr. Glass, I, I do. I love that trilogy, and I, I don't. I don't hundred percent love the way it it, it ended uh, that from the third one. But but um, from Split, um, oh, what's his name? Um, Professor X. Um, Professor yeah. Oh, you're talking about uh, James McAvoy. About James McAvoy. Dude, yeah. his dude, he, he Oh, he should have got nominated for all yeah. the awards. All yeah, the awards. All the awards. Yeah, he, yeah. he crushed it. I, I love that trilogy. I, I I gotta I'm gonna go back and watch that trilogy uh, again. But um that yeah, I, I love that. I know what you mean when, when it comes to those M. Night Shyamalan movies. I haven't seen old uh yet, but I, I was happy yeah, check that it out. check it yeah, out. I'll, I'll, I am gonna watch it, but I, I was just happy that M Night finally got uh, you know past his 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 legend because you know he was his head was getting kind of big out there when people called him the next like spielberg and things like that i think he was believing his own hype probably and uh, and, and then and then when the uh and then i guess after uh uh the last the village. Airbender, i guess he got oh yeah village and things like that yeah I, I guess, yeah and then when and then when studios weren't willing to give him like a billion dollars uh anymore it, it i guess at home then he went back and, you know went and back then to had... the roots and yeah, I he think went, that was the best thing for him. And, oh, and totally he started, did. And he started making some great, like Devil. I I, I love Devil. Devil. Yeah, he produced that one. And um, and then when it, what was the one where um, God damn it, what was it called when like it was the uh the two the 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 brother and sister visiting the um oh, the the, the, oh yeah uh, I, I, I know what you're talking about grant by grant like the grandparents' house. Right? Yeah, yeah, the visit. Thank you, Jesse. Visit. The visit. Dude, it, it was that. that I really that enjoyed that movie. The first sign that he was he was going back to his roots. That was yeah. the movie. And uh, the woman who played the mother, uh, and I love because she I think she plays Agatha, right? Uh, Catherine. She, uh, yeah, uh, Catherine. Uh, Catherine. Uh, dude, I, Something. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm glad my wife's not here because I'm not allowed to mention her name because I'm just telling you. any. I'm telling you. Just she's say it. Say she's, say her name. Say her name. I, I, I fucking Chris dare you, Chris. Say, say her, her name. You, you said it last night during, and I dare you to say it again now. And I will say, it. but uh, like uh, I love Catherine Hahn. Uh, yeah, but, Catherine Hahn. There you go. But yeah, but that those that movie. Um, I think M Night Shyamalan is is he's he's, he's he's I feel like he's back. I know that as far as his yeah. fame isn't where it was, but, you know, in his in his prime. But I feel like as far as his mindset and where and where he's going, I think he's going to be yeah great. I think I think when like he just blew up with Six Sense and then so followed fair. it up, with, yeah. uh, Unbreakable. I mean, maybe it wasn't as big, but a lot of people are like, "Wow, that was actually an interesting." look I at a superhero yeah unbreakable is fantastic and then and then signs came out and that was huge and that like i said that's my favorite because and i love so you know underrated it's, it's so underrated i don't think it's dude, as like, appreciated as it should be it should be appreciated more um because i mean i i love what he always said he goes hey you know the the scariest thing is what you don't see and that's what was so great about that movie Sorry. and, and yeah. me being a movie of uh, a fan of like alien stuff i love that kind of stuff and the fact that he was just like all right we're not going to show these aliens until the, obviously until the last you know little bit where we have this resolution of uh, whatever and the right. way that he filmed like he just going out into the corn you know and it's all just quiet and you just barely see something and and it's like this whole build-up like again tension the whole that that whole scene when mel gibson goes out into the cornfield 
just because he's like, there's something out there. And then when he finally sees it, it's a, yeah. it's barely anything, but it goes, you go, Oh shit. Yeah. And then that was the whole buildup of this whole time where there's no music. There's just wind blowing and him just walking through with a flashlight and yeah. it just fucks you up. Like it just, and then, and then even like when they showed the, um, the, the scene when uh, Joaquin Phoenix's character is like in the closet and he's watching that scene where uh, it's like a birthday party party mm -hmm. somewhere. And then the and, like, alien walks yeah, by. The alien, yeah, like, yeah. Walks by. Dude, oh, yeah. I freaked out. I was yeah. also the same. I jumped. Because I was like, oh, we, shit. Because we did those things. When we watched yes. like alien footage on YouTube or yes. early, uh, primitive YouTube and or on TV and things like that, and you see that shadowy figure go by. It, yeah. it captured exactly what we do in real life when we see, you know, these uh, ancient uh, aliens uh, episodes and stuff like that. It, it was a, it was a perfect scene. It was, it was Mexico. Great. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was just. Yeah. No, no, no. I think M9, you know, I think a lot of people put a lot of pressure on the guy and, you know, and he just wanted to make the stories that he wanted to make. Yeah. And sometimes, I mean. The village gets some hell, but at the same time, the village is still pretty decent. I think. I think it's not bad. Like it, I know. I'm not a lot of people. I couldn't, in the I couldn't appreciate the village as, as much as it <laughs> probably deserved because I look. I was. I used to, uh, between 2004 to 2010. I used to work overseas in Iraq. I was in a war zone, and yeah. I and oh, wow. I I, uh, I was working for the military. And I uh, maybe I probably should have brought, brought that up in my bio. That's the most interesting thing about me. Everything there else is go. trash. <laughs> but um, I I watched I watched that on a bootleg copy. Um, oh wow! And, and on a, on, a, on my little DVD blow player, and so I didn't get the full effect of what probably what he was trying to do and and everything. So I only watched it once, and I still remember some scenes, and I saw things that I liked and some things that I didn't like. I, I don't think I like. You know what I remember now. The twist. I'm not gonna uh, for anybody who might not have seen it. If you're, I, you, you guys aren't gonna go see it. I, I could probably tell you, you guys aren't gonna care. But I still, I Probably still don't want to. Just in case that there's a sensitive spoiler guy out there, I won't spoil. Yeah, it. but it's I'll tell you this. I for some, it was the first time ever in my life for an M Night Shyamalan movie. I predicted the spoiler, the twist. Yeah, a lot of people before it, 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 it. Yeah, came. I don't know, and and I was I was literally just talking out loud to myself. Wouldn't it be funny if this is happening at the end? And then when that exact thing happened at the end, I was like, oh, screw this. Let me all right, let me go back to you know to, to work right. and, you know to, with the military and you know stop wasting yeah, my time always, with my family. It's always interesting. It's always interesting when 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 it comes to these types of movies when you know that there's a, a big twist at the end, you're always trying to guess it. And then when you do, it's like you you, you feel satisfied, but then you don't. That, yeah, like, that was the, like, that no, was I guessed it. Yeah, it was the first yeah. time I ever predicted it correctly. Yeah. And I was yeah. so mad at myself. It's like, am I mad at myself or am I mad at him? <laughs> I couldn't figure it out. Probably him. But yeah, but I, yeah. I've never predicted I'll it like that. that ever. But it was it was it was okay. It was and that's good stuff. But uh transitioning from uh M Night Shyamalan movies, which I love it when we go like uh, you know, unexpected uh, M Night Shyamalan. Rap, like, I'm all about it. <laughs> No, but I was like, I wanted to get your uh, your take on you know all the stuff that happened on uh, com at Comic Con last weekend. Mm. Anything that stood out for you? I mean, obviously you got the black the rock getting booed. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you know what? Um, I, did you see Super Pets yet? No, not yet. And I saw okay. that you saw it, and and yeah. then, uh, and then uh, Campia said that that he was he was shitting on that movie the whole time, and he saw it, he was like, it was actually good. So I'm, I'm, well, I mean, I'm seeing it with the kids. I'm going to wait. I'm yeah, waiting yeah. for the kids. You know, we're yeah, no, no. It's a great, it's a great movie to see, you know, see it with your kids. Um, You know, when all these people are like, you know, when adults are going like, sucked. I'm like, well, wait a minute here. Right? It's not for you. <laughs> yeah. Um, Take it, you know, watch it like you're, you know, like you're eight years old or something like that. And right. see if you're, you know, and um, my gripe was like, you know, Dwayne Johnson, do you really need to do everything? <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> if somebody else voice crypto, Ah, maybe I, I think I would have liked it more. I don't know why. It's just Dwayne Johnson doesn't have a like an Ryan Reynolds. Yeah, he, yeah. I mean, Ron Reynolds does. He has a voice of a cartoon character at times. Yeah. Yes, but Dwayne Johnson maybe not so much. And there's times where I'm going, ah, uh, Kevin Hart does, and yeah. I liked his voice as Ace. I thought Did that was know, fine. That Kevin Hart would have been the one that I would have guessed would have been the one that didn't fit. But you're saying it was the opposite. No, it's the opposite. Guy. You opposite the, for me Kevin Hart fit and the rock maybe yeah that's interesting because i would have guessed the opposite on that 
Hmm. Yeah, no, no, no. For me, I was like, Kevin Hart was fine. And like the, the couple of the scenes that I actually laughed out loud were f- because of him, mm-hmm. because of his, uh, because of Ace. There's still like one in particular thing, because there's a lot of gags when it comes to the DC universe. And there's one particular gag that happens um, uh, towards the, uh, before the final battle where it's just, I just die. Like I actually just laughed out loud because it was just so it was just funny to me and i just and i and i knew like when when the there's like two parts of it and i knew when the first part happened i'm like oh there's gonna they're gonna revisit it and sure enough they did and somehow they made it even funnier and i went oh my god all right so and i wish there was more gags like that because sometimes some of the gags were like "Eh, okay but i think like one of the things was like man if somebody else was voice in crypto. Not saying that it takes you out of the movie. Dwayne Johnson's fine. It's not like it's horrible or anything. Dwayne Johnson's still a good performer. Sure. But I just was like, man, if somebody else, there just needs to be a different voice coming out of this little, out of this dog here. I just, not Dwayne Johnson. So, so the whole time, every time you heard uh, crypto speak, you were very much aware that it was Dwayne. The, uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah I mean, I that'll, think was, that'll take you, that, that'll take me out of it too. Cause know? I'm like, I'm like, dude, this dude's going to be black Adam in a couple of months. I'm going to yeah. watch him in black Adam. I'm like, do I really? I mean, eh, that yeah, just not, well. Fuck now. Now I'm worried about like because <laughs> because the Rock is a is a presence, and when but when you play a character like this, I want I want Dwayne Johnson to disappear, and I want the character. I want to only see Black well, Adam. Now I'm afraid that I'm only gonna see Dwayne like for because yeah. his character in Faster that like he disappeared Dwayne Dwayne Johnson disappeared like thank that, you like, nobody like, talks about that nobody movie. talks about fa- that yes. to me that is one of the Dwayne Johnson's best roles thank because, you and, yes uh, and and like his character in Fast and the Furious like, like even though I know that the mannerisms of of, of Hobbs is like a lot of the Rock's char- other characters but I don't see the Rock when I see him playing I see I see Hobbs no, no, I, I love him. I'm going to see him. The Rock when I see Black I love Adam. Him. I love him as Hobbs. As I Hobbs, it's great. Yeah. Like, like when people are like, when Hobbs and Shaw came out, it's ridiculous. But I enjoyed the shit out of that movie. Yeah. You know, you you know, you have you have him and J- Jason Statham going back and forth. The action's absolutely insane. And then you got Idris Elba as the fucking you know, villain. I'm like, I'm, I, 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 that's a movie I could put on and just like go, all right. That's just yeah. a, an enjoyable action movie. I might you go know? watch it right now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. You want to do a live watch? Let's do it. We're going to yeah, end yeah. Uh, the, oh, the maybe, well, for fa- maybe for faster because I, I don't think that movie gets enough credit. <laughs> Dude, I, it does not. And thank you for bringing that up because, yes, that movie, that's where Dwayne Johnson, I was like, yeah, that's a different Dwayne Johnson movie right there. Yeah. And, you know, this is before he was like as big as he is now, of course. Yeah. That but, was the movie nope. where, I, where I knew he was going to make it in Hollywood. Yeah. I, that was the movie for me, for me at least, for me. But but see, I just want him to go back to where it's like, all right, now you got to go, especially with Black Adam. You're playing a villain. I know it's anti-hero, but you, I, I'm what I'm really hoping for Black Adam. And you know, after watching both trailers, the Comic Con trailer was much stronger, I thought, because there was no gags and was full on like, all right, he's villain in this. Cool, I like this. I want him to be that ruthless fucking villain. It's Black Adam. You know, I know the source material. I know like. OK, and yes, OK, there can be some anti-hero stuff. Sure. We can find some sympathy with the villain, which is always great. But I just want I just want to see that side like that side come out where it could lead into like, all right, now you're going to have to take on Shazam. That's your arch nemesis right. kind of thing. And we don't need you to be like, oh, now, you know, showing up and being the hero at the end of your movie. Yeah. We need you to still be a villain. It's all about I don't know. family. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, 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 I hope so too. You're because you're, you're you're right because I, I feel like um, look the, the, the Joker like the the standalone yeah. Joker movie uh, work letting the villains be villains is is it's fine. I mean, we we are gonna probably have years to come to where we see Dwayne the Rock Johnson be the hero. Let yeah. him be the villain. I'm, I'm, I'm and, a, and it'll be a change of pace. Yeah, yeah. he's he's turned heel. If you're a WWE fan, when he was the heel, when he was when he first became the Rock, he was a heel, and it was the best time of his of his wrestling career. He, his best work when when he was being the asshole. But uh, I feel like like summon I, I that, summon that. that. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm exactly summon it. I'm, a, but I'm afraid yeah. that it's gonna be like, oh, because his image is so nice, is uh, this and that and the other. We gotta make Black Adam so nice, you know. That's what I. Make... That's what I worry about. I'm afraid I, of it. Yeah, I'm afraid of it too. Like after that first trailer, I was like, all right. Um, I mean, well, I don't know. There, the trailer did. I mean, it's like heroes don't do, kill people. But yeah. But, so yeah. maybe he will go full heel. I but, hope so. I but, hope but, so. The, or, or you know what? I feel like maybe would be better is if because they say the best villain is the villain that doesn't see themselves as the villain. Those villains that in their heart they feel like they're doing the right thing and everybody else is wrong. If he was to become that type of villain, I, I that to me would be brilliant. Like it's like uh, uh, like if he was like a like your your way is wrong and and I and, and yeah. by force I'm going to have to correct this word. Shazam, exactly. you're weak. I'm going to have to. Like, you're not the hero this world needs, and I'm gonna like like I, maybe something like that, yes. But but still a villain. I I, I just I feel like there's a, a way that they that they're that they could do it, but I'm afraid that they're gonna. I'm pretty I'm pretty sure by the end of I feel like I'm afraid that by Shazam three, like Black Adam and Shazam are gonna be playing <laughs> patty cake. I just I don't, <laughs> who knows. <laughs> Team up movie, yay! Team yeah. up, we're friends and <laughs> like, mm -hmm. like double Dutch, you know. Yes, you know. and then uh, and then Superman comes in, and we're the three best friends that yeah. anyone could ever had. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I mean, I don't know. I mean, it's just uh, I, we'll see. We'll see. I mean, I really hope that the movie um, throws a curveball, and it's like, oh shit! All right, this is something. And I would, like I said, when it came to the Comic Con uh, trailer, I was like. All right, I'm impressed by this. This was better than the first, stronger, uh, a lot more cooler shots, a lot more Doctor Fate, which I, I I even called that. I was like, they're gonna put more Doctor Fate in the next trailer. They have to because it's Pierce Brosnan, and you just have to. And yeah. sure enough, they put a little bit more in there, and I was like, cool. Um, so I don't know, we'll see. But um, you know, there's that. I mean, obviously DC had a little. You know, they didn't have the strongest presence. Anything Marvel. I mean, obviously you have the Black Panther mask right there. That was the strongest trailer that came out of the whole freaking thing for sure. Right, that trailer right. was amazing. Do, do you do you believe that if Cavill, because I heard that Cavill oh, yeah. had the, got the Covey, do you believe that if he <laughs> didn't, that he might that he probably would have shown up? That they probably no. were going. No. You don't think so? No. Wow, I don't. Going, oh, please bring Cavill back. I, I, I don't know, no, 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 no. Yes, I know, I know. Everybody is wanting that for sure, but uh, I don't think it's. There's been a. There's not been a deal made yet. That's the thing. It's mm. like everything's so up in the air right now. I mean, and then we just got, of course, uh, Ben Affleck. You know, all the, the Ben Affleck news was just a surprise for everybody, and that was bigger than anything <laughs> that happened at freaking Comic Con. So, dude, dude, uh, I said, I said that Ben Affleck <laughs> has played. I, I put this on my social media. I said Ben Affleck has played Batman more times since he's quit. Than Hell yeah! Have been I, saw your, I saw that tweet. Yeah. Then, then people have been cast as Batman since he's exactly. quit. Exactly. This dude is. This, I don't know anybody in the world who can quit a job and keep coming in to work. <laughs> Ever since this dude is awesome, I love Ben Affleck. The as well. power of Ben Affleck, but uh, we got somebody that's going to be joining the uh, the discussion right now. Scott! What's up, Mr. Scott McClellan? At least you got the drop this time. I mean, I'm I did. I, hey, I got it that right. Was, you know? That was awesome. <laughs> you know, all I'm saying is that if Cavill can't do it, you know, I'm hey, I'm ready. You got the dude, you got the freaking, you even got the black and silver going on right there. I like it. Oh yeah, oh yeah. 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 <laughs> you know, I, I wore I wore my crypto shirt yesterday and, and I did throw it on the floor next to me going, should I wear this for the vodka stream? <laughs> nah. <laughs> I okay, so I should have worn my black my I had my Batman shirt. I should have wore that. Damn it, Your black you, man shirt. The, my, yeah, a special shirt for that. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> my, the, the, the alcohol kicked in. I, I did realize I said that. <laughs> wait, 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 take it back. <laughs> yeah. Rewind. Shirt. Yeah. No, not, not blank man. Not black man. Oh, blank man. man. That's that's a movie. Now that's <laughs> anybody. Okay, the power of the handicap. <laughs> oh, I fucking. I love. Have you seen Blank Man, Scott? I have not because I was man, thinking oh. of Meteor Man and I'm like, oh, that's Meteor Man's good. also good. That's Meteor a good okay. movie. <laughs> okay. When it comes to 90 superhero movies, you know, especially when it, you know, when it comes to black heroes, I mean, everybody talks about now, you know, with Black Panther. I'm like, what are we talking? We got, we had Meteor Man, we had Blank Man in the 90s, Blade. And I'm like, you guys can't sleep on those movies. Those movies yeah. are fantastic. Meteor Man had, you should, you just look at the cast alone. 
My the, God. The fact that that movie has not gotten like a Blu-ray or like, or, right. Or even digital. I think, I think when we reviewed it for, you know, Squadcast movies on Patreon at patreon.com. So Squadcast media. There you go. Take uh, a drink. Take a drink. Uh, we plug. always drink every time somebody <laughs> plugs, uh, plugs our uh, stuff here. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm trying to remember like what we went through. I think we had to find like a di- like we had to get like it ripped or like off YouTube or something. Like we had to, it was one of those movies we had to jump through hoops like yeah. to watch it's like and i watched it. it was my first time actually i i missed it when it came out in the 90s and i was just like this is a good movie really any, anytime that it was on a movie channel that we had i it, i just put it on because i just loved that movie and then blank man was i mean i, I mean when you watch in living color with a uh, uh damon wins he had a you know he had the handicap man which was and not handy so man. Handyman was not so politically correct, you know. Yeah, so yeah, yeah not today. so politically correct. I mean, I'm surprised they got away from got away with it then. Oh um, no, you could definitely get away. It was the '90s. Yeah, you get away yeah, with early, so much especially crap early in the '90s. 90s. Yeah. But I think when it came to the movies, they were like, I, I I thought I heard something that he kind of pitched it as that, and then they're like, mm, and then he turned it into Blank Man because, you know. When it comes to his character, he's not handicapped, but he's really nerdy. And, you know, he kind of attacks like, you know, and it's just right. it's not it, there's similarities to Handyman. So I think it was maybe there was something there, but it's it's pretty brilliant. Um, uh, Blank Man, it's you know, you got David Allen Greer in there, too. I mean, it's 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 ridiculous. It's dumb, but it's the 90s and it's Damon Wayans and it's David Allen Greer. It's it's good stuff. It really is. So, oh, yeah. but yeah, um, but Scott. Um, I know you took the family to Super Pets. You enjoyed it, right? Oh yeah, it was cute. Like, but yeah. that, that's about. Um, we haven't. Tim hasn't been able to see. I think he's taking his youngest son to go see it tomorrow, so that we can finally record. Uh, you know, our Squadcast, our DC Squadcast review, because we are doing a review episode on it. But it's it's weird for me because I. Honestly, look at what we do every Sunday night. I have no problem with cartoons. <laughs> I, I live, I live off of animation, but it was, but it was just fine. It was cute. It, it you know, my six-year-old Declan, he loved it. I mean, he, at one point, like during one of the big action scenes, he did, he did the thing he does where he's like, he's literally standing in front of his seat, like he can't even sit down. He's like, yeah, he's like, he's like into it. But for me, it was like it wasn't, you know, it's not serious like Mask of the Phantasm. But it's not witty, funny like Lego Batman. Like those are that's like, the thing. That see, for me, those are like my two. Those are those are like my two like uh, extremes. There, it's like for me to really get into a cartoon, it's got to be like blow my mind animation, like Into the Spider Verse, or super serious like Mask of the Phantasm, or you have to just be sharp as a knife. So much so that whenever when Liam was four and we saw Lego Batman, I was laughing at that movie more than he was. So much so that he turned around and go, Daddy, why are you laughing? Because Daddy gets the jokes and this is funny. Yeah. 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 I mean, and I Super enjoyed Pets, it. And Super Pets is just, it, it's fine. It, it's, it's a fine. good, it, it's a, it's an entertaining, um, got it, has a good message. Um, I was so glad you mentioned in your first review about the restaurants because I literally at, at one point I took out my phone. I was like, I'm going to start making a note of every Easter egg that I'm seeing dude, right now. Dude, <laughs> there were so many. I was like, I kept on going, huh? And I was like, oh, 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 oh I saw up, oh, up, oh, up oh, there. Up oh, that, geez, there's literally a Jonah Hex. Did you see the Jonah Hex? Of course I saw yes, it yes, multiple yes. times. It was like, literally, they went to Jonah Hex. And I was like, no, no, what? No, you know the one that is you blink and you miss it? There was an ambush bug reference. Oh, I didn't even see that one. Oh, yeah. There's an ambush <laughs> bug reference. Yeah. No, that, yeah. And I and that's what I said to everybody. I was like, hey, if you're watching this, I mean, when they're fighting within Metropolis, there's like billboards, there's restaurants, and everything's mm. like this whole like uh um this whole thing where it's like, oh my God. I mean, you you're looking back there and you're just seeing like all kinds of references to all different DC characters, which I thought was pretty cool. I was like all right. Yeah, because you know, but... there was a mixture of references to characters, and then there were like actual in-universe restaurants. Like you very clearly see a Big Belly Burger. Yeah. In... <laughs> yes. You so, see Big Belly Burger. Yes. So that so the it was successful in that 
there were moments where when when it leaned into the DC universe, that's when I personally yeah. enjoyed it mm-hmm. more. Um, but you know, but like I said, it was fine. My six year old loved it, and I oh, and, I, and my nine year old. That's what it's for, right? My nine year old enjoyed it. But I think he was like, I think he was or at nine. I feel like the he was already kind of going beyond the movie. So mm-hmm. it, it, but it really sang for like that six year old sweet spot. Mm-hmm. There it is. And uh, before we uh, continue, oh man, we got uh, we got the trio coming in here. <laughs> <laughs> We got the Geekverse boys in here. What's going on, Travis Kirkland and Taylor? What is happening, guys? Hello, gentlemen. Oh, hello. Oh, sure. yeah. I love how we're having like an Austin Powers drop night, apparently. <laughs> yeah. I know. I, I already used that, you know, in the opening, but I figured that was perfect for, you know, this, you know. Yeah. Travis is Dr. Evil, of course. It's e- yeah, it's evil laughter <laughs> for me to come in and terrorize your chat. You know, I'm sure I'm going to piss him off a few times tonight. So, you know, happy well, The best it. part of my plan is no one can stop me. <laughs> no but thank you guys for joining uh i yes. appreciate this and uh yeah uh it's been a little it's been a bit uh for you guys uh taylor and kirkland thank you for Absolutely. coming back yes thanks yeah. for having us no, thanks now for we're just us. talking some uh you know uh dc super pets anybody see it no i see it monday with the kiddos uh, okay, I, okay, a busy okay. weekend but that's the plan yep. yeah i'm planning on seeing it next week it's enjoyable enjoyable mm-hmm. just you know don't expect like you know, it's not incredibles which is one of the things i said it's not going to be in incredibles of course but you know yeah and my whole my, my biggest uh, there's a mid credit there's a mid credit scene and <laughs> an course. in credit scene Oh, I didn't even stay. Oh, I just got right up. <laughs> is Ben Affleck in either of them? Ah! <laughs> or ben Affleck Keaton? shows up. <laughs> yeah. um, I, uh, Dave, that hurts me now that you didn't stay because I something totally that you've did. been talking about, the in credit scene would have spoken to you. Oh, shit. Yeah. See, this is what happens. This is what happens. I, I, I was like, oh, it's not Marvel. And but what did I what was I thinking? Jesus Christ. Is it end credit like fun adventure stuff or is end credit like this could be what the sequel's about? That's more okay. It it does the mid credit mid credit does the what a sequel could be okay. or something. In credit is uh, we're wink is a we're winking at the audience. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. I know what to expect. Okay. I heard yeah. you. Yeah. I, I very, really very much like, rock. very much like Shazam, where you got, you know, Mister Mind in the mid credit scene, and then you got the, you know, talk talking to fish joke in the end credits. You know that kind of deal. Okay. Yeah, it's funny because now with my kids, I've like they're gonna be like I grew up maybe halfway through. Like, of course, I saw a couple end credits when I was a kid, but now my kids are growing up. No, we gotta stay. Like, there's another scene. They're not, now to the point where they ask, like, "Hey, is there another scene at the end of this movie?" Now they're gonna be programmed for the rest of their lives. Now, where I was, I was not like that, you know. <laughs> Thanks, Marvel. Yeah. My my oldest daughter gets mad at the trailers. She'll just look at me like I thought we were seeing Buzz Lightyear. I'm like, no, like it's coming. It's still coming. Then we get another trailer. This isn't Lightyear, Dad. It's like it don't like it's not false advertising. Like she was annoyed by. <laughs> every trailer and it's stuff she wants to see but she did not pay her ticket to see Lightyear so she didn't care about Disney New World and she's like I just want to see Buzz can we get on with this it's like okay okay Travis can I ask you a question since you Maybe. since you are well I know jerk. depends the question no yeah yeah have you noticed because I've seen this with Lightyear mm-hmm. and Super Pets mm-hmm. and I'm trying to think of like one other kids movie or family movie Minions, I, I think maybe? It, Min- uh, well, because I didn't go with the kids to see okay. Minions. My wife took the kids to go see Minions. But what is it with them advertising Avatar The Way of Water in front of all these kids' movies? Like, well, That is pretty interesting. That yeah, is weird to me. Because we, we James talk- Cameron will not be denied. Yeah, he's he's, yeah, he's going there. for your kids. He's going for your kids. The one I laugh, we talked about Geek First when we saw Sonic, we got Top Gun trailers. And I was like, my daughters have no interest in seeing Top Gun at this age. Like, they are five and under. And it was weird, but it was top, like every other thing was kid movie, kid movie animation. And then it was just Tom Cruise on a bike. And it was just, I felt like all his parents had a moment where we looked around, like, why is there a Maverick trailer right now? And then we moved on. But yeah, it's, I guess it's, I guess it's just they want to, 
I guess it's almost for the parents, right? It's like maybe it's not for the kids, but it's almost like to remind the parents because maybe parents don't see like we're all seeing movies all the time, but maybe parents that maybe only go see like three or four movies a year and one of them is a kid's movie. This is a reminder of, hey, Avatar is coming. Get ready. You're going to be back in December, right? You know? I guess it's just weird because I just remember growing up, you know, back in my day. Back in my day. Like, when when you saw like. like <laughs> <laughs> oh, he got you on that one. Yeah, well. No, they all, but, you Because I always get the youngin jokes. I get the ageism, <laughs> you know nothing, blah, blah, blah. So I got to respond I've back. I've never to done that to you, sir. I've never done that to you. I'm, pro I'm probably the oldest one here. No, how old no. are you? Yeah, I, mean, you? I, mean, I, 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 I'm willing to bet that because you know. No, no, I'm, okay. I'm sure you guys haven't heard. Black doesn't crack. Yeah, well, that's <laughs> no, I've heard thing. that. No, I've heard that. No. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yes. No. How old, you, how old are you? How old are you? How old are you, Chris? I'm 42. Oh. You beat me by two years. I'm 40. Oh. Boom. That's yeah. right. And the six pack is still here too. Bro. Oh. Yeah. Lift up the shirt. Just kidding. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, the six pack was never here. So, no, I, don't... <laughs> I mean, maybe it's coming. You gotta just there you go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fun, age like a fine yeah. wine. Go keto. Go keto. Mm -hmm. yeah, right. I win again. I win again. <laughs> no, but uh, no, yeah. I mean, like, it's a good time. I mean, it's take the kids. You're fine. I mean, even I mean, even just me. I was like. I what I like, there was like probably about three or four moments where I literally actually had a like a laugh out loud moment. And um, one in particular was with 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 Ace and 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 and, and crypto. Uh, Scott, this was before the final battle. I, I maybe you know what I'm talking about. It's a reference of a certain thing in a DC universe where it was just mm. like it was just funny to me because I'm not going to say it. Uh, maybe you don't know what I'm talking about, but it was just something. And then it was like it was something happened and it was funny and I just laughed. And then I went, they're going to revisit that after this whole touching moment. And then they did. And it made it funnier for some reason. It was just, I just literally was like, I, I was chuckling like out loud. And I was like, that was probably the funniest moment of the whole thing. But there was a couple yeah. other moments too, where it was funny, you there know, just a bad. There was a moment. There's a moment during the final battle between Batman and Ace that was the funniest oh. thing for me. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, Keanu Reeves is Batman. It's just every almost everything he says. You're just gonna be like, it's oh, no, fun. My, no, no. He made my wife laugh her ass Good. off during yeah. that movie. Keanu Reeves I mean, is Batman. That's what, sold, that's what sold me for this movie. I was like, Keanu Reeves is voicing Batman. Well, all right, I got to see this now. Right. And sure enough, like a lot of the things that he says, because he, I mean, you want to talk about, I mean, if, if anybody's like talking about Ben Affleck being a tortured Batman, you ain't seen that shit yet until you, you see Keanu a Batman Reeves in a Batman. kid's in a Keanu Reeves in a kid's movie, that's a tortured Batman. I tell you what. That, that, like, what, that was the thing that interests me the most about yeah. that movie, Keanu Reeves' Batman. But then I heard from other people that that was the worst part of the movie. No. Oh, no. 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 Because no. no. I, I haven't seen it yet. So I'm glad you, got, I'm glad you guys are saying no. That, that, oh, yeah. That no. He was no, great no, no, as no, no. He, He's the part that got the most, like, if, if we're talking about, la like, I actually, like, not just a chuckle, not just a mm. snort, like an actual, right. like, I laughed out loud. <laughs> yeah. no, but, but here's a question. Like, do you think those laughs came because of just based on what was uh, what he was saying or doing? Or was it because what he was saying and doing and because they knew he was Keanu Reeves? No, so, I think oh, it's what he said. It, it's yeah, both. It, it, both yeah. Of, it, there's a little bit of there's a little bit of both, but okay. it's also yeah. it's not really. Sometimes it's how he says it, and that's Keanu yeah. all the way. And those okay. and those moments are like, <laughs> yeah, so they're probably okay. left out on moments. So cool. Cool. I think you guys will enjoy it. But uh, nice. but anyways, um, I know uh, the you, you geek first guys. You uh you you uh you saw you all saw nope right? We did see nope. nope. Yes. 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 Okay. So uh, Chris and I were talking about it. And um, I mean, we I think we kind of lined up when it was like, all right, um, when it comes to Jordan Peele and his I guess you could say his trilogy now. But even though I mean, I guess man, I don't it's a he's going to pull an M. Night Shyamalan and be like, it's all connected somehow or something like that. <laughs> you know, I watched him do something movie, like that where movie. all of a sudden, all of a sudden it's like, wait a minute, what's going on here? And all of a sudden somebody with some T is going to be like, ding, 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 ding. in like his next movie, it's all connected. Mm -hmm. No, but um. You know, I nope. I'm, I'm. It's almost like with me, I probably have to watch all like Get Out again and mm. 
us again. I think us is probably always going to be the weaker one because I like, like, like we were talking about, it's like, I get what you were going for, but I'm not sure if it was, <laughs> if it was all quite there, there was a lot of good things and I see it, I see it, but uh, I don't know if it quite reached where you wanted it to reach. Um, when it came to Nope though, I was, really impressed by a lot of it and then even uh, scott you didn't see nope yet or do no, you know i haven't seen nope yet no. yeah yeah we won't do any spoilers like we no. said but um but nope we won't uh but yeah it was just kind of like you know what i walked out going i was really satisfied it was it had a unique twist on like something that could be um something that's just not unique it's like oh yeah you have a a ranch that's out in the middle of nowhere and there's a freaking ufo that shows up but so overall, I don't, I, I didn't catch your guys' uh, review podcast, but what are we thinking here, Kirkland? What do you, what do you have yeah. to say about it? I mean, going into the film, I was, I was kind of upset because I thought the last trailer just revealed a little bit too much from, uh -huh. from what I wanted to know, like going into it. Yeah, uh, go and fresh. I, yeah, I, I, I wish I could have, but that being said, like I, there was still a lot of surprises in, uh, like in it, and I think the main concept that I thought I had spoiled, uh, it was, it was very. It was very original from what I thought was going to be the case. Uh, if I'm trying to dance around spoilers here, I don't want to go too deep. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but yeah, like I was pleasant, pleasantly surprised with some aspects of it. And yeah, the, the tension buildup was just spectacular. And I think, I, I, yeah, it was just a very enjoyable film. And I definitely want to rewatch it. But I was, I was pleasantly surprised, even though I thought going into it, I, I had too much revealed. But so that, yeah, that was great. I think I even said that too in my first reaction when I was like, Hey, I was like, yeah, going in as fresh as possible. But at the same time with that first trailer, I thought they did a really good job yes. of kind of throwing you off really. Like there's some things in there where you're going, Oh wait. Okay. So, uh, and then, and then when you actually see that reveal of things, you're like, Oh, wait a minute. Oh shit. That wasn't what I thought it was going to be. You know, there's yeah. like things that, that I did not expect. Taylor, what'd you think about it? Well, I, I absolutely loved it. Like yeah. I know Kirkland. You've seen Travis, it twice now. I saw it twice. Ooh, I went to a yeah. different theater to see it the second time because we have the another theater, theater with like really better audio. <laughs> mm. And like everything in this at the second viewing, it just boosted up how much I appreciated this film and like enjoyed it. So I took my wife, she didn't enjoy it as much as I did. <laughs> <laughs> um, Is that a common it, theme, Taylor? I think, no, it's no. Re uh, I think it is recently. I feel like, the, yeah, I feel like the movie she picks. You guys both like, other than um, Nick. What was the a massive talent or whatever? I feel like the movies you've been picking this year have been striking out with your wife. I honestly do. <laughs> Northman no. was not good. I love Northman, Northman was not good. Deep yeah. dive. That, well, Northman. Yeah, I shouldn't have brought her to that. That was <laughs> that was that's like a dude movie right there. Like, just fucking yeah. dripping with masculinity in that. Not movie. a date movie for sure. Yeah, yeah. Hey, she um, liked it. Speak for yourself. Uh, <laughs> I was pleasantly yeah, surprised yeah. she doesn't even watch she doesn't even watch thrillers or scary movies and she still like really got into that one so that's it was, impressive it was enjoyable. well when it came to the trailers for nope i only saw the first trailer and then the second trailer kept popping in theaters and because you guys saw it I thought, okay i'm not gonna watch this so when my mm. wife my wife would be with me <laughs> just turn and look okay like madison talk to me like just ignore the ignore the screen like talk and engage just the and one time it. you're allowed to talk to me during the movie exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. look at me after, after this so, <laughs> yeah. yeah so i still have gone back and rewatched that second trailer I, I need to just to kind of see what like how badly even was it spoiled? even with that second trailer like yeah it does show a little bit more but at the same time i'm like when i saw like because it actually shows like a you know a little bit more of something mm -hmm. and it just kind of goes yeah but it's like at the same time it's like what is happening in that scene that is that and why is it flying that low and this that and this and it's mm -hmm. just it's all this kind of stuff and and then when you actually see it you're like oh shit i think it okay. helps when you see it because i think at the time when i saw it, i'm like oh they're showing lots of stuff here and yeah. they're showing they're like kind of giving away the magic trick because they've done that a mm. few times but i think once you see the movie you're like okay second trailer is not as bad as i thought it could have been yeah right. absolutely and yeah there's some very just disturbing moments <laughs> and like unsettling oh, yeah. moments that Dude, I, there I, was one moment where I was like uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. I think I know what, I I know what yes. you're talking about. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Let's just face it. I don't like tight tight spaces. And oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. That's why I suggest Jesus. watch it a second time because being able to kind of going in and thinking like, okay, I know I know what I caught in the first viewing. Now I can in, 
just kind of observe the second time. And then things that you guys had mentioned in the review that I didn't catch on to is like, holy crap, like this is clicking now, all these dots go into place. This makes sense. It's just, it's more, I found it more terrifying when it comes to alien movies. I always, I had signs put up there as like something yeah. that's always an unsettling film for me. And now this yep. Nope has just gone right up there as another unsettling alien related film. So how do you feel about E.T.? I'm just kind of curious. It terrifies me. No, I thought it they should have killed that fucking alien right when they oh. saw it. I, I keep thinking about things. I mean, I don't want to give away spoilers or anything like that. But if people keep saying, like, an uh, alien movie. Like, was it an alien movie? I'm like, I, mean, I don't want to say too much. Yes, yes, yes. I, I mean, like, yeah, no, no, I know, I know. There's like, it's like, I there's so many. I mean, genre. I think it's, like, it's definitely yeah. like the genre, yes. Mm -hmm. But I, probably, yeah, yeah. But, but the thing, but the, the like themes thing, and stuff like that. Yeah, I get what I you're saying. I have a theory what about saying. what that thing is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I know, I know. It's hard to like really like dive into it without just like having a full on spoiler discussion yeah, because yeah. there could be like a million different like. And that's what I love about these types of movies. It's like, mm -hmm. oh, yeah, when you finally like, go, oh, wait, this is like, whoa, whoa, this is yeah. interesting. And it's funny, too, because anybody who's watching, not knowing what we're talking about, is going, what the fuck is it? Is it, <laughs> bro is it drones? Is it, you know, is it what, you know, and they're like, yeah. and that's what I love, too. And that's what Jordan Peele did so excellently. It was like, hey, okay, yeah, I'm going to show you this. And then, hey, I mean, and then he really does show you, like, some things and then all of a sudden he just throws that curveball like an m9 Shyamalan type of curveball and you go oh and then you get this crazy like you know this final act where you're like what the and the way that they're just trying to approach this thing with like you know trying to you know yeah it's just it's crazy anyway so all right cool like i'm glad that we all kind of you know we all relatively enjoyed it would you what would you what would you guys rank it when it comes to jordan peele's three movies kirkland um i've seen get out the most i've only seen us once but I, yeah. I i feel like out of most people i talk to i'm i'm pretty positive on us i i feel like the 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 micro details of like in yeah. the moment situations really worked for me and it just really unsettled me and i i feel like i was able to look past like the grand the grand concept of it like how how logistics logistically would this work out um and so yeah probably probably get out first and then us last unfortunately but again like i've only seen it once and i've only seen nope once as well and recency bias as well like it's just fresh mm. in my mind and it's kind of just been sitting with me these last or this last week since i saw it so um yeah like I, as soon as i left the theater though i was just like man i can't wait to just like go on youtube and watch like a, a breakdown of every little minor i detail. did that with us i did that with us oh, i went yeah. down a rabbit <laughs> I did that hole with get out. <laughs> yeah dave was yeah. looking for his tethered out there in america exactly there's another me somewhere <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Scissors. what's he like yeah. yeah uh taylor what uh where would you rank it in uh peels three movies for me nope is definitely at the top I, uh, I want right. I want to go see it again. Like I do want to go see Ooh, it a third again. time. When's the last I time you saw a movie three times? That's, that's the first time I've ever heard that anybody said Nope was at the top. Mm. Yeah, like I would I, like Us was definitely I put Us over Get Out and then Nope. Really? Was, like, yeah, I enjoyed Whoa. Us. I enjoyed how much it just kind of frightened me. You can enjoy <laughs> Us to put it over Get Out. That I didn't hear you have that take before. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Exclusive. <laughs> <laughs> been talking to this guy for seven years no i'm the same as taylor i got nope as number one i think you could argue mm. that get out's the better film but it's that like better film versus your favorite and i just loved pretty much everything about nope i've always said before that uh, the trailers did kind of hurt me with get out because i feel like they showed almost everything almost mm. everything and as i've rewatched i've liked it more but nope i think just has the sensibilities i i like as far as just some of the the genres i think that's the best one where he creates tension as well there's just like five to ten minutes of tension you're you're just on pins and needles you know you get scared of certain animals and stuff like that so yeah i i think nope is my number one i'm, I'm excited to see it again i gotta see it because the lady just, ha hasn't seen it so but yeah no it's i i think if uh yeah i i can't d decide yet i'd have to watch get out again and i have mm -hmm. to watch nope again because you know, I'm like I said, I've said so many times I'm a sucker for alien stuff. And that's just I just love that to death. Yeah. I mean, Get Out's great, but it's like it's a thriller more than anything. And then, of course, you know, when you get that twist, it it, it really just goes into like this crazy, you know, oh, yeah, there is a sci fi element to it, obviously. 
But at the same time, I'm just like, I don't know, like with with the vibes that it was giving me from Signs and Signs being my favorite M. Night Shyamalan movie. Um, I just really that's that that's what kind of set it for me. And the fact that it that one scene where it just made me go, oh, my God, I was like literally just fidgeting in my seat going. I mean, there's a couple of times, too, where it was like, mm-hmm. oof. But there was like this one particular time. It yeah, feels long not, too. That's yeah, when you're like, uh, you're not a fan of tight spaces. Holy no. shit! There's like that's my fear of part. dying right there. It's oh like yeah, it was space, like yeah. it was like, well, okay, 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 Jordan, you're showing this a little too long here, <laughs> you know? <laughs> oh, my God. And it was like, yeah, it just got me where it was like, yeah. And and if a movie gives me that, you know, I appreciate it for sure. So, mm-hmm. yeah. But um, but uh, before we uh, well. Well, I guess before we uh, get st- uh, go on to uh, from Nope to uh, maybe some more Comic Con stuff. Ray, Ray, Ray. Hey, Ray, what's going on? <laughs> I did see that uh, Thursday, finally. I you saw Nope. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. So before we get to uh, other uh, topics, thoughts. I'm at this point where I think it is. You know, I remember Stephen however long ago said that he was going to stop ranking like <laughs> franchises and like, and like yeah. movies of a certain franchise. I'm not going to rank Jordan Peele's movies because all three of them are so different in terms of like, I mean, he has a, like he, he, he is an auteur and he definitely has a style, but it's not fair to rank <laughs> all of his to, to, to like say that this one's better. That one's better. Cause you know, the, the, this well, it's not no, like so much that it's better. It's like which one do you would which one would you put on first? Mm-hmm. I would say like which right. one stuck do you on a plane, prefer? you only get one. Yeah, you pick I don't one. know that I'm putting any of them on. If I'm, stuck <laughs> on any of them, oh yeah, that's true. To be honest <laughs> that's with a you. good point. Like, that's a good like, point. That's a good point. <laughs> well, it, well it, listen, just you know, as a black man, I'm not. I, 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 you have to be in a mode to watch Get Out mm-hmm. again. As a black man, because that's just that that culturally speaking, that's the most terrifying in my in my humble opinion, as far as what the the, the subject matter of that film. Yeah. Um, But I was actually kind of really I was I was very tough on myself after seeing Note because I read like as soon as the credits rolled, I read Richard Newby's article that he wrote uh, last week. Uh, where he broke down, I mean, and it's, it's spoiler filled. So don't, no one read it unless you've seen the movie, but he breaks down like all the imagery and all the different symbolism. And there was so much of it that I didn't catch. And I was just like, damn it. I should have caught that. What the hell? Like I, I had the subtlest hint of what the movie was getting at. And it was like, subconsciously I was picking up what it was laying down, but I wasn't getting a lot of the overt stuff. Like there's like, there's things if I watch this, when I watch this movie a second time, I'll be like, okay, there's that, there's this, there's that. I totally get it. And I love the way that Jordan Peele is able to master craft modern social issues into wholly terrifying, batshit crazy sci-fi horror. The scene that you're talking about with claustrophobia. Yeah. Huh? Jesus Christ. Yeah, it reminded me of Fire in the Sky. If anybody oh, wants to see that movie. Oh, you want to talk about an alien uh, movie that that that's crazy. Oh, yeah. I haven't thought about Definitely. That yeah. Chris, have you seen Fire in the Sky? Yeah, I haven't thought about yeah. that movie in a long time. Mm-hmm. And now you're that gonna was, have a nightmare tonight. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> that, that, that was the first thing that popped into my head yeah. when I saw that scene. But yeah, like it's just you know, it, it's his movies are must see. Like three three movies in, it's like okay, no, I, I every time you make a movie, I must watch it at least once, and then I will digest it later because there's a whole lot to digest out of what he's saying, and it's it, it it's a masterclass. Seriously, he he is a fantastic filmmaker, and he was. He, I, I I'm waiting. Like like, what's his weakest going to be? That's why I don't even want to rank his movies. Because like I don't want to yeah, call I mean, one of like like is this his weakest or is that like what when is that gonna happen? It's like no, I don't want to do that. I don't. No, need to I do mean that. they're all pretty. They're all fairly strong. I mean, yeah, and then of course you know it's it just depends. But uh, yeah, man. I mean, when you god damn, now I'm gonna have a nightmare tonight too about firing this guy. That movie fucking freaked me out. Well, it, Jesus well, see, Christ. 
and, and that's the other thing. Like, and, and I also, I think probably the, the, the thing that I love that Peel does extremely well is, is the tension. Yeah. yeah. Oh, the tension. Just, he, he understands. James Wan's, James Wan's good at that too. See, I, and I haven't seen any of Wan's horror films. I need to see some of them, but like, oh. uh, but, 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 but like, top tier at that. Oh yeah. Oh, Which yeah. one? Conjuring up here with his tension. Okay. It's just, it just plays it so good, so well. It's not a jump scary type of movie where it's gonna like get loud noise at you. They they mess with your mind, and he's really good at that. Yeah. Well, and there were and there were a couple of moments in Nope that were the same way. Like the oh yeah, I'll I'll just say in the barn. Mm-hmm. Like uh-huh. there's a there's a oh, yeah. scene in the there's a scene in, in the barn, barn where you're sprinkler. literally like yeah, it, right, and you're like what well, I. Yeah. I it, up, you're just in WTF mode the whole time, yeah. And it's crazy how it ends up, especially yeah. after all the build up, because it's like five minutes of well, I don't know, uh, like you were, yeah. you were unsettled. You have no clue what is happening, and yeah. then he's like, "Oh no, it's this." It's like you son of a bitch, <laughs> you know. Like, hey Chris, day, you so. just got a guess right here. What's going on <laughs> with that? You know? Yeah, yeah. I, uh, this is uh. I'm, I'm gonna, I'll keep it clean. I was, that was a joke that I was going to say. I, 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 have I was already thinking <laughs> just it. The pussy you yeah, I, I, think we were all I was going to make a pussy joke. but I, I just I, went I, to the veto in 92. <laughs> just like yeah. pussy I'm, looking for. I'm really good at pulling it. <laughs> and Michelle <laughs> Pfeiffer is just disgusted with him and wants nothing yeah. to do with him. <laughs> <laughs> she was making noise, so I was like, oh, okay, let me, let me. I thought that was me. I was like, is that my cats outside the door trying to get in? <laughs> you got three of them now, <laughs> so it might be. Jeez. Uh, all right. So, uh, anyways, yeah. Anybody who hasn't seen Fire in the Sky, do yourself a favor. You want to have a nightmare? Go yeah, for it. I mean that. Yeah. And 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 it's not even that that that. Yeah. I mean it's yeah. The last 15, 20 minutes will this. It, the way. I, I don't even know who directed that movie. Do we even know who directed that movie? Kudos to the way that that movie was set up because it's Robert very Liverman. It's, okay. I don't even know if he's, he's done anything <laughs> else, but Jesus Christ. But p- kudos to him because the, the structure man. of that movie is like, all right, you know, this is about Travis Walton who got abducted by aliens. And, and then I'll, you know, and then he comes back of course. And then that's a whole story about, you know, the, the, his workers when they were, you know, the, um, you know, cutting down trees or whatever the fuck. And then they're all interrogated and blah, blah, blah. And then he shows up randomly and just the way that it's structured is yeah. just so nicely done because it literally like even like the opening scene is like, what the fuck is happening right now? And then it it's them telling the story of the day. And then there's just like this whole build up. And then you get this build up to, OK, now we're going to see what happened. We're going to see from Travis's perspective. And it freaked me. And I had nightmares for a week because I mean, that came out in 1994. I was like you know, young as shit. And, and just, yeah. Why did my mom let me watch that movie? I don't know. <laughs> it, you know, bad on her. She got less sleep. Interesting. This guy went, he went <laughs> on, on he's directed a buttload of TV. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. He did a Titanic okay. one. I saw here. Oh, he did the Titanic TV show. Yeah. Oh, I remember that. Tim the mini- Curry. Curry. Catherine yes. Jones. Yeah. I remember that. Oh, yeah. but he did like, they did Falling my Skies. Ducks he did The Expanse. He did The X Files. Oh, I love oh, the no. Fallen Sky series. Oh, I don't... he directed the third Mighty Ducks mm-hmm. movie. This is oh, wow. <laughs> On IMDb, yeah. that's the first thing that pops up is D3. That is great funny. Movie. Wow. <laughs> great oh, movie, Kirkland. You swear by that one? Best, <laughs> yeah, of the, <laughs> best of the franchise, D3. I, don't, I wouldn't say that, but I, I have Mighty Ducks. <laughs> Nostalgia oh, memories in my heart. I, 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 oh, yeah. I, I don't. I don't remember it being a bad. I don't. I don't think any all any of the three. I didn't watch the show, but like. Well, when it came to D three, Mighty Ducks, like uh, uh, Mila Estevez was like in like one like tiny scene in the opening and one mm. tiny scene in the ending or something like that. It was all just like, hey, you know, Joshua Jackson and and everybody yeah, was Joshua just like Joshua Jackson. It, yeah, Joshua Jackson, man. But it wasn't like the other ones where he was there like the entire time. It was like, hey, Emilio Estevez, do you want to do this? And maybe he didn't. So he was like in the beginning and then he like showed up at the end and it was like, that was it. And then then all of a sudden they do a Mighty Ducks series and he's all in it. (laughs) It's like, hey, I, I was all about the Mighty Ducks cartoon series, dude. That, that, oh, yeah. There was, that's right. That. There was a cartoon <laughs> series. Oh, yeah, there was. Yeah, there was. I forgot about that. Yeah. Holy shit. Man. Oh, yeah. That was one of the first things I watched on yeah. Disney+. Plus. Uh, yeah. by, <laughs> y- 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 being a 
be, being a hockey fan, it was just always like for years, it's like that the, the the team exists. The t- the yeah, team yeah. is re- and like back then, like the, the the logo and the it was straight out of the movie. Mm-hmm. Like yeah, how yeah. the actual team. Like, yeah, that was the first time that that uh, the movie like like almost like created the whole like that whole team, right? That logo and everything. Yeah, that that yeah. came. Hundred percent from the came in the right? second one, it, yeah, it, yeah, it, yeah, yeah, because yeah, it was it was during like there was uh, like one of the the expansion periods in like the early nineties in the NHL, yeah. and they came in it, and the jersey actually looked even more cartoony at first because it was like this weird green, and it was a giant like duck Disney. with a Jason mask on what? that was yeah, just, yeah. Like, just like had his arms up <laughs> with like yeah. a hockey stick in one and like a puck in the other yeah, or something like that. Yeah, I remember what? that. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and then, then they, they changed, changed it to like the mask with that right. duck bill. With, oh, right. Yeah. Exactly. That made it more well, guys, badass. Yeah. Well, you guys got to realize like that's all Anaheim and, and Disney just owns that whole thing. I mean, they own the, the, the Angels for a bit. And I remember when they owned the Angels, they tried to change it from the halo over the A. They're like, let's put wings on the A. And it was like everybody was wow. kind of going. Oh, I, yeah, I remember that. Remember those years? Yes, I do. Remember, remember, remember those years? And then all of a sudden, it was like it they, it wasn't really working out, and like uh, things were dipping, and they just kind of sold the team. Wait, and what, then it went back. What movie is the, this? Are we talking about Angels in the Outfield? What oh, movie? remember that movie? Oh, I love <laughs> that movie. I love yeah. that movie. Isn't that a Disney? Hey, movie? Yeah, it it is a Disney, Disney movie. Disney isn't it? Disney Jason movie. Christopher Lloyd. Yes. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Joseph yeah. Gordon Levitt, hey. man. Hey, Joseph hey, Gordon hey, Levitt. Hey, 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 Joseph Gordon Levitt. Hey, Danny Glover, Tony Danza, yeah. like that movie oh, yeah. has a weirdly low. Dude, cast. it had Matthew McConaughey in it. Matthew oh, McConaughey. I don't, remember him. I don't even remember him being in it. Wow, okay, I gotta. Wasn't Matthew he in it? He was the outfielder, right? Yes. The, the, so you remember, like, like back then, Dave, I promise we're not going to get into baseball mode, but just for a second here. <laughs> like, remember there were like three baseball movies that like came out around, there was Angels in the Outfield, there was Rookie of the Year. Which was like you know the, the what's his name from uh, American Pie who was like Dude, I'm, I'm literally googling him right now. I was about yeah. to bring that. I know up. I got the face. <laughs> you beat me to it. Yes. Yeah, you fucking beat me to it. Totally. Like the, he's. I mean he he's like a side character in American Pie, but he's like the he's he's, he's Henry year. Rowan Gardner yeah. who like yeah. he slipped year. on a baseball and his yeah, arm turned into a rubber band. And he could throw oh, like I love that miles movie. an hour. Yeah. <laughs> he struck, he yes. struck out Barry Bonds. He <laughs> struck out right. uh, Pedro Guerrero. He <laughs> struck out Bobby Bonilla. Yeah. Right. So there was oh, that. Okay. That, that, and that was there the was baseball Liv- version of Like Mike. Oh, <laughs> totally. that is a great movie. <laughs> <laughs> the, the first one, <laughs> Lil Bow Wow. I love that movie. Bow Wow. And then there was... Like, was <laughs> How do we go from was, Nope to Like Mike? Nope to Like Mike. Quite, quite the transition, yes. Oh, but no, there was a, there was a third the one. Junkies, there, baby. There, there was uh, oh, there was little big league on the vodka stream. You, you remember little big league? Oh, little I remember big league. Yes. Big oh, league. Dude, yes. dude, little big league is. I mean, I okay. I'm not gonna say underrated because Ray, we talked about when it came to uh, uh, when it came to Miami Vice, underappreciated. Underappreciated. Is, yes. yes. Underappreciated, yeah. little big league, underappreciated. That it, is in my top five baseball movies. Because out of the, out of those three, it was the most serious. Well, it had Ken because... Griffey Jr. in it. Fucking yeah. <laughs> right. Well, well, also, also that was the one where like the kid was the manager, right? Like in Angels yeah. in the Outfield, he's like helping. He's like helping the team, like as an outside observer. In Rookie of the Year, he's a player. In Little Big League, he's the manager. So there was like a little bit more of a, and it's it was the Twins. It was Minnesota, so it's like, okay, what are they going to do? But like, that's, <laughs> yeah, you know, that was that. That's that's probably out of the three of them, the one that I watched like the least. I don't know. Rookie of the year got me for some reason. See, Rookie for of me, the year was, it was this. Angels in the outfield, like that really? was the one. Because, well, because they had Christopher Lloyd, and I loved yeah. Back to the Future, so he was in it. And then he had Tony Danza, and I watched Who's the Boss. So okay. thanks, man. That See, but oh, okay, but right, and I'm with you on that. But remember, Rookie of the Year had like. Daniel Stern, John Candy, John Candy Gary was Busey. rookie of the year. Gary, Gary, Busey. Gary Busey was in rookie of the year. Like before he went in. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. But before yeah. he he was still like it was like just he, it was like post like Lethal Weapon slash whatever else he did back in the, I don't even remember what what was he used to do. Gary Busey, remember when he used to do like Predator Two? Predator Two. I was just saying Predator, Predator Two. Predator oh, Predator yeah, we just watch that. Yeah. Have you have you ever seen like you, you know how like Wesley Snipes has like a ton so, of action right? movies that you've never seen? 
Yes, <laughs> yes. Just, like came out of nowhere. Like there's one I've called seen Passengers 57. I have. Th th there's one called Drop Zone where it's yes. literally about skydivers. Skydiving. Gary Busey Ooh. is the villain. Is in that movie. Yeah, he's he is baddie, facing right? off against. Yes. The, it, he is a Gary Busey is a villainous drug dealing skydiver. I am not kidding. That is literally the plot. <laughs> wow. Oh, <laughs> drop, oh, there was two. There were two skydiving movies that came out in the nineties. That and Terminal <laughs> Velocity with Charlie Terminal Sheen. Velocity. Yeah, I remember Terminal oh, Velocity. That's yeah. the one I remember. Okay, yes. and 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 if I remember correctly, Terminal Velocity <laughs> wasn't that the one that had like it was like the KGB. And it, yes. it was like, and it, it, was, yeah, it, was, it was, it was, yeah. it was right. And, and it was James Gandolfini and Christopher yes. McDonald, AKA Shooter McGavin with really bad Russian accents, <laughs> stealing gold. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. and, oh, it was, God, it was so movie. bad. It was good. Oh, yeah, it was so it was. bad that it was good. That's I'll what's so great about that. I, you know, the, the two things I grew up on in, in my era were uh, Nazis with British accents and in russians like those are the bad guys in the movies when i was growing up. i was wondering where he was going with that when he's like the two things i grew up with was with nazis and then i'm like okay i see movies but i was like man tough household if, if, if you go back to go back to the early 90s late 80s early 90s it's some crazy shit with mm -hmm. action and movies. it's so good and, and and somebody that would not even uh, uh understand this look over here well, he's a uh, KC right here. Yeah, yeah he doesn't. He, he hasn't seen any of these movies. This young and right here, KC. What's going on, KC? Nothing much. I was just waiting for you to bring me in. I saw that like, you did like five times, and I was like, yes. Yeah, you saw my arm do this. <laughs> yeah. And Steven's not even here. Yeah. No. Um, KC, really quick. What what year were you born? Honestly. Ninety four. Okay, so okay. he's not that. He's not that. Old. No. Okay. I, I... I, w I was yeah. in a, I was Thank you, Scott. Yeah, I, I was, <laughs> you're getting old, Casey. 12, Fuck. You're, you're only 12 years younger than me. Okay, it's fine. I, 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 I was telling Shonda this. feel old. Oh. <laughs> I, I, I was telling Shonda this earlier because I, I went, I was at Big B Coffee earlier today. And while I was waiting on this coffee, like, Bittersweet Symphony by The Verve comes on. And I was, <laughs> I was true. so, I was dun, so dun, tempted. Dun, 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 dun. Right, yeah. exactly. I was so tempted to ask everybody in like in there who was alive when this song came out. Mm. And then I was like, don't ask that question because you're not going to get an answer you want. You're going to walk out limping and holding your hip. You're going to be like, oh, fuck. It was really funny that we were driving in the we were driving in the car and uh, to my parents house. So it was about a 20, 25 minute drive. And for some reason, Heather has just loved the fact that on Amazon Music, they have, you know, you know, they have really good like radio playlist stations, kind of like Apple radio. And they have an alternative and nineties grunge station. That oh, she has I love just that. That's my jam like, right there. Oh no. And I'm sitting here going, okay. Like she knows all the words, but you know, you get like the jagged little pill, mm -hmm. you know, anything that plays from that album. Well, it's more set. Yo, you better believe yeah. it. And, <laughs> and all these other things that it's like, she's just like, that's her jam. And she looks at me. It's like, do you know this one? No. Do you know this one? Oh, do you know? yeah, I know this one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's just it's like, how do you not know the music of your generation? Because I was listening to an oldie station that was playing 50s, 60s, <laughs> and 70s, okay? Um, it's like all um, these Billy, all these Billy Eilish fans. I'm like, you you mean today's version of Fiona Apple? Yeah. Oh, okay. oh thank, you. Right. thank you. Thank you. He totally right. is. She totally is. These, these children don't know anything. I mean, about it's that. Like, there's uh, nothing against Billie Eilish. She has a talent, and like yeah, that, you know, yeah, yeah, bad yeah. guy song came Careful. on. I mean, that's oh, yeah. that's a catchy song. But yeah, original, it yeah, does yeah. give me some Fiona well, Apple vibe. Fiona Apple. I'm sorry. Oh yeah. She oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> I totally, I totally agree with that. I totally agree with that. <laughs> Spotify or Kirkland, Spotify. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anybody who doesn't know, yeah, and yeah. also KC. Yeah. No, but uh, there, yeah. yeah. You were like you were like one and a half. Um. Anyways. Um. But anyway. Yeah. <laughs> you see, don't feel bad. I'm a '94 kid as well. Don't yeah. Worry. See, oh, there God. you go. So. All the people being born when I was like in middle school, and it's just like I, I, I my literally. Time. My dad took hey. me to see Die Hard with a Vengeance a year after you were born. Yeah, Taylor was still in diapers. Oh my God. You were seeing Die Hard. I was. Yeah. Who, like, uh, who was Tupac? Oh. I don't know. <laughs> 
<laughs> hey, at least I, did, I didn't get I born, born after like 99. Oh, yeah, the true. 90s, it's That's still cool, right? 80s and yeah. 90s are yeah, cool. Yeah, 2000s ruin everything. We're fucked now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right. Um, and then, of course, uh, okay, so I wanted to, you know, get your guys' opinion on the events that happened this um no, no, um, what are you bringing up? I know. What am I bringing up? <laughs> well, you know, well I mean, today, like, there was like shit six storms today. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> pretty much. But uh, but I mean, you know, somebody else is joined right now. Uh, Throw a knife at Steven. Oh, we yeah. thought we were going to get oh, away oh, with oh, it. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> What's um, going on, Steven? How you doing? Good. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're just uh, talking about 90s, uh, you know, Grunge and rock and music you, and you Casey like has no idea. and <laughs> Taylor has no idea. You know, yeah. The cool sounds of what did you listen time. to in the nineties, Steven? <laughs> oh man, um, in the nineties, I don't know. Um, <laughs> Bone Thugs and Harmony. Yeah, yeah. Well, because I've always I've, 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 it was like five years of my life where I listened to music. I don't even. I have no idea what they said. I could just go because they rap so fast. I know what you're trying to say. I'm gonna. I, I, he, yes, he, he, he's gonna be say, right at cro crossroads. Exactly. You at the crossroads. Uh huh. Yeah. Help. Help. Dude, there was something else. What yeah. happened? To them? When, dude, when, when me and my friends are playing Call of Duty, I'm like. Kill him with the crossbow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. This just reminds me, Ray, when we were reviewing Batman Forever and we started talking about Kiss from a Rose and Hold so, Me, Thrill Me, Kiss Me, Kill oh, Me. Oh, <laughs> such good fucking songs, yes. man. I like, know, right? Like, yes. Hold Me, Thrill Me, yes. Kiss Me, Pump. Like, it hits. You're like, oh my. You're like, yes, bro. Yes. Let's do it. Yeah. That was like, but, but, but. <laughs> But I grew up in, I was, I just, we said this in the real, I grew up in a household where, like, we had, see, that was our, mm -hmm. that was the family's introduction to Seal. Yeah. So, yes. wasn't that we, wasn't that we listened to the Batman Forever song, we listened to Seal's yeah. album. Yeah. Like, <laughs> that, I've, that, I've was, that was, that was during album. the time, that was during the time when soundtracks were doing better than the damn Fuck movie. Fuck yes. Oh, yes. The Batman Forever yes. soundtrack was amazing. Yeah. The oh, Batman Forever's Forever set, they had Seal, yeah. they had Offspring, they had uh, Tony, Tony, I think was on there. They had U2. Yeah. U2. Oh yeah, that was my introduction to U2. Yeah. 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 That, that soundtrack was amazing. Man, you, you, watch, you watch the, the Spawn movie, but I'm, I'm thinking about oh, yeah. Marilyn, their Marilyn Manson song. Marilyn Manson. Oh, oh yeah. I want to live, I want to love, but it's a long, hard road out of hell. Things yeah. like that. Like, oh, I, I, and, love and, it. I love it when the song. In, and then all and the Transformers in 90, did movies. You know, did the... you know if Dave Grohl shaved his face, shaved his face he looked like the drummer of Peter Who would have thunk? Yeah, who I wonder if they're the same guy. Yeah. 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 No, I almost... I, I, I love almost, that joke. I love that joke. I almost feel like Prince started that trend. Yes, when I they fucking love that album so much. Um, when, when, yeah. when, when they, the bad I, I, I still argue. My family, because we're all like obviously Trust. We're a Prince family, <laughs> but like look at that. of course, Trust. 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 I yeah. still argue with my family because I'm like, it's oh one God, of Prince's best this. albums. They're like, are you it serious? Is. I'm like, yes, it it's is. So, Look at that I think because oh, it's yeah. in Batman, and like, honestly, some of the songs don't really fit the movie, but the songs yeah. are well, not great. at all. Right. I know you're care. right. I know <laughs> you're 100% right. Yeah. You, if, you, you just, have to either be focused on the album or focus on the movie. Because yeah. sometimes yeah. it just it doesn't takes fit together. I'm a joke trying to comprehend. I just don't understand how. Everything that Scott needs is right off camera. <laughs> yeah. He's Every got time. He's got a Every single time. Camera. I don't know. That, that, that's I, how. No, it, that, I'm, that I'm is, trying to process, like, okay, so he's got action figures and vinyl and books and, and DVDs books. and books. He's book, got hammer space but, somewhere. But I right. bought this 16 years ago, but it's right here. They're all right here. <laughs> it's just off. Like Jerry Springer's child <laughs> results. You are the father here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna, he's yeah, he's gonna pull test results out of like every time he reaches over. I'm like, what's he getting? And he pulls something out, it's like an entirely different category of whatever it was he just grabbed from that same spot before. I'm trying to imagine how this is organized. Is there just a stack of stuff? Well, do you, he, plant... he's got the fucking air cut in that do bag, you... too, probably. <laughs> do, you, do you plant like a variety of things ahead of time? Like, okay, I'll find a way to work these in throughout, and it just looks yes. care top, like 100%. it happens, yeah. like naturally. It's, top. it's honestly yeah, because. 
Because there was no way that you could have predicted that we were going to talk about Batman 89 soundtrack, no, and somehow no, why, you pulled right. that out right now. Unless he had time to really steer right. the conversation in that direction. That's and true. We're, and he's just such a master I at didn't it even that... bring it up. That's the beauty of it. <laughs> he's the Ozzy Mendez of the vodka stream. He's well, just... it, it, but, but, but he doesn't even – But but and I, I can count on one hand how many times he said, hold on, I'll be right back to go get something. Yeah. Most of the yeah. time it's lean over. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And then he'll say, oh, look at my basement, and he'll turn the camera around. He's like, there's all my books, there's all my DVDs. And I'm like, okay, cool. And we'll be talking. He's like, by the way, here's this one. And I'm like, okay, I need <laughs> to know... Are you are you Mr. Fantastic? Did your arm yeah. like I don't Did you stretch? Is His wife is off screen running back and forth. Like, yeah. Honey, give me the album, give me the album. She's like snap. <laughs> oh, no matter what, yeah. no matter what the topic is, he's Travis. like, uh, lean over and he's like, oh green there ranger. It is. No, green Chris, ranger you don't understand. <laughs> this is a running is. this is a running gag. Like I really do yeah. do this on a on a oh, yeah. regular Tra basis. Travis has unlocked it though. It's not the wife, well, it's the but I mean it's it's a running gag. It's a joke that I make every time. But it's also legitimately breaking my brain at the same time, <laughs> <laughs> because <laughs> that wasn't Seriously. just a random prop. You you pulled out the album you were talking about. You were literally from yeah. right next to your what screen. Right. And... Somehow, <laughs> like it was <laughs> planned. It was crazy. Yeah. Oh, Original Pikachu, 1997. <laughs> yeah, yeah. By the way, yeah. this just so happened to come yeah. up in the conversation, and yeah, yeah. is right yeah. off screen. Chat, oh, did Dave... you know that there's a? I have the alien from Signs. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> chat. Dave has us all meet an hour before, and we go exactly yeah. over what we're all gonna oh, say, yeah, whatever. Sure. And right. so that's how Dave all Scott right. gets all yeah. his stuff ready and everything. There it like is. That. Yeah. The Amazon Twist on the box yeah, the 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 screen. Right there. Right there. It's all pre-planned. It's all swing away. Swing, oh, swing away, <laughs> swing away. Anyways, but uh, <laughs> moving on. Um, well, I mean, uh, I guess the biggest thing that was talked about this week is, uh, um, well, um, a certain little, uh, uh, you know, a person that was going to be in a, in a comic book uh, type movie. And that person is, uh, is uh, you know, um, uh, uh, how are we feeling about Dr. Strange? <laughs> Just it. Get out of here. He already has it. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna totally throw See, it now off. Now you're just showing off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dave. Think of the most random, obscure topic and see if Scott has. Yeah. I know. I'm almost tempted to do that. Like, let's what talk else about showgirls. Okay. Okay. Scott, okay. Okay. Go. Scott, do you have, do you have like a picture of Brendan Fraser in the whale. Go. <laughs> oh yeah. Or that facial expression is his hand stretching out oh, under the God. table, going across yeah. the room to grab something. And he goes, "Oh, by the way, I do. It's in a frame already." But, but, but here, it, so Dave, here's here's the funny part. Mm -hmm. Like the day that all that happened, I mean, I I'm I'm on Twitter and I see the pictures and I'm like, it's bullshit. Like all day I that didn't was, buy it. Fuck you, I didn't mama. buy it. That at was all my first spot too. Until <laughs> until Scott sent us the video in yeah. our Squadcast media chat. That was the first time I saw the video, and then I went like, yeah, the video oh. was buried in the. It was like the third, the third panel. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah, exactly. And, and and as soon as I saw the video, I was like, "Oh, shit, this is yeah. real." And then yeah. you look at the picture, and it's like, "Okay, no, he." Well, you start. And there was a video him of like, him that just went up from him with, uh, or the video of him smoking and signing autographs. And so then I was like, "That's the Bruce Wayne wig." And I'm mm -hmm. like, "Let's check the video." Right. And I'm like, "Yeah, no, that he's definitely wearing the wig." And like, yeah. but this is not yeah. just like he's. This is not from Justice League. No, and and he's thinner because like, you can tell like, he's thinner because he's like lean. Library, yeah. Gala and from BVS. Yeah, oh, but he's the, also the, the, he's with the, Momoa and he's like doesn't look like he looked like when they were filming Justice League. Like I was, and so the slowly like, no, this is. But what is this? He looks yeah, like the Monster right. Manhunter, and, Ben Affleck. And, and, he does. And That's even, a good comparison. Yeah, yeah. And, and even it's, after seeing the video, I was still wait. There's even today there was still part of me that's waiting for like you know the the, the gotcha. You know, it, it's bullshit. No, this is all whatever. And I start seeing more and more verified accounts posting about it. I'm like, son of a bitch. No one's debunking this. Because we're, not, so we're well, not allowed to have nice things. But the funny thing, too, is, though, that we still don't know other than what Momoa said. Because even, of course, in traditional Momoa fashion, there's no punctuation, no. No. And I'm like, is no. he saying, is he saying this is for Aquaman 2? Or is he saying, right. here's a thing we're doing, also be excited for Aquaman 2? It, was this yeah. done during Aquaman production, or is this happening right? Like, there was so many questions but, that are like, because he says it, like it too vague. He says like reunited and miss you, almost in the same sense. I'm like, yeah, I know. Are you guys together? Or were you not? Threw me off. Yeah. Yeah. That threw me off too. <laughs> right. 
Hmm. But 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 it, but but at the end of the day, it's like you know all the stuff that we talked about like before Comic Con, like all the. In many ways, the last forty-eight hours just validates almost every frustration that a DC fan has. Yeah. Well, because... look back at our conversation <laughs> last week, and right. then look at Comic Con, the lead up to Comic Con, what happened at Comic Con, and yeah, then this, there. and it's right. like exactly what we were talking about. Exactly. Of the... like, can, can we talk about how good that Bruce Wayne wig actually is? Oh, I know it's a so really good wig. Yeah, it's. I it's really believe it be yes. Yes. Wait, 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 I bet that's why he keeps on coming back to the character. Wait, that's a wig. He's like, look, I don't want to wear the bat suit, but I do want to wear the wig. Oh, that's a wig. Yes, his hair is. Yeah, yeah. Because if you look at Ben Affleck's hair and like paparazzi, he's got kind of like. Wavy, Clo- curly, almost hair. Yeah, so, yeah. It's, it's a lot shorter, shorter too, right? His hair is a lot oh, yeah. shorter than that. Shorter yeah. too. It's almost. It's yeah. close it's to a buzz right anymore, now. Is it? But I just love like how casual <laughs> this is. That's what well, and you also wonder brothers. if this is like, of course, Momoa is like, he's a face of the franchise and enough that he could. Right now, like, yes. Yeah, he could. He could. Yeah. He, he could. <laughs> maybe now the, the the permission to release this, but it's also Momoa. It's the. Ah, oh, fuck it! I want to see the Snyder cut. Like, yeah, right. Like, and so there's, and so the, and so you, you see this, and you're like, wow, is he like stirring the pot, Sorry, or bro. is this like Sorry, bro. coordinated marketing <laughs> right. with, or is this him no, and Ben Affleck sitting around being like, hey, let's break the internet? But, but like, I think see, so. see, 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 and and Stephen, that's and that's that's what makes all of this as a DC fan so maddening because all of that is entirely possible, and by the same token, it goes into what we're saying. Look at how little. Like, you don't need like not a, no dates, no announcement, nothing even completely official. The studio has said nothing. Just well, this, just and, this has people created like, oh, the trades confirmed chaos. it. But if you read all the trade reports, all they do is just re- they just say yeah, Momoa they posted say this. Jason Momoa stayed. Right. They're yeah. not say, like they they didn't get any confirmation but, from but, Affleck or Momoa or like the studio or anything. They're just saying this, all we know is what Momoa said. So that's there's no. This like, is but they're all running effort. with it, but, but but it's like right. but it's like deadline. The Hollywood Reporter, like everyone, just like, that was the thing that got me was because you know uh, Ray, one of our listeners, Corey Sims, he was the first one to DM me the the Instagram uh, post, and I looked mm-hmm. at my DM when I was coming back from Super Pet, and and like you guys are saying, uh, the the caption was confusing. I'm seeing a picture with him and Affleck. I don't know when this picture was taken. And and then I get home. I get the kids all settled. And then I see Dave's video that shows me the the, the Instagram part. And I just yeah. went, what the what? fuck? Right. And then well, there, and, and there then, was and then the... seeing all the trades reporting yet, I'm just like, and, and, I guess and, we're and, off to the races. And and, and we're there talking, was also like, the background calendar. It, yes, there yes. was you know some yes, stuff right. written yeah. on it, and the, well, the vig and the was fact obviously that it's the on the WB one. lot. And I didn't yeah. see that Affleck was in the trailer. I had to pause the end of the video and be like, "Oh no, that is mm-hmm. Affleck." And then you see yeah. the the yeah. the production name, and it says B A on the trailer. And, 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 and putting and all that, those things together was like, "Oh wait a minute, no, this is like this is not in Leavesden. This is not right. in like." And so all the pieces are like. Oh, and you also can tell that that it wasn't like Justice League because it says Manta Attack. It wasn't the first Aquaman, obviously, because Affleck right. wasn't in that. So, and, yeah. and, and that's literally all Warner Brothers and DC needs to do, right? How is it that in one day a trade report about Alan Horn and an Instagram leaked video was Hall H? <laughs> yeah, that was Hall H. <laughs> and for contrast, also remember because Henry Cavill was trending before and after Hall H. Um, and, and it shows you like how him just like popping up on a zoom video or whatever would have impacted that. Like it's, exactly. it's, it's crazy how they just are sitting on. They're just of afraid this. of grace. I, I, I mean, I mean, I mean, <laughs> yeah. fuck, she's going to get him. I, 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 I mean like minimal effort. That's what, that's why it's so maddening. Minimal effort creates yeah. this from them. Is there anybody else that can do so little and create well, such a and, massive? Well, and that's why you wave. have to question, Beyonce. or I have to question, Beyonce. At least <laughs> is is that Affleck and Momoa making a point? Like, right? are they are they making a point by doing that, or 
are they just screwing around? Like, they're, like there's so Affleck's many. I think Affleck's screwing around. I think he's here yeah. for kicks. Ken oh, yeah. for sure, I think, is maybe playing the chess game, him and Rock. But I think Affleck's like, yeah, fuck, let's post Yeah, actually, that's Instagram true. Affleck sure. is like, yeah, sure, that'll be fun. And Moa <laughs> yeah. is like, let's go. And then Henry is like, no, let's make sure everything is all lined. Yeah, that's all. That's very much them. <laughs> yeah, because, I, I mean, when it, when it comes to Ben Affleck, it's like, all right. He, he even said in interviews, like, when it comes to The Flash, remember, folks, he is going to be in the Flash movie, yeah. and uh, we know that as in a, in a bigger role. Um, but um, I, you know, he said that that was like his best version of Batman. He thought he felt that the best time that he had, or whatever. And but then he also said, like, you know, he'll leave it open, but he doesn't want to do these big, huge IPs. I mean, hopefully, may, I mean, who knows? Again, that's when like when people take people's words to like heart. I, you know, when well, it what comes I've been to saying since like, since the Snyder Cut was announced is just stop saying never. Like, stop speaking. Yeah, yeah, I know there's no absolute. There's no definitives. Yeah, there's no definitive. DC, since yeah. ever since Zack Snyder left Justice League in May 2017, everything has been up in the air from a week to week basis hmm. nonstop. And people say there's a plan, but like, no, cause they changed, they have a plan. They say they have a plan. They change the plan. They announce the plan. They change the plan to a new, like there's all, they, they don't stick with anything. They, they're they going to release justice league. There's, there's, there's legitimate rumors of, of like exploring more. And then they say, no, we're not doing more. And then there's, well, like, it's just, there's like, who knows what's going to happen, but this is evidence of like, you know, nobody even like you said even the trades aren't like oh yeah this is their new plan like no they're just kind of winging it or something i don't know but clearly saying this is never going to happen or ben will never come back no it's all subject to like a whole bunch of stuff outside of our control including like unpredictable things like warner brothers getting bought twice in the course of 10 years like right. none of that Gino. is and, and that's what's funny yeah, about anyway, too. That's what's funny about people exactly. claiming stuff like, yeah, exactly. I mean, J Lo, like, <laughs> legitimately though. Yeah, like, he's in a much better place than he was in 2017. Yeah, exactly. like, that's, a, that's a real thing. Like that actually impacted his like personal life to a point where he's comfortable bringing this back. Like, and yeah. who's gonna predict? That's what's funny Nobody's about people who are like, oh, I said Affleck was gonna come back and. 2020 or whatever and it's like well yeah, yeah sure but like people have been saying that every single as i posted to twitter what are you talking about like, everyone's been saying Netflix is going to come show. back like every week there's a new like mm -hmm. little blog Eight episode that hbo claim. max series and then and then right. and then he gets announced yes. for the flash or gets announced for this and they're like see i was right well, and it's yeah. like well oh, it's coming talk about that well and, and yeah. that's why it's the you lego put movie everything... gif of the bat he's doing the batarangs and he's like first try first try but that's yeah. why when something like this pops up, you put it through the ringer, especially after the deadline shit last week. You're like, okay, that's why you have to play detective when stuff like this comes out, like to make certain that this isn't more bullshit. And then when you get to the point where you know that it isn't, it's like, well, that's the thing is like when I first saw it, I was like, I, I think I even like put it in a group chat. I was like, hey, is this real? Somebody because I was trying to get ready for Super Pets. I was like, I had like a, a screening for Super Pets and I'm going, oh, shit, is this happening? And I like hopped into the shower and then I got out and I was like, oh, crap, I got to do a video real quick. What am I going to do? And then I just did what I did and made that joke about, you know, well, well they replaced Amber Heard with Ben Affleck. Yeah, it was a dumb right. joke, whatever. But yeah, <laughs> but it was just like, all right. And then it was cool. And then when I got out, I was like, oh, shit, this is like it's blowing up. Everything's blowing up. And everybody was just talking about it, it was crazy. But, Chris, I wanted to get your opinion, because obviously we've all talked about this stuff. And I want to get Kirkland's and, uh, and uh, Taylor's. Uh, opinions too because you guys are normally here talking about this kind of stuff but i mean what was your thoughts like first off when it came to comic-con and dc and just being like eh, didn't really bring the goods and then all of a sudden we have this that showed up <laughs> what are your thoughts i mean you mean uh my overall thoughts of of like about dc not bringing it as, yeah like, and then the, the news of ben affleck, and then the news of like ben affleck and like yeah. I, I, I overall, but like while we were talking about, I was thinking like it was it was funny how um, how you brought up that that uh, the the news about Ben Affleck being uh, coming into the Aquaman uh, too. Yeah. Uh, it's I'm like, dude, that I, you. It was funny because you said this earlier. You were like, this is not news. I mean, Ben Affleck is gonna be in the Flash movie. Yeah. It, to me, what what's most what's most. Uh, the most entertaining to me is the fact that people were after the Aquaman news dropped, people totally forgot that Ben Affleck was also <laughs> going to be in 
Flash. Like people are like so past Flash. It was like, oh my God, Aquaman, Aquaman. Like, wait, he's back. Hold he's on. back. What about yeah. Flash? So he's gonna be in Flash too. It's like this is not news. Like, yeah. no, yes, it is. Like, fuck Flash. Flash is like oh, an afterthought now. <laughs> well, that so? I think part of what makes this stuff news though is the fact that there's so much in a weird level of investment from everyone that has an opinion about what DC has done, is doing, will do, should do. Right. And Affleck is a big part of that. Should he come back? If Should Snyder come back? Should remote, like all of this stuff. And so as a result, everyone has like has their chips on the table for like, he will never yes. appear again after the Flash right. or that's his and, last going. And then so it, when something like this happens, it's like everyone's got to reshuffle their cards. And, like, right. Plus he, he even that. says like, I'm done with Blockbuster. So you kind of assume like, okay, you got Flash and you have him saying that. You're like, well, yeah, he probably is done. And I was like, nah, fuck it. I'm going to do it but, again. But, right. but there, there, there's also multiple, like what, what Chris was saying, like there, there are multiple <laughs> groups of people that have different reasons to ignore the Flash. Yeah. There's like a group of people <laughs> that don't, that are ignoring the Flash because they think it's going to reboot everything that they like mm -hmm. about the DCEU. There's people mm -hmm. that are going to ignore the Flash because Walter Hamada's name is on it. There are yeah. people who are going to ignore the Flash because of the Ezra Miller stuff. Mm -hmm. there, there's and there's other reasons too like it's weird like steven said everyone is at the table and they have a stake in for in the same thing ignoring the flash for different reasons and they're all kind of shit but they're all but but the, the, they all have a stake in that yeah Okay, Kirkland, Taylor, jump in here. Yeah, yeah, jump in here. What are you guys? What are you guys thinking? Yeah, yeah. What are you guys thinking about this, Kirkland? You can go first. Like, yeah. Well, um, I mean, obviously, you know, when it when it, I, I know you know you got, you got the Venom poster right there and stuff like that. I don't know if you're, you're more, <laughs> you know, you're more Marvel, but when it comes to DC, obviously, it was a lack of, and then yeah. the fact that this news is like bigger than anything that the two trailers that came out of dc yeah thoughts the the san diego comic-con really did nothing for me on the dc panel because i haven't even seen shazam or anything and i'm like i i have no idea really who black adam is other than like the rock is is backing this this project really heavily <laughs> so my whole dc like weekend was kind of centered around getting a henry cavill reveal and then that didn't happen so i'm like okay this, this does nothing for me and then just having this news a couple days after the the comic-con it's 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 kind of funny just the timing of it and i feel like maybe maybe it was like already i guess decided before like the san diego san diego comic-con and then they just i don't know didn't want to bring attention away from black adam and like shazam because yeah. i feel like that was kind of the theme for TV, yeah at least like, dwayne johnson was like uh hell no well you better yeah. not fucker. Well, travis so brought I, that I, up I travis really was like his in ego. the game oh the wrong he does thing. i mean and let's face it, as much as likable as he is, he's gonna have like that ego. I mean, oh, there's right. no doubt about it. But I mean, yeah, yeah. But we Although, still he's still a likable dude. I think that yeah. his we could probably not get too deep into this, but I, I wrote an article on this. But I think that he, I think that he's trying to position <laughs> on what on what on what on what at screenrant.com. Um, I, I think I think <laughs> that um, oh, shameless plug. he's trying to position Black Adam as like a heel <laughs> to Superman. And that's why he's been hyping Superman the whole time and talk about the hierarchy of power and everything nonstop since like, you know, since he, since 2016 or even earlier, yes. he's been hyping up this confrontation. And Black Adam is not like a Superman villain. So, like, why would he do that? Why is he making such a big deal about this hier hierarchy of power? What is the hierarchy of power? <laughs> Superman is the only person who really stands anywhere that is like an accomplishment for him to go against. And so I think he wants... He wants Superman in the universe so that Black Adam can become a, a rival to him that makes Black Adam more important, which is what The Rock needs. Because Black Adam will never be the number one figure, but he can be the heel of the face of the franchise, right? Um, and then also, um, his, uh, his business partner is Henry Cavill's manager. Yeah. So, like, that there's... Helps. And so... Business partner look and ex-wife. Yeah, mm -hmm. Mother yeah, exactly. Ex I so, always forget that X Y. Yeah, her brother like is producing more yeah. than a little right. incentive oh, for him to to want Superman back. Which also then re shades what happened at Comic Con. You watch that whole panel and you see him. He's answered that question, Black Adam versus Superman, a million times. How come he answers it this time? And he's like, oh, you know, they've got pretty similar power levels. And then totally unnecessarily is like, oh, by the way, that thing you're all hyped for, not going to happen. Like in the middle of Hall H, the guy that knows how to hype up crowds, he legitimately drew booze, which yeah. he also knows how to do intentionally. Mm -hmm. um, so 
there's a you know and and look at the 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 like what trended after Comic Con, Shazam, Black Adam, and Henry Cavill. Like that puts WB on notice. I think I think he's putting his finger on like the elephant in the room in order to pressure them to like not ignore Superman anymore because he needs Superman to enter the universe so that that hierarchy of power is about to change thing he keeps on saying actually means something that he said for a decade unless unless superman comes back if he keeps on saying that like who who what's what hierarchy there is no hierarchy his whole inner his whole uh interview with brandon davis afterwards was him campaigning for cav for henry cav so yeah Yeah. like that's absolutely no and and like and that would have gone over a lot better like in a hall h so why did he do the thing that disappointed people because he wanted to disappoint people so to 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 make W uncomfortable. I don't know. That's a conspiracy, but like, it also like <laughs> makes sense. I it's think. a little tin but foil, that, but, but I get it. Even if it, it was, un, even if it was unintentional, fan, that is that, the, like, there's a reason impact. that Chris Wong made such a, made such impression with the tin foil hat because you almost, you're almost crazy to not be that crazy. Yeah. Like it's, it's a weird place to be. It is a weird yeah. play, place to be. And, uh, we got one more person that's showing up. Second Warner brothers. We got hey, Tony hey, right hey, here. It gets better every week. It gets better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Figure that was a good one for you, right there. What's going I'm on? Having a you haven't had a chance to jump yeah. about this either. I've yeah. had a, deto- a Twitter detox this last week. I just stepped off the off a plane. I've been Ooh. at conference all week, so I have. So you didn't, so you just got like the news, like pretty I, recently. I've been watching you guys like talk about something that I had oh. no idea. Like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> okay, but how good did that? How good did that detox feel? Oh, dude, it's it's so nice. It's like exactly the notifications are going nuts. I'm like, what's like? I don't even want to check it. I want to come in clean and not know what's going on, and um, it's quite nice. Come back like Donald Glover in Community with the pizza. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, literally. literally. That's a good, that's a good drop. Right there. Back? What's that again? Are we getting Ben back again? What's I know what's it's the- like it's like we're not. He's already been back. He's just gonna be in another movie. Well, no. We ignore it. <laughs> Is it a spoiler to talk about the scuttlebutt on on what what why he's back and what the function <laughs> is there? Depends who's reading what. <laughs> I right. think it's not a spoiler because I've it it's it it's almost informative as to understand why would they be doing a Ben Affleck cameo in Aquaman yeah, two? Exactly. I didn't well, want to I jump mean, into uh, that if that wasn't something that everybody knew and was aware yeah, of. Yeah, but it's important context. It, but also, yeah, I don't. I mean, what what I heard that it, he's not playing Batman. He's he's playing Bruce. He's just going to be right. Bruce Wayne. So be Bruce and, Wayne. When, and in Justice League, he was just Bruce Wayne when he first was introduced to to uh, Aquaman. I mean, I I. I it, to me, it fits, but uh, I yeah. well, it, 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 well, it's, the it's, big it's, thing is that there was a complication because I guess without without giving specifics, yeah. I, it's logical to say look, there was some schedule changes. We know he's in yes. the Flash, and we know right. that Flash does some things to the universe, and yes. the two movies ended up leapfrogging release right. dates, mm-hmm. and yes. so now Aquaman comes out prior to a movie that makes multiversal changes that right. they were anticipating would have right. been in right. place already, yes. and so what they what this is effectively doing is instituting the timeline um consistent version of the character um which prior to flash coming out which in itself is like still like a a a, a ray of hope for dc fans because up to this point one of the biggest questions we've had is is anybody talking to anybody else with respect to connective tissue in these films and this is an indicator of yes well, on like, some level, some communication is happening. As the far last as that time goes. we heard, we, the last time we heard from him, he was like, "I hope they don't undo what we did." Because it was my—I don't know if you guys have spoken about this yet. This, this just from memory, right. like, yeah. He said the last time we heard from him that <laughs> what he just did was some of his favorite stuff he had done to Batman, and he hope he doesn't change it. They yeah. that they don't change it. Do you think flat. this is going to change anything? Like, is it going See, to undo I, anything? I, I so? think when he said that, Tony, he was. You know that that was still a little bit of snark from Justice League, to be honest with you, because of how Could much be. of that yeah. was changed. So I I don't know that yeah. this is going to necessarily. I mean, but that's one of the questions, right? Is like, okay, if he's coming back for this, you know, for whatever cameo yeah. he's going to do in Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom, what is this going to do? Yeah, for well, like future a, plans for the Flash. There's well, a few layers because, because like, how bad that, that experience was rather than how good this one was, right? It yeah. was just yeah, yeah. reinstating mm-hmm. that the fact that it was really shit for him. The dude's yes. married again. He's stable again. He's happy. He throws on a blazer and he can pop back in and 
get a taste of what it is to be that character again and maybe fall back in love with it who knows but like yeah. as long as the dude is happy and we're getting a little bit more like i'm happy like it's that's that's good news to me man yeah um, it's it's one well, more athletic appearance you know like well, even exactly. if it's just two minutes just enjoy it while you can because yeah that could be like it could be this and flashing could be done maybe that's it but then well, just enjoy it. it's better than not getting it at all for and people. functionally speaking uh, also and, and let's be honest none of us None of us are are sad about what you know. He, he's in the end of Suicide Squad for, like and that was epic. I was just minutes. about to say that, Scotty. Yeah, the, the shut it down. All my friends will do it for you. That was that's yeah. epic. Yeah. I mean, it's mm-hmm. it's a great it's a great scene with Viola Davis. It's just like mm-hmm. like oh yeah, and, 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 this is a classic. Bruce Wayne and, and Amanda Waller going. And you know at what it. it isn't? You know what else it isn't? It's not headless and it's not in the shadows. <laughs> that's yeah. true. There's no silhouette. I mean, there is, you know, that's, you know the you know, little hole that it's filling in, in right now is like, it's it couldn't be worse timing for the Batman fans who are like just <laughs> crying about why isn't this Ben Affleck? This why isn't this? I said Ben Affleck because it's synonymous with Bruce Wayne. That's how close yeah. it is. Why isn't this Bruce Wayne the Bruce Wayne we want him to be with Pattinson? It's like, give it no, time, you'll get there. Okay. But like, in the meantime, okay. he's also but, this. I I I. I I can't speak for every Batman fan, but I will just say that I, I Batman fans have no fucking reason to complain about anything. <laughs> right? I, well, now. I think no. Also, Batman fans in general, and I I'm obviously generalizing and might be wrong about this, but I think more so than other heroes, a lot of people who are fans of other heroes like want to see them on screen with other people, and I feel like Batman fans coming from the Dark Knight trilogy and then going to the DCEU where just everything, like they like Affleck, but it's just such a, uh, it's just a cluster of things getting hung up and delayed and unfulfilled and, and what's going on. So then when Pattinson comes along, they're like, you know, keep it separate. Give me my Batman stories that are not going to be screwed up by the studio not being able right. to put together a plan. Mm-hmm. Um, because, because they're so used to being like, oh, awesome. Let's, we, we've had so many good solo Batman movies and now we're just getting like, at, like he is getting caught up in everybody else's drama. And it's mm-hmm. like, let's just, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the Green what Lantern I, got oh. the worst though. You think Green Lantern got the worst? Yeah. What, what, I know. what, what was that meme that uh, I saw someone post earlier this week? Like Green Lantern and Hulk fans are like, you know, <laughs> scrambling for Anything crumbs. green. Because there's yeah. like, yeah. it's not easy being green. Did, that easy mean, green. did you say that, Dave, or did I, did I just repeat what you said, or did you say something? No, different? no, I, no, no, that was new. That was okay. New. Good. I thought no, I didn't yeah, yeah, say exactly what you yeah, said. Yeah, I, yeah, I, didn't didn't it, it, I could it, have it, totally it, said it, like, "Stop, it, Stephen, it, damn you!" It, it, it was he. He didn't. It wasn't new. You just didn't say it first in this particular. Yeah. Yeah. What, what else has gone on this week? What else? What other? What other? Well, I mean, like, well, but but first, I mean, I was like, we 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 got Kirkland. I wanted to get Taylor's. Uh, opinion on this like when it comes to all this in dc what are your thoughts about it taylor well i mean just touching upon the the whole comic-con thing uh i i went in there under the impression that okay we're gonna have black adam we're gonna have shazam 2 and then the rumors of henry cavill that's what i was going in with and my my expectation uh maybe that was kind of like my my worst enemy thinking like oh yeah henry cavill like this makes sense we'll definitely get something there we'll get some man of steel why not and again, like I said, that's my own downfall because you no, know, they delivered exactly <laughs> what they they said they would. They you got Black Adam and we got Shazam too, and that's that. <laughs> now, if you ask me, I feel like coincidence. You know, Marvel does a pretty good panel, and then you know, shortly after, like, oh hey, look at Ben Affleck and Aquaman too. Like, that's interesting. Uh, but um, I was curious, and I don't fully understand. But was there a reason why Ben Affleck's Batman wasn't just thrown into like the Peacemaker finale when we just got like um, what was Aquaman okay. and Flash? Is there something more to that? I got I got you know what's interesting about this, and I wanted to bring this up right now was like, um, yeah, I mean that's when it comes to Peacemaker and all that. I mean that's a whole different thing. I mean even James Gunn said he wanted to get anybody he could back, and mm-hmm. he got Momoa, he got Ezra. That's fine, you know, and they had their little exchange. But what's interesting about this is even though in like supposedly, you know, this is a little scene and some people were talking about it's like, why didn't they just delete the scene? Apparently it's pivotal enough that they were like, hey, we actually need some kind of Bruce Wayne. And again, I'm not trying to like I know, Stephen, you were dancing around like what possibly could have been when it came to like a different Batman or something like that. I don't think it's a huge spoiler even. It's not really a huge spoiler. 
but I just know that like it's it was a thing nobody had said openly yet, and so I didn't want to be the one to just like charge into that without. <laughs> I think I did, like, and you know it's fine. It's it's my show, goddamn it. Uh, <laughs> no, but like, but like I'm just saying, like you know, originally it was like, all right, is there going to be a Keaton presence because we don't know what's going to be happening with the multiverse, and now that Aquaman. Uh, and the Lost Kingdom is coming out before the Flash. Now they're like, all right, well, now we have to have Ben Affleck's version of that because yeah. maybe they are essentially setting something up that we don't know about, like, you know, that we've... And that's what I'm kind of hoping, and that's what I was kind of thinking about was the fact that, hey, they... You know, when people are going like, why don't they just delete this whole thing? And, it, like, who cares and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, well, no, they thought it was important enough that it's actually going to be setting up maybe something in the future that they needed a bruce wayne no matter who it was mm -hmm. you know now that you know especially before the multiverse gets all crazy we needed a bruce wayne to be like hey some shit's about to happen and i love the fact that now it's ben affleck's bruce wayne that's saying this especially when we see what happened in the past and all his visions that could actually work better i'm hoping and i don't know that's what just is, what i was taking from it what, what it are you alluding hurts. to like in the future, like they could be building too. I don't know. Like everybody always talks about the crisis, like a po possible crisis or anything that's just going to like bring all this kind of stuff together. And a I don't know, like event. a crossover I'm, event, but I mean, I don't I'm, know if that's in the cards. I don't know. I'm always really cautious about triggering too much like Snyderverse yeah. speculation or hype or hope or that yeah. just because, um, it's I don't I don't I think it's irresponsible to be like oh that's what this means and I don't think that's what this means but it is fascinating how through mostly just total incompetence they've spent five years trying to get away from that plan and through trips stumbles COVID <laughs> schedule changes Ezra Miller you know whatever whatever it is that's screwing things up keep on stumbling back into um like kicking the Snyderverse can down the road like because this this extends Ben Affleck's time as the character even more before they like reset with 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 Keaton and like the longer that goes the longer it draws out that like will it it's, it's like the people in the what? office watching the DVD logo go into the corner of the TV but <laughs> even like... Keaton wasn't going to be a long term obviously he's 70 years old Keaton's right. not going to be long term well, that was just going to be a thing and to like bring him back for like a few <laughs> movies maybe as cameo and that's it's just hilarious that, always... that considering all the pieces they put on the board yeah. though that like yeah. it is now I 2022 mean, and Ben Affleck so... is appearing again yeah. in another yeah. like it's just wild that this is not like they haven't they, they keep on trying to slam the door shut and someone keeps on sticking Ben Affleck's foot in it. Or, like, yeah, I mean, I mean <laughs> un, until until the flash, uh, re, to, I mean, if the rumors are true, if the flash is going to reset everything, I mean, it, that hasn't happened yet. The flash movie hasn't come out yet. Yeah. So until that happens, I mean, they can do it. I mean, Ben Affleck could come back a billion times. I mean, Michael right. Keaton could come back a billion. I mean, from from all the I mean. I mean, Tom Welling could come back a bunch of times if they wanted to, <laughs> but uh, until the Flash movie actually happens, and then once that reset button is actually pressed officially, then you know they yeah, can right. move forward well, after well, that. I don't feel and, like they're trying to hit a reset on things personally. If, if for me, it feels like, look, guys, we have the possibility to um, make everybody happy here. Let's not reset. Let's keep our options open. I, uh, I, I, I back almost is in vain of like the, the first theatrical justice league where he mm. ushers in is the glue not like stereotypically where bruce wayne is the glue but he was the glue in this in uh, I, this I version it. and he's doing it again now it, it all kind of seems like it is leading to a final crisis yeah. ending I, where bruce might get stuck elsewhere so it's like he gets stuck elsewhere maybe he's in a different timeline maybe he can do his stuff there maybe somebody yeah. else can come in so well that's a, even I, a thing that i mean it happens after final crisis but i mean even yeah. in the in the comics that's he gets shot by the Omega Beams. He goes back and does the whole... Maybe not to, like, prehistoric... I would love, time, a, I would love an Affleck like, Return of Bruce Wayne, like, miniseries going... Like, each episode is a different well, era I, of history. Well, where yeah. it's like, mm. well I, I think Tony brings up a great point, though, because... And Chris as well, like, the Flash... Like, of all the ambiguousness, all the ambiguity that we have with the future mm -hmm. of the DCEU, all the questions that we have, the biggest question is the Flash movie. And... Until that question is fully answered, everybody's just making assumptions 
based on their own perspective on what they think this movie is going to do. I tend to agree that it's not going to be the reset button that so many yeah. people believe it is going to be either way. Like you've mm -hmm. got people that think it's going to be the reset button that completely eliminates all of the It's more like stuff. the Loki timeline of everything just going uh, like over. Yeah, just up, branches right? off. Yeah. Branches right. Off, yeah. But you've got like so you've got the people who think it's going to be like this the, the hard reset button or whatever, right? Flashpoint. Exactly. <laughs> but the stuff that we that we've heard from those involved in the movie has suggested to us no, it's not going to be quite like that at all and it, what we've heard from anybody that has paid attention and i've tried not to listen to any other spoilers or see any other stuff about it but from the stuff that we know about people that have worked on it it does sound more like what tony's saying where it's like they are trying to straddle the fence perhaps and maybe yeah. it's not the five movie plan that you know that, that, that so many people think the snyderverse strictly is but it is still something that honors the roots of where mm -hmm. the dceu started in the genesis of, of man of steel and bvs and, and that puts Sider's them in a better position that. it puts them in a better position to be like very similar i don't at the moment everything is on the table right if they open the possibilities up and similar to how the rock just put a little taste tester of like the cavill emblem i think what they're doing right now is saying hey guys it's all on the table what do you want fight for it make some noise about it and then we can see see wherever well, wherever that and, wherever and, that lands. And, and, well, and 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 that's where like when and this this is maybe a little bit more tinfoil hat, but like when you talk about what just happened <laughs> with this leak, that's almost like you you could see a scenario where they're sitting there at, especially after holiday, and they're like, okay, Jason, do this, and let's see what happens. Right. Mm. Because or is that J like 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 I said with the Snyder cut, Studio didn't ask him to go out and do that. So like, is Jason advocating? Jason was like, "Fuck, um, that's all was shown he, at Comic Con," and then just, he, he, he could. Where's my Frosty movie? But it wouldn't I mean, surprise I mean, me if, if I'm Jason yeah, Momoa yeah. and Black Adam and and um and, and Dwayne Johnson is coming into the DCU talking about changing the hierarchy of power, talking about changing things, talking about taking over control, speaking as if he's the face of the DCEU, and I'm Jason Momoa, I'm gonna be like, mm, "Let's see about that." post right like deal with it they're not gonna what are they gonna do they're gonna be like jason why did you post that as a spoiler he's gonna be like deal with it. Jason's right. on, that's on the like... rock side here man i think there's so many chips on the table like yeah. the rock needs to succeed I, I i said i just came back from conference right like uh all these brands just presented their ideas for next year and everything one of them was under armor do you know how much under armor is banking on the success next year probably confidential on the success of black adam how much <laughs> they got going on for um skins for under compression for all he is a apparel. massive partner yeah absolutely yeah, yeah. i, I yeah. have one of his sports masks yeah. taz his rock green sports tea mask. too yeah. is <laughs> zoa's like man all in. Zoa's yeah. 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 Zoa, that's what yeah yeah, Zoa. yeah. and my mom is sending that drink oh, yeah. i can't fucking the, we're, the, we're the, getting oh, it for the 24 hour stream this year that's all we took because the dc panel was let's say lackluster we just had fun times and he was in the chat but he made a super cut because we streamed for about four and a half hours and it was only 18 minutes but he made a super cut of all the times we mentioned zoa in those four hours and it was 18 minutes and we've decided for our charity stream in 24 hours in november we're gonna just buy them and try them out live on air and see what they are and everything it cost 40 dollars a case though american so we that's like 1200 yeah we thought it was a can, can at first. so that's like 1200 yeah. dollars canadian so it's a big purchase but we're gonna do it because <laughs> we just have to because every fucking video this guy posts now it, oh i'm here i got zoe and he snaps it like every that's single fun. video he's got he's chains around his neck and oh, like I wiping know. sweat off his forehead he's like just taking his drink of my labels yeah. out like <laughs> yeah no, you know it'd be a, you know it'd be awesome next time that rock does that if he just fucking like takes a bottle of his tequila and just <laughs> as he's what working out do that right. dwayne johnson so do that from the, from the super pets event yeah. for kids or whatever and he's yeah, there in the that? crypto the costume whole... with the hat oh, off right. and then he's got the vodka hey, there and... parents are there too <laughs> parents yeah. are there i know too. it's just funny yeah. seeing him in the crypto suit the crypto <laughs> right. costume with the hat off <laughs> and the yeah the, he had the standy the standy the holding the bottle the right yeah. the tequila standy yeah totally like well, the you know, big in the big daddy stick, you know how i feel, I feel like i feel like this this conversation that we're that we're having it kind of proves that there's like there's like multiple directions that the the dceu could uh, could go and, and i feel like the two people the two actors that it really hinges on it's like michael keaton and and ben affleck from the direction that it could go why the snyder verse still kind of lives even though it should technically be rebooted because i mean think about it i mean like uh 
the uh michael keaton for example he's you know he's he's connected with the flash and whatnot he's in bad girl mm -hmm. things like that and then when you have and you have ben affleck also connected with michael keaton with the flash uh, point and uh other movies aquaman and and all the you know previous movies and and whatnot it 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 goes back to the idea that maybe dceu needs a like a kevin feige like figure to point the direction or where is this going because well, right okay. now it's like it can go anywhere that, yeah i mean well, it, 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 the snyder verse that's or what's it could coming go, well, uh, well, right, and, well and that's a good thing they got time it's jet flash is still yeah. till june next year yeah. right and i said well, that and, before comic-con i that's why i didn't think dc was gonna go out i think they're just gonna let everything play out for a year. They have time. Yeah. They got movies. Well, they'll make movies. Well, 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 direction. No, yeah. well, okay, running, okay, but, okay, but, 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 but but this was one of the things that like I like came like you, you after you decompress after you get all the frustration out and you you really sit down and think about the situation. It's like okay, as frustrated as we were about how lackluster how age was. All right. This was literally, and, and it, you're not letting Warner Brothers Discovery off the hook if you simply say that even though you needed to make a big splash, you didn't have time to do it because you've well, been in charge for three months. The WB that. of 2017, 2018, 2019 is the WB that would be like, feel the pressure to come out and say here's our 23 next movies yeah none yeah. of which actually even go into production and, and i don't right. want right. i'd rather so them the, not do that just the restraint restraint to say like yeah right yeah, exactly and as far right. as the whole kevin feige thing no this, uh, listen we have memos from david zaslav documented conversations like between him and like alan horn and all the executives he yeah, wants that's the thing alan horn it, yeah, he, alan he horn, wants a dc studios or something like that so that yeah, I heard that you, he was actually making a DC Studios, right? Oh yeah, well, he that's definitely. Still, I, I still he said he's putting content. Like Warner Brothers. Said, is there any? Warner... Is there any movement? What has there been any update? James Gunn was tweeting something about someone being in charge of something. Well, Deluca and um, Deluca is Abdi, in Pam Abdi. Abdi. Deluca and, and Abdi, Abdi are, are officially in charge of Warner Brothers Group Pictures. Well, right and now. DC for now. Interim. Mm -hmm. They're DC. not the permit. Yeah, yeah. interim. Yeah, exactly. Well, be, yeah. Right. Is Hamada because not like where did Hamada? Yeah. They have not specified, but He's he is not there. Right. But they are. They are doing Hamada's job now, though. They, so yeah. they oh, have no. announced a new person in charge of what Hamada was in charge of, and they haven't yeah. said yeah. what happened but to like, like Hamada. There will, there will be a like a DC EU. Yes, studios. ahead. There needs to be. Yeah. Well, like. Well, and, and it and it and it needs to no longer be a rinky dink division under Warner Brothers. It needs to yeah. be its own oh, entity. Although yeah. I and think I've always been torn on the studio thing because on one hand, on one hand you get a level of organization that is necessary, but on the other hand, like there's a cookie cutter meat grinder kind of impact of that approach that I think is a problem with Marvel Studios. And there's stuff like you don't get Joker from those systems. You don't mm -hmm. get, you know, some of this kind of stuff from that. You might not get the the, um, the Batman. Yeah, that. right. Exactly. Yeah. And so, not that that necessarily says that DC Studios is a totally bad idea. But what I really excited me was looking at the announcement for for Deluca and Abney said that Zaslav said he wants content. I think he said in three buckets of Warner Brothers New Line, DC, and Television. And yeah. the fact that he specified it as a bucket as opposed to a studio, maybe there'll be a, a studio, but I, I thought that that's a really good, like, oh, you're giving it its own content track, which is important. But also, maybe they're finding a way to say, like, hey, look, this is a way that we can get, have creative control to have that organization without putting constraints on it that... Um, that that turn it into a cookie cutter mm. franchise. Well, you my biggest this concern date with though, this character, with this sequel, yeah, this yeah. time with this director. Yeah. Well, because but my at, biggest I mean, concern though before we look is, at this Affleck stuff here is just them trying to like scramble to fix the problem that their yeah. first like interconnected thing yeah. they've done in a decade or five years or whatever is. I just don't it, want it another screwed up by scheduling. I just don't want another Toby Emmerich situation. And what I mean by mm. that is I don't want another situation where. Whoever is in charge of the DC bucket is just a stooge for DeLuca. I don't want that. I want well, the autonomy. Rules more, right? be because Kevin Feige, and listen, we can we know that when when and I think when most of us here talk about DC having its own Kevin Feige, we are not talking about creative. We're not talking about right. doing it exactly the way that Marvel Studios right. is doing it from a creative sense. At least right. there, there is I mean. no I, other person like Kevin Feige out there. I mean, well, well, I mean, no, I, but but well, don't even. Don't, there's not even a yeah, need to 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 
so say create, create like, that. I, yeah. I, I still hate when people call Marvel Studios the gold standard because no. it's not the only way to yeah. do it. It's, no, it's no, not, yeah, don't right. shrug, you're Travis, right. shut up. But like, <laughs> it's, it's not the gold standard. It's just, it's one way to skin the cat. And it would be great to see another way if somebody would actually stick and commit to another way to do it. But as right, far right, as, right. But as I don't think we the, ever saw this. Oh, go ahead. As, as far as the actual structure where you have a Kevin Feige or a Kathleen Kennedy, head of Lucasfilm. I know people have iffy things uh, about her, but like the point is, is that they everybody. don't, rep- but the, the point is, is that they report to big boss. They report to Chopic. Whoever is in charge of the DC bucket should report to big boss Zaslav. And that's it. Don't report to DeLuca. Don't report yeah. to Abdi <clears throat> report to big boss. Like that's well, where the autonomy should be. I think there, there, there's sort of two sides to that coin. Cause there's one where there's the siloed, the like the system that you're talking about where um by making sure that the bureaucracy doesn't get in the way of this complicated studio structure you can ensure that the creatives are kind of free to do their own thing so that's one side but the other side is a culture and people thing if you have the right culture and people you also don't need like as you look at and we never I, it's hard to say like this is the right way because we never really saw the full fruit of it but we got alan horn back when he was was up top and he had like Jeff Robinov underneath him Robinov like they brought in Nolan and Boz Lerman mm-hmm. and Snyder and Affleck and like all of these great directors and and big name you know DiCaprio etc all came into like like not just directors but talent flocked to the studio and became people that were a member of the studio and, like Nolan never signed an exclusivity deal with Warner Brothers he just did every single movie with them out of good faith because of how well Robinoff and and Horn treated him Mm -hmm. um and so if you have a system that with the kind of people that allows that to happen you don't need to apply those tight constraints to keep everyone's hand out of the cookie jar um which is ultimately really believe that type of system is possible anymore though it was well it was and then what happened was um literally um um, Kevin Sujahara came in and stabbed Alan oh. Horn in the back and yeah. then, and then booted Jeff Robinoff. I mean, like you read about like, and this is like, not like conspiracy stuff. Like it's publicly documented, like in Hollywood mm-hmm. reporter and other places, like the, the amount of like game of Thrones shit that went on at WB between like 2012 and Legit. 2014 Legit. is like, crazy. it's, it's absolutely insane how much of a purging there was there. And that was, and that, and that put Kevin Sujahara at the top, you know, and who was trading roles for, for sex. Um, like, <laughs> like that's Supposedly. that is the person oh, that's, on that's top of documented. That, so. That's true. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it's there. Well, so that's it's documented. There. It's, yeah, it's, it's Ray, there. Ray, yeah. Ray, when you say like a cookie a cookie cut cutter approach, sorry, my Aussie accent. Um, I think <laughs> don't say cookie. Oh, don't oh, we change. love your accent. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, keep yeah, yeah, yeah. You get the best yeah, voice yeah, on the street. Oh, oh, sorry, yeah, sorry, my awesome accent. Don't use that, Scotty. Don't use that. Um, what's good? Like. You also kind of need to define what the parameters of success are, right? Like, are you just trying to start something where the bureaucracy is out the window? We can just get creative people doing creative things. But does this mean that we just want to keep expanding a, a universe and have movie after movie after movie? Because personally, I'd love Matt Reeves to go off and do his series. I'd like, you know, Nolan to, to have his own thing in one world. I don't need The Rock to come in and just we have 30 films that keep building off of the same thing. I, I need an ending. I need a proper story and arc and thing and then put it to bed and go support something else because it's we're really just dividing. Yeah. Well, that's well, the problem with talking about yeah. Marvel as the gold standard. It's not like it's successful at what it does, but I think the <laughs> assumption that everybody has to do what Marvel does is right. is I think and you can Jack, do that Jack and do other things. Do that. He was like, "No, we're I'm we're going to do something." Yeah. 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 Like well, I'm like, going to do this. Well, yeah. Well, it's kind of like a conversation I had with a geek and film friend over, you know, when I I was out of town at the beginning of June. And I was talking to him about, you know, he finally had seen, you know, Zack Snyder's Justice League. And he said, well, I have, yeah, I, I really enjoyed it, but I have these issues. And I listened to his issues. And I said, okay, I understand where you're coming from. Well, let me present you with these three pieces of information. How does that affect? what you just thought and literally i presented to him like five film arc and it was done and you know just and things like that where it's like this wasn't supposed to keep on going it was supposed to be you know it was supposed to be like a lord of the rings type saga and it was going to end and it was amazing just watching his brain go 
Well, why didn't they tell us that? I went, yeah. Thank you. I wanted to to like. That's what we wanted to know too. The num every single time leading up to to the release of Zack Snyder's Justice League, every time someone said, "Oh, if I had only known that this was dot, dot, dot. that this was this arc, right. I would have been more patient and would have and like every time." Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Like, oh man, that was so infuriating. After everything yes. that the franchise and the audiences went through to get to that point and at the end of the day everyone is like oh if you had told me that this was a a, a take on superman that took him from point a to point b over five films and this was not mm -hmm. the foundation of a 30 film superman franchise mm -hmm. i would have been like great do it because right. then it wouldn't the conversations wouldn't have like, been oh he's doing earn or it's too it, it, early it, 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 yeah, yes. it, it was like exactly. too late at that point yes. where it's like wow like you just everything was burned to the ground because wb didn't just say oh hey we're not doing what marvel does by the way so hang on and then we'll do more stuff later like right so that's what, that's what i've been saying for the longest time that you know the biggest problem they had with dc was lack of communication from the studio like oh, why yeah. are why are directors coming out and saying this is a story for our movies like you need to have one spokesperson that speaks all this you know you like what feige does yeah like they never had that even when zach was there they never had that one person even yeah. like Hamada was there since like 2018 now, and he has spoken just once at DC. Do you Panic. remember the one time Hamada popped his head out and it's like yeah. all the shit that had just stuck to the wall? He's like, This was the plan all along, guys. Like, it was the first fandom. It was like, the first, no, yeah. yeah. Because because they doing. announced that's when we were in the Batman trailer and they were all in on the Snyder Cut at that point, right? This is before release, and they're like, and one thing we can't wait to introduce is the DC multiverse, and the whole fandom was about that, right? Where you can have Joker, the Snyder Cut, and the Batman and the DCU all coexist because we're all doing these different versions. And then also everyone knows the movie comes out next day, you get that article, yeah, fuck, we're not doing any of that. So like, mm -hmm. it was just they they just use that as like a keyword, like a buzzword, like this is how it explains even Matt Reeves. Batman, they go, oh, well, that's the multiverse, but it, it's just kind of like a scapegoat. But don't insult our it. intelligence like oh, that yeah. was your plan all, all along oh, yeah. because right. you guys fucked it up so many times no. and now you're trying to make it like it was just and, all and, a, and, know, and, and, and to me, Tony, that. like all of, all of this, fuck me, right? <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and to me, Tony, just all of this illustrates why, like, I feel like we have enough empirical evidence as to why DC should never be a division under warner brothers ever again because look mm -hmm. at how badly they have failed treating their largest ip sorry not sorry harry potter fans sorry not <laughs> sorry any other franchise that warner brothers owns fans dc is by far the largest ip and from a right standpoint it is the it is a bigger ip than even marvel studios yeah, has because they that. have all of their cult they have yeah every character at their disposal to do whatever they want and well, you were and, treating and back, them and Taylor's also on like back to Taylor's question when he was asking about peacemaker there was an interview you had you had the stand in in the batflex yeah the tactical. taking pictures of himself and when all the actors and and gun when asked about it or even just volunteered it at one point when they're asking about how they got together with getting Momoa and Ezra Miller to film that he pretty much dropped. Oh no. I had the entire justice league there and I was told cut out Batman, cut out cyborg. Hmm. Like that's why those two members, like, because even look at the way that, and this is me going uh, you know, conspiratorial, but even look at the way that the, the, the justice league appears in that shot. There's this weird empty space mm -hmm. where you could imagine, and people did those edits where they stuck those two people back mm -hmm. in and realized, oh, suddenly the shot is symmetrical when you when you realize that you could have put two more bodies. And James right Gunn knew, oh, I did it. I would have edit that in. Like he did that intentionally. If otherwise, he would have just centered all the characters because it was just such a yeah. Like, so, but so, he so, knew so, fans. So, so this is why I don't trust. So this is why Stephen, if DC just remains a bucket under Warner Brothers, I don't trust it. What reason do well, I have to trust but, that? But look at new people. Like I, I don't, I don't entirely disagree. But also remember, like this is a, this wasn't just a DC thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, they did this to the Hobbit. They yep. did it to mm -hmm. DC. They did it to um, Fantastic Beasts. Yeah, mm -hmm. fa like I mean. The number uh, of of movies, not just franchise movies, but, but I mean, WB, bigger than all what of happened to WB between 
20, you know, 2013 and, and 2020 in terms of like what they greenlit, the way they produce things. I mean, there was some great movies in there. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, the, the WB still had some of the best directors working for them, making some of the like most, like they're one of the only studios that will make that kind of like Ocher blockbuster, blockbuster. Sure, you, you know, never, yeah. like Blade Runner uh, 2049 only gets made if it's made at Warner Brothers. I mean, Dune only gets made if it's made at Warner Brothers, like that kind of thing. Um, and it like so that's all awesome but those were like a sample of like the the peaks whereas the the a, a ton of stuff that happened during that time is just like what what happened to the studio that that of the of 20 2000 to, to 2010 that brought in nolan and 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 affleck and bos Lerman and and um scorsese and, yeah like all like, those that they had people who were flocking to it to work, not just with the studio. They were going there to work with Alan Horn, to work with Jeff Robidoff, yes. the, the, the Wachowskis. Like, like Warner like, Brothers had that reputation of being the prestige, the big studio, and they've lost the that since studio, that time. Yeah, yeah, the director, the studio. director yes. studio. That yeah. that comment, and it's yeah. like they're like fifty percent now. Like sometimes it's director studio, and sometimes it's not really. So well, like, it depends. And, 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 who you are like james gunn was a director studio for suicide squad right oh you could do whatever you want we don't care here's peace and now it's just a bad relationship right. and like broken bridges studio. That, <laughs> yeah. and, 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 and i and i question whether or not and, and it's not it's not just that i question whether or not they can get it back i also question whether or not the industry itself has changed too much in the last five to ten years that that can happen again because again, well, remember, and, you know why? Because I think we're starting to see directors very easily. Like, take how Patty Jenkins changed her tunes when, like, you know, she was so against streaming one second, and then, oh yeah, I'm 100. percent I'm down for streaming. No, like, I get that. Got paid. I guess she got paid. Yeah, yeah. 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 No, 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 I, no, 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 no I, 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 I totally get that. But by the same token, it's like, still, there's going to be at some point, even from like part of the miscommunication is that the bottom line still has to factor into these decisions. We don't like that. That's the case. And we can have the discussion about how it affects the art, but when you have an evolution happening the way that it is happening between traditional and streaming bottom line is going to come into play at right. some point. I don't but want the them to time, abandon the, the, the whole creative a... idea. Like, like, like what you're saying, like creator driven, I don't want that to go away, but I just, it's really tough for me, especially after the last five or six years or longer, yeah. really, to trust that Warner Brothers can get can figure that out in this era. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I think that also it, an interesting aspect of that, too, though, is that like they chased away a lot of create like there's mm -hmm. decision on decision that like made creators just not want to work there. A, they weren't giving them the kind of projects, the kind of budgets, the kind of freedom they wanted. Um, even though I think that the right financial decision was the simultaneous release on HBO Max, and I and I think that they made it right after the fact with um, renegotiating those contracts, and they even did a better job a than Disney did. Yeah, exactly. They did a much better um, job than Disney did. And um, in that regard, but they didn't get the they got the negative press for being the first out the gate, but didn't get the positive press for fixing it. And then Disney right. and everyone else just kind of slid under the radar. Right. What, Scarjo doing... threatens traffic with court and people are still pissed at, si at Kyler. It's like, it yeah. doesn't make any sense. Um, but so. but I, I think that also, I the, though, because of the, the constraint that you're talking about, there's also <laughs> like the gauntlet is kind of thrown down on a, of a challenge. That's why you're, you're going to see guys like, like Scorsese and Nolan and, um, and a lot of these guys come out post COVID to say like, we need to prove like they have something to prove. We need to prove that theatrical matters. We need to prove that you don't need two hundred and fifty million dollars to make a theatrical experience. We need to prove that that there is a difference between streaming and the big screen. And some will be successful and some won't. But I think that seeing like Nolan coming out with like Oppenheimer is like he, he it is more than just like his next movie. Like to him, this is it's a flex. He's, mm -hmm. he's he's trying to make, and I think that like you look at the roster of actors. Oh, he's throwing it on the table. Yeah. Like and, like look at that teaser. Yeah. It's like no, and this is what I can I do. Can it's why when every say. casting announcement that happened with Oppenheimer was like, who the fuck else can you get in this movie? Yeah, By the way, he pulled up in the convertible and says, "Get in, bitches. We're gonna save theaters." Like that's what. He, that's why everyone yeah. is on and, that movie. Like, that's the only way you get a cast like that. Yeah, and and but and. That's that's the whole. There's another angle with that. Like the whole. Like I just wish people, wish they, and I. But I get why they're treating it as adversarial as they are. But it's not a war, right? And I've said this before. It's not 
a battle. Like, theaters are never going to die. They're never going to completely die. But the situation is that you can't ignore the audience demanding choice. You can't ignore the audience demanding convenience. But, so this isn't a war. It is an evolution. True, but and they. But also, and, as it evolves, they've got to fight back against it. In the same way that, like, you see, like, for example, as you move, like, to digital music, you're seeing a resurgence of vinyl. Because people are like, no, the fidelity is better. Like, that, that, that happens only because of the evolution to digital music. That people say, hold on, stop, this matters, let's go back to that. That resurgence doesn't happen if you just kind of chill out with CDs for a long time, or, you know, I don't know, that might have been the best metaphor, but, no, like, that I, I kind of thing. Saying. I get what That's you're saying. Yeah. Um, and so, but, but also, but also that brings up a point of, you know, to, um, streaming and evolution, that kind of thing, because, you know, there was that interview with Sydney Sweeney this week that she talked about how, you know, I can't take six months off because oh, I need to be I don't know. Yeah, that well, was... no, no, hold on, but she brought up, <laughs> hey, hey. God has she a brought... crush. <laughs> Leave <laughs> but alone. she made a point because I remember talking to yeah. actors that I would work. Guys, let me let me get my point out here. <laughs> but she brought the point about how with streaming you don't have residuals anymore. And I remember talking to actors, you know, back in my theater days, you know, who worked on TV shows and how sometimes those checks would come in and be like, "Oh, good, but this is paying that bill this month." And you know, and so once again, things are evolving and things are changing, and you know. Things aren't the same anymore. Mm. To Stevens' mm -hmm. okay. point, is that things have to get renegotiated. You know, a big thing. You know, when we talk about what Warner Brothers did after the fact, yeah. Disney didn't do. It's like that. That idea of renegotiation, understanding. It's kind of like the people who wouldn't let, like, like I think of like Taylor Swift, who was like, "Don't put my stuff on Spotify because I need to understand like how I'm going to be compensated, compensated yeah. for." Well my work and i totally I and I, yeah and, and I even totally look at, at i just hate the fact that she was just like oh my god i can't take give up i'm like come on yeah. you're in a fucking spider-man movie show you're me like your house compared right to now. my house i know i was like i was like you really have to like be like i can't i mean but i get what, really, what you're saying scott you're yeah, using yeah. the the whole well, thing of like when it comes Jason, to smaller actors, they don't have mm -hmm. the residuals. If you like they want Jason that. Bloom's um, op-ed, Sydney Swinney, she's fine. Well, um, <laughs> but Jason Bloom says that that's a big deal, not just for. But like, she's got the voice to get that information yeah, out yeah. there. Okay, there you go. Um, Jason Bloom made a big deal out of that because of how it's not just like a problem for for pay, but it's also especially with directors, um, they get a check up front, and then whereas before it'd be like, okay, here's your like stipend. And mm -hmm. then deliver a movie, and then you'll get your residuals. Well, and so like they, what Phillips did, right? Like, yeah, and so that's why you. So you you'd have a. There was a competitive like, like your, not just like creatively on the hook, but like you're financially on the hook to like make this movie work. Um, whereas like with streaming, they're like, oh, here's a paycheck, make the movie. By the way, we're making five million other movies, so we'll check in once a month. <laughs> to make sure you didn't light everything on fire, have fun, and then like you get these movies that are, I, I like a lot of streaming movies, but I mean you get these movies that are like mm, this needed a rewrite of the script and another two pass or two in the edit that's room. That's subjective like, stuff man. though. That that that's subjective stuff though, and and that's to me I I, I always whenever somebody brings that up, Stephen, I always feel like okay, but you I can't don't think have polish is subjective though. No, it is. Because... <laughs> I think you can argue what can and can't be removed, but but I don't think you can argue that like time spent on the refining process is is not what it what it would be otherwise well but, um and steve but, i don't want to interrupt it, your point but i just got one little side note mm -hmm. because because you mentioned streaming movies the gray man fuck me i tried watching it on the plane i lasted 10 <laughs> minutes in <laughs> terms of rewriting script it looks very Anybody? pretty let's make it oh. That's all I'll say. We'll That's, <laughs> it ain't great. It's very, it ain't great. It, it, it's subjective, guys. Seriously. Yeah, there's, just there's like no the gold standard is subjective. There, there, is no, <laughs> there is no objective. Yeah, you can. No, gold standard. Travis, yeah. yes. The gold fucking standard is fucking I know. subjective. I know. I'm just having fun. But, like, the whole point is that when you're talking about, like, this, you guys love fucking winding me up over that. You know I hate <laughs> <laughs> Travis, <laughs> shit. Travis. Come on, it, don't leave me hanging. Come on, this is good. This is good stuff. Oh, come here, come here. But, guy. No, it's <laughs> like Travis. whenever I hear something. Blah, blah, blah. Fake. Fucking fucked. <laughs> oh, God. 
<laughs> you should play the pillow one next to fuck off. But like, oh yeah, yeah, I know. I, I was, I was getting ready for it, Ray. Do it, do it, Ray. Yeah. But, but whenever somebody talks about, whenever somebody talks about, like you know, that, 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 that they say exactly what Steven said. I like streaming movies, but there's this or that, and then they say what Tony said about the Gray Man, and it's like, okay, you know what? But those are movies that have a creative freedom that theatrical movies don't typically get. So which is it? Do you want the creative freedom or do you want the restriction of the polish? Because I don't in think many it's either ways, or though either. What do you mean? I don't think that you have to give up the creative freedom in order to get the 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 polish. I mean, it's like I said, well, part of the problem with streaming isn't just the studio checking in. It's literally that, like the Rousseaus don't give a shit how well Gray Man does. Nobody could watch the Gray Man, and their bottom line is exactly the yeah, same. Yeah, they got paid already. But, 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 they already but, but, got paid. Whereas but that's, and they got that sequel and spinoff. They're but that's part of the but, but that's part of the but that's part of the catch twenty two because the whole reason that the studio doesn't check in is because they're not worried about hey we've only got ninety days or like forty five to ninety days to make as much out of this as we possibly can get in as many screens. You know, Disney, let's get Doctor Strange into seventy three screens and push out everything everywhere all at once and do what we can to dominate because we only have this much time to make this much money in theatrical as opposed to we got all these bitches on the hook for $14.99 to $19.99 a month and mm -hmm. you know what have at it you can do whatever you want so it that's where the catch-22 that, comes into play that's counterintuitive to me I think like if you're if you're trying to plan a long-term future by getting people on the hook with a subscription-based stuff you need to make stuff that's going to keep them back long term, well, not just wow them now uh, and then. Well, that's what Netflix don't lose is context actually on the, right now. The nature you know, of the streaming Netflix. market either, too, though, is that right. you see like with Netflix losing subscribers, we're entering a new era of the streaming market where from Netflix starting streaming up until a few months ago, basically, or last year, they they had a corner of the market. They were like the only competitor. And then but that was with stuff made over the past hundred years by every other studio now mm. warner brothers and um paramount and disney and everybody but um, sony every, every, everybody, everybody, but sony. Sony. everybody is, but sony. is now <laughs> saying like oh now we have our now give us our toys back and then right, yeah. and then so netflix sees that coming and they say oh mm -hmm. we're gonna spend 15 billion dollars a year in order to make it doesn't have to be good it just has to exist Mm -hmm. Right. We don't have to have a good. We just need a library original, to exist original content. Mm -hmm. as, so much as, as, as much movies as possible. movies as possible. Yeah, but they needed as many movies as, and TV shows as possible in a fight. And but now all of a sudden, notice that they the even before they started losing subscribers, they um they bring in Scott Stuber and they start talking about okay, we're gonna stop focusing on volume and start focusing on quality because what happened was the market finally reached saturation where mm -hmm. Disney is established, Warner Brothers is established, and now everybody's fighting over each individual subscriber. And so so Netflix, now that they have that back catalog so that their subscribers like have a reason to stay at all, now what they do next is they say, here's the best we can make at one after another. And they're going to make fewer yeah. movies and focus more on... Um, yeah, and, um, and, and so and, and, I, and that's, and a, I'm that's not, like a natural market evolution. That's not even just like, right. oh, they, well, I, they did a bad job before; they're doing a good job now. Like literally, no, I, their their I, objective I, was quality or quantity, not quality. Right, and, and well, then and because I, of market I, conditions, it flipped. And I've even said many years ago, like when people were talking about, like when when the like when I think this really came up when Scorsese was going to do The Irishman, because that was the big story about that was all oh, the yeah. studios that turned him down. And he had yeah. to go to Netflix. Oh, almost and, everyone did. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And because they, they would, no one, all the people that he has made money for traditionally for decades all said, no, we're not going to allow you to make this epic. Now we can debate subjectively how good the Irishman is stacked up against gangs in New York, casino, Goodfellas, whatever. Fine. But the fact of the matter was at that time I was like, okay, guys, like as far as the, because Netflix was getting heralded for, giving Scorsese freedom that not even the traditional studios were willing to give him anymore. And I even said then, guys, enjoy that while it lasts, because there's no way that Netflix is going to continue doing that long term. At some point, they're going to pull back the reins. At some point, they're going to have to start worrying more about subjective quality of their films. So I'm not saying that streamers should never be concerned with subjective quality as, as with respect to quantity. What is so funny? What am I missing? 
<laughs> missing something. No, I just put in the chat. It's like we need to take a shot every time the word subjective gets said. And it was three times. <laughs> <laughs> you will all die of alcohol poisoning. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Tony, Tony. Oh, my God. We will die of poisoning. I thought poisoning. you saw him put that in the chat it. and started saying it three times a sentence. It just no, I did, no, I did not. <laughs> subjective, 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 subjective. I did not. No, no, I, no, sir. I do not want to. I, I will not have your deaths on my head. That is about I will not have me at my bachelor <laughs> party taking a shot every time they said fuck. In the Big Lebowski. No. Okay. Oh, Jesus no Christ. I uh, had a, a kid over the. Uh, I started that sentence wrong. We had friends over. <laughs> so I had a kid. <laughs> so I once had a kid for a Super Bowl party in college. He was of age recently. That's why I said kid. But he was he was only recently turned 21, and um, it was like all excited to like drink during the Super Bowl. And I was like, I'm gonna do a shot every time they change possession. And I was like, no, I no, would not no, do no, that. He didn't make no, it through the first no. quarter. Rest in peace. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, you can't. No, Dude. certainly not. No. So, yeah, I, listen, you all know subjectivity is like the, 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 a rather important thing with me. Because this idea it's objectively of, important to you. Well, what was <laughs> it? That, that, Sorry, Ray. Well, I don't know what, what you're talking about, about Ray. You, you, no. you know, like when you know, know like what, what was this? breaking news? Water wet. No, no. Te yeah. Technically, no. Water is not wet. Okay, <laughs> you, you get, get wet, wet when water is yeah. applied that's upon that's you. you. Exactly. Well, that's your water... subjective uh, opinion. Well, okay. water, 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 don't tell me how I get wet, that's Chris, subjective. all right? What, 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 what was the what, 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 <laughs> what, 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 conversation wet, right there? Is water really wet, or I mean, it, or is it just water? <laughs> yeah. I mean, you're so, oh, man, we're going to get philosophical right yeah. now. What was Oof. it that Logan Paul I also love there's a whole bunch of guys talking about what? getting wet right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This that's is an interesting a big conversation. Yeah. Um, yeah. But no, what was it that Logan Paul said the other day about note being objectively bad or something to that effect? Oh, I hate that. I, yeah, when yeah. He, I, I, oh. I read his first two tweets and I'm like, that's it. That's all I need to say. Well, it, Shut and, up. and that's and that's where that that's where that came from. Like just seeing too many people say this movie is. We can all agree this movie is objectively bad or objectively good. Wrong. That shit doesn't exist. The moment, the no moment you say that, you should just ask. You know, prove it, and yeah. they cannot. Oh so no! It, and, well, oh, the, and the and the first thing they do, the first thing they point to, case you know what the first thing they point to is on either either on tomatoes or the box office, because yeah. apparently the tomato meter and how much nice. money it made are objective determiners of how good or bad a movie yeah. is. I think is we could we could all agree <laughs> that uh, Juice Bigelow, uh, you know, the second one, uh, Electric Boogaloo, maybe that's objectively bad. European okay, Gigolo, that. Dave. Give it well, some fucking respect Gigolo, over there, okay? <laughs> well, okay, well, maybe it's, it's a great, great movie. movie. Never mind. It, 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 it's, <laughs> it's funny that nobody, it's funny that none of them use the objectively good, like they don't go to box office when you remind them how much money the Transformers franchise made. They yeah. all ignore that. It's like, oh well, you know, what are you gonna a do? A lot of bad no. shit makes a lot of yeah big yeah. money. Like it's just the yeah, way it does. Is. So, uh, for, for sure. But well, no, yeah, because I, because popularity does not necessarily equate to quality. No. And it's it, it it's also like why, you know, it I mean, honestly, do any of us remember school? You know, let's 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 remember all Big those contests, all those. <laughs> I get reminded on a daily basis. Well, yeah, so, Mr. Teacher over here. So, <laughs> I know, right? Who goes back to work on Monday? Oh, oh boy! Oh, I'm but, so uh, You poor oh, thing. I know. I know. Poor thing. I've had. I've had. Yeah, well, you've had a how many months you guys off? Know my, Two. Yeah, well, well you know, those two yeah, months true, exactly. true, true. Relaxing. They weren't, they weren't the, weren't the best of months off, but hey, you know, but yes, <laughs> yeah, but still, but you remember those things where it's like you know you always hated those certain like like in the yearbook or something because you knew who was going to win because you knew who was popular. It's not like they deserved it. It's not like they earned it. It's just they're the person that everyone was going to vote for. That's what yeah. box off. Yeah. Yes. But there, look, there is a it's big like, difference between being the champ I can think and of... the people's champ, right? Like you can be a champ and everybody yes. knows you're not. Um <laughs> like the only instance where maybe that's been both is like when maybe Conor McGregor was like the people's champ and also like you know, financially champ. successful mm -hmm. but also very popular and that's mm -hmm. very that's rare. What, that's what happens at the Oscars as well. Like every year, you know, one movie wins and 
obviously there will be some kind of backlash against it and it's not like they are saying that this is objectively the best movie it's just that those people decided that you know they voted this the most so right. that one commercially right. acceptable enough to be considered yeah. the best in both categories yeah so right. it's like right. Right. Broken right. barrier. Yeah. I, 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 and sometimes Tony not even commercially acceptable because you look at those movies sometimes and goes I could talk to 10 15 20 who 30 people movie? who saw this movie I don't know movie? if anyone I know personally has seen Coda I still don't think anyone no, I love I, 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 I saw yeah, it I've not I didn't seen it. see it yeah and that's and in my personal life my mom parents I don't even think Kirkland I don't think you've seen it like no one's seen yeah. the best picture of Coda. What are you talking about Kirkland's right. favorite movie of last well, year I thought right His favorite movie last year was old <laughs> <laughs> was it old? Yeah. To, uh, uh, to, to raise to raise point about oh, we just brought it back to Shyamalan right now. <laughs> oh no! Um, oh I, yeah, I we were talking about old with Sean. You know, you don't no spoilers. You were you, a little bit, Dave. I a little bit, a little bit. <laughs> because Kirkland because, thinks it's objectively okay, okay. a bad movie. No. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bro, I haven't watched any trailers, but apparently people just get old. Like okay, yeah, oh, okay. Yeah. See, this is this is what it is it when delivers. it comes to old. I like the idea and I mm -hmm. like the twist, but the middle to get to both the bridge, oh, like that, that so second bad. act is so drawn out and it get, it gets to the point where you go, fuck, really? It, he put it that was in as there? Long as the lockdowns yeah. were basically. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, my complaint, because I talked to Meg about this, my complaint is at the end where it's like there's a point where I feel like the movie should have stopped yeah. and it kept on oh, yeah, like, it kept like 15 too. minutes in. Yeah, yeah exactly. Exactly. Set up you're right. You're right. Because once you reveal the twist, it's like, oh, that's cool. I get that. I get what you're doing. And then all of a sudden it goes, well, yeah, if, well we're still going. Oh, oh, shit. Okay. Uh, oh, and then, yeah, it keeps on going. Yeah. It yeah. was like M. Night Shyamalan, I, I like he had the idea, but it just, the execution just kind of got jumbled up. Like it started off but, great. But, but to the point of our conversation, at least. At least M. Night is out there making some movies, putting his own yes. skin in the Thank game. You. And you know what? I respect the hustle. Yes. Hey, exactly. If you're not making shit that people hate enough, you're not taking enough risks. And then, oh, like, that, I, I'm going to remember that, Tony, because me, we're making movies in the next few years of Geek First. So that's what I'm going to say. Like, oh, you hate oh, our shit. Oh, watch out. You, know? you yeah. guys writing some shit? What's well, going on here? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We, <laughs> me and Taylor are talking about a Bigfoot movie today. We're, we're always Oh, shit, so. there you go. I we like got, we got six course. movies planned. We got lots of shit going on. <laughs> oh, I, think, ah, I oh. like it. I like oh, it. it. Oh, one of, oh, God. Sorry. Objectively no, no. bad. <laughs> Objectively <laughs> bad ideas. I mean, if you can say that if it's your idea, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I look at this. I go, right, well, our yeah. fan base is going to like it. So let's fucking go. Um, but I think that that's something, too, that, that is. And you see this a lot, but movies is one of the big places. And I always actually talk about it with, like, from the journalism side or the, or the blogger writer side is that. With movies, you get a lot of weird commentary because you've got, like, movies are art, so you've got a commentary on mm -hmm. what does it mean, what is the writing, what is the themes, what are all these things. But then you've got the technicals, which is, a, you know, how does the camera work, what is the lighting, and that influences art, but it's also just because you know what the lighting means doesn't know you how to know how to make it or how well it was executed. Or and then you know and the and the performance like that that's that's a separate just because you are equipped to interpret the themes don't mean that you're equipped to interpret how the effects were done or judge the quality of the effects. Um, in the same way, but then on, and then there's also like the business side. There's studios and and contracts product, and budgets, yeah. and and that's another side. And so, but so you have like a film journalist, but they're covering all of these things, but they're not a they're not a an expert in all those things. They talk about about box office. That's another whole thing to itself but it's all thrown into this big bucket of like movie news that's well no you've got business you've got all these other things but so in the same way the movies themselves you've got um like the fact that that box office and reviews are like the two metrics that are used when the, those same metrics are being applied to like like a a, a, a four star or let's say an 80 percent or whatever on rotten tomatoes for a marvel movie is very different than like an 80 percent on rotten tomatoes for like an a24 movie mm -hmm. like that's not just like getting treated differently by the critics but like it means something different about the movie like because people are watching a marvel movie like looking at the same standard and holding it to the same and it's not even the same audience that's doing the rating well, and then also they've got different budgets 
and they've also yes. got maybe and may also they've got different filmmakers different budgets, who are doing different, different things artistically. Maybe the effects were the, I don't want to say intentionally bad, but like you get stylistic decisions. Which like is that is that a is that style or is that a, is that a bad style or is that a bad technicals? And, it's also different you know, marketing the, as well. Is the color bad or is it just poorly lit? Like right. you know, is that a, is that a design issue or 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 did the editor fuck up? Hashtag Obi Wan. <laughs> and oh, I've been waiting that for that. Not that again. <laughs> and so um, it's all blue. It's a episode, blue. so it's wild that you look at like you know something like everything everywhere all, all at once got a lot of hype for like how well it did at the box office just because it was being reported on individually in contrast to other similar movies. Mm -hmm. But like a casual audience person is gonna like pull up top ten box office and it's not gonna be on there. Nope. Right or it's, and right. how or or they're gonna pull up and they're they're gonna look at Rotten Tomatoes and it's gonna be listed right next to you know DC Super Pets and it's mm -hmm. like the, the, those are you know Spy Kids has a 100 percent of Rotten Tomatoes. I'm not saying that's wrong. I'm just saying that doesn't how is that useful information at all? And we and we no, we no longer know how to discuss what is this? Who is it for? How is it made? Why is it made that way? What was the budget like? Does it matter if it doesn't make the budget back? Even like, does a financial failure mean an artistic failure? Right. Does an does a financial success mean an artistic success? No, like, because because so you talk about those kind of things. It's like I go back to Blade Runner twenty forty nine. That well, is it's the original Blade Runner a box period. office oh, yeah. bomb. Like, the original Blade Runner was too. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. But yet they are some of my favorite films ever made because they are gorgeous mm -hmm. and thematic and stunning. Yeah. And, it, and it's just no one wanted to go watch right. that. Well, and then people and even say, like, well, it's, it's important because this determines whether or not it gets a sequel. It's like, no, it doesn't. Stuff well, gets like, bad reviews the, and bombs at the box you, office, yet it gets a sequel all the time for some variety of reasons from the studio, which is totally valid. Denny, That's not even the wrong decision. It's just. And Denis Villeneuve made Blade, Blade Runner 2049. It bombs and still gets to go off and make Dune, Dune Part One. And Part yeah. Two. And Part Two. Right, yeah. like I mean, part part, two. part one did well, and, and we we had our speculations. We did not think that movie was going to do well, especially it when did. it <laughs> especially when it when, when it became the day, a day and date. Release. I still haven't seen it. Oh, well, uh, oh, me neither. Oh, it's me neither, so good. It's, me oh, it's oh, so I'm going to do a first time watching on my channel. Kirkland, you've seen it. There you go. Yeah. Uh oh yeah, Craig. Uh, Where are you talking about, dude? There you go, Blade Runner. dude. Blade dude. Runner. Oh, he, got, he, oh, he, he reached <laughs> over Stephen's mind. Dude. Dude. Yeah, he we reached over. Me. He reached over into his portal got, and pulled up a book. This. Do you got Spy yeah. Kids that Stephen dropped? Do you got that over there? <laughs> oh, no? it's, it's like the portal there's scene Scott. on on Avengers Endgame. So, yeah. so there's one <laughs> more. There's books and vinyl shit, just and action figures. Dune and Batman. The action figures are something like I would have to get up to grab the action figures because they're right no there. you just have a mcfarlane you. f like batman I'm figure looking at the hard <laughs> you just where, where did that mcfarlane batman come from you just had that in your because he knew we were talking about it tonight i what mean the stream is, is called the is got under his desk oh, we talked about before, right? yeah. <laughs> yeah. i, I don't right. want to i don't want to rehash something that we we talked about like Here 30 minutes ago Blade but, but it was, uh, when we were when we were all talking about uh nice. flash and flashpoint and things like that it was funny mm -hmm. i noticed that no one ever brought up the fact that there is another wonder woman movie about to come out oh yeah that is no. true well is there is there is there like like there's well, no but but to that point see here's here's the thing chris like as dc fans mm -hmm. I feel like we've just conditioned ourselves. It, we've said this. It, we said this about The Flash for years. Mm. We weren't <laughs> confident that that movie was ever going to exist until we saw set photos. And there right. are still people. And there are still people that are like, "I'm not buying it until I see a trailer." And then there are still right. people that are like, "I'm not buying it until I'm in the theater and I'm watching it." We can't trust. I'm not. I'm these... not buying that movie exists until 30 days after I've already watched it. Right. <laughs> this is the life of a DC fan over the last five or six years. So in the case right. of Wonder Woman or Star 3, Wars, right. It, right. So, so so in the case of Wonder Woman three, especially considering the polarizing at best reaction to Wonder Woman 1984, there are a lot of it, like we're we're just not we are unwilling. It, I felt this. You know what? Quite honestly, the one that I was worried about recently was Blue Beetle. Like it wasn't yeah. until we got that reveal of the Blue Beetle. Co I was legitimately worried because what? Because I think around before the Blue Beetle costume reveal uh, was leaked, 
that was and we can all objectively agree that costume's awesome. Uh, <laughs> what are you, what are you guys, <laughs> more, what are you guys <laughs> looking forward to the most? Happy. Are you right. looking forward to the most Blue Beetle or Batgirl? Uh, Batgirl. Batgirl. I'm a Goffin well, guy. Well, Batgirl. Like, Batgirl. Yeah. And but, I'm excited but, for Blue Beetle because like it's great to get a this? new hero, uh, DC. I, I, like see, see, That's see, really see. fun, but I... I've grew up with Batgirl my whole life, the animated yeah. series and stuff. And we haven't had one since what? Batman and Robin on the big screen? You know, like it's yeah. been, oh, but I'm geez. very excited for Blue Beetle right. as well. There you go. What the there fuck? It is. Oh, yeah, this the is, Steven this Spielberg is, exactly. one, Blackhawk. Let's go, right. baby. That's going to be huge. Chris, Chris yeah, but, this is just a Chris, reminder. I forgot about that this is Chris. This is Squadcast. <laughs> I haven't forgot about the show notes. This is why. We kept up with every movie that was announced exactly. to be in development. This, this is why is, we didn't mention it, Chris. This is why. Because we can't trust it until it actually. <laughs> I was about to say, we didn't, we didn't mention it because we don't want to get our hopes up. <laughs> right. No, I'm serious. I'm dead. I'm we dead even, serious. We even have man. crossed can't out wait. things that. Lobo. We've even, we've even got Michael Bay's Lobo. Lobo. Oh, oh, Michael Bay. That would, right. play Lobo. that would be That'd be juicy. See, right. Michael Bay's low. Do all the Constantine's about to be casted stuff like that was coming out. Uh, JJ's long, still so. working right. on it. <laughs> oh yeah. Right. yeah. Speaking of like someone who gets a paycheck and then doesn't <laughs> yeah, care about delivering yeah. on it, he's still right. thinking about what he's doing with Justice League Dark <laughs> after know, well, uh, guys, four years. Yeah. Some of these had directors <laughs> and or screenwriters like announced. New people God got paid hurts. for this. People got new paid God's to hurts. write these movies. You know? Oh. The new the new gods one hurts. That that was that was kind of the one for me where I was like, okay, I can't trust shit these people say. After that went under, because I was really because I love Avery Duvernay and like I wanted to see her big Barda. I wanted to see her take on High Father and Orion and New oh, Genesis look at this, and Apocalypse. But, and it's like, but ugh. but look at this. The Zatanna movie got yeah. added on here. That got announced like that, like the week after the Snyder Cut got released. Like that's how recent we were just mm -hmm. being told shit was going to happen. She was just doing the Oscar and, race and like, oh yeah, everyone loves Promised Young Woman, which is a fucking fantastic movie. They're like, guess what? She's writing Zatanna. That's the one I'm sad about because that's not happening. I guarantee you. Like it's it just they said, yeah, I'm writing it, and then it's been well, two and a half years. Ninety percent of what was the, of what was announced. Has it already been cast? Our man. No, no Satan's uh, not a cast. No, no. Satan's not a cast. It was no. just we got a writer. It, We're working well, on it. One that is. You know, you're talking about Dua Lipa, Dua Lipa, Lipa, right? Zantana. Right, right, Casey. That's a rumor. Yeah. <laughs> you know who's probably right. going to be yeah. Zantana, uh, uh, Ana, Ana de uh, Armas. Uh, what's Ooh. her name from Blondie? That's yeah, what I, mean, I like that choice. She could they be are, an interesting choice. There is rumors um, that she was making a play for Catwoman and they went with Kravitz. And she's been rumored for a few other projects. No, so I think in the next. In the next. Yeah, Isa Gonzalez was doing yeah, I think in you, five you, years you'll see like, her in a Marvel or DC. Chris, so, uh, another one that's not oh, listed man. here, but like Imagine I'm gonna be Marvel mad when it doesn't happen is the <laughs> Black Canary movie, the oh, one that Misha yeah. Green is supposed to be doing with Journey Smollett, and they've tweeted, they both have tweeted about yeah, it. Is that a movie or a? Oh well, yeah, because that was after that was after we stopped doing news. That's why it's not yeah. on. Here. Yeah, like this is all the stuff. This is everything we kept track of from 2015 to. 2021 when we decided to stop doing like news well, look at this slate right? like, dc has this is... next comic-con they just walk out show this all again and they've won comic-con <laughs> you know with sweet logos and we're done you know well, yeah, that was, yeah that was i think it was comic-con 2017 or maybe it was 2018 um was the one where they they showed all the logos for everything that was that they were like that was that was when, when it was titled was flashpoint it was 2017 <clears throat> they but did yeah, it again for fandom Justice too League. yeah yeah between um, yeah but between 2017 and and like 20 2020 or whatever their yeah, that, dc that stroke movie Ugh. their pr strategy yeah. was just announce something mm -hmm. exciting every time something yeah like, and it worked for a while. It worked for a few years because it was like, oh, fuck. Until we found movie. out that they weren't actually making yes, any of this right. shit. 100%. <laughs> it, yeah. It, it, if we go back to the original release date, The Flash will be five years late. Five <laughs> oh. years late. I'm not well, I've already seen five. it. So. It's, it's like 2018, it's like, right? 2018? Yeah, 2018. 2018. A Avatar has that beat. <laughs> yeah, <you know>? <laughs> <laughs> That's true. It's not, yeah, he's not wrong. Uh, yeah. Uh, but when no, that, but I mean, like, when it. When it comes to DC fandom, I mean, let's face it. If they, I mean, we haven't. It's it's not been announced yet. Uh, according to Deadline, do we have trust issues with Deadline now? Maybe. Uh, no, but like, I, it sounds like it is going to happen, and it needs to happen because, my God, 
with with the lack of what happened at Comic Con, even with having the Rock showing up in his Black Adam costume, which I thought that was good. I just thought, mm -hmm. hey, Zachary Levi, where's your costume? Hey, let's do something like. They totally yeah. missed an opportunity he where both of those could have been on stage, yeah. staring yeah. each other down, lightning in the background. Oh. It could oh, have been Lucy something Lou. spectacular. <laughs> that would have at least boosted the fucking panel, but for some mm -hmm. reason they didn't do that. Anyways, when it comes to DC fandom, if you're if they're going to eventually get that DC head and they'd be like, all right, cool. And then we get our introduction during DC fandom, po posted in October before Act, uh, Black Adam comes out, mm -hmm. and then just try to drop as much stuff as you can i mean like don't hold back i mean even if it shit doesn't even work i mean you need some w's right here but you have but the thing is is like dc has a lot of things that is already like you know you have you have batgirl you have blue beetle you have the flash you have all that and then you have ben affleck coming back in the in aquaman have something like that have michael keaton on a panel Right. recording yeah. something how have... they still haven't done that big keaton interview like i'm waiting yes, for even, even the it. fact that they didn't walk keaton out on the comic-con stage is a fucking a brain well, buster to me because I, like I that's your cheer yeah. moment that's your, like even just I, I, seeing him i don't think I, this is gonna happen but like i was saying earlier with the can keep on getting kicked down the road with like are they gonna actually reboot like how is it that they have not managed to reboot in five years since like that is pretty crazy that, is i like i said this is not a prediction but if it happens, I wouldn't be shocked. Something happens where Michael Keaton never appears in a DCEU movie. Huh. That's, somehow. Whoa, look at you. Um, but uh, um, like Just because that's the way this all is playing out. It's just wild. Before we like, continue, Kirkland, yeah. Taylor, you guys got to take off. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah. this is the end of my vodka stream appearance. But thanks so much for having us. <laughs> I love how you. Or, I was I was gonna say Kirkland, uh, Kirkland. I was gonna say I love I love that Venom. Uh, uh, oh yes, thank really you. cool. Because this is I, very I have, nice. Yes, I have uh, that comic book um, uh, autographed by the the artist. Uh, oh really? Uh, yeah. One. Yes. Man, uh, so I was fantastic. like, dude, that's I love. I, I've got to I got to go back and, and find that comic book. I I love that wallpaper you got. Yeah. You don't I have it like right off the side of the I don't. I don't. <laughs> it's, 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 it's in my garage. Doing right now. That's why his camera's off. <laughs> I would have. It would take me five minutes to go find it. It was in my garage. <laughs> I, I, but uh, trust me, I got it. It's an autograph. Uh, from the artist oh, of, that, of that comic book, yeah. <laughs> no, no, but, but don't trust me because I'm a fucking liar. <laughs> trust me, but don't trust me. I'm a fucking liar. That, yeah. Put that on your Tinder, please. Trust me, but don't <laughs> fucking <laughs> trust me. I'm a liar. <laughs> All right, guys. Yes. Well, I appreciate Anyways, you guys so coming up. Dave. Yeah, yes. geek birth. We'll see you guys talk tomorrow. Talk to you guys again. All right, see we'll you later. Bye, later. Good night, everyone. I, I gotta pick up on what Steve said. So, Steve, you think there's an actual chance that he could be edited out of the Flash? I don't think there's a chance. It's just that that's the kind of shit that has been happening. Wait, who, I think who, what's or, more likely is that. Like, well, what are you talking no, about, Keaton, Adam, Steven? Keaton, I don't know. But, like I said, it's I, not a. Got <laughs> It's not I a prediction. Like he's, the movie is going to happen and Keaton is going to be in it. Keaton, yeah. edit, edit. Well, no, the, the Flash movie's already no, done. It's, no, no, no. This is done. not a prediction. It's not going to happen. Yeah. But that's the type of shit that has been happening to They're the DCU. They're just acting. Like, oh, time. okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. Okay. Is so that, you're I just think, going. You're going. You're 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 acting like a tra somebody who's traumatized by this shit. Mm. And like, <laughs> what you just, just the fact that like because every time they're like, oh, this is the movie that's going to change everything, and then like when it actually ends up on in theaters finally it's like well no it's just kind of like not a snyderverse reboot not a snyderverse continuation it's just well, let, let's say that's how it was pitched right let's say two like, years ago like we want to do a soft reboot this is how it's going to go and affleck's going to be killed written off uh, whatever they could easily that. though within a year they could say hey let's change this a little bit you could easily this whole Actually, melding of universes you could right. say ah we're gonna have keed's universe here and Ben's here. And I also think for the, because the, the, I think like tons of people love Keaton, but there's obviously some people like, fuck Keaton, he's not my DCU Batman. I think those <laughs> people would be way more open to if it was like the Batman, where it's like, hey, we're bringing yeah. Keaton back, but it's, it's like it's Batman Beyond, it's his own separate thing. So I think it, just like how Affleck is now in Aquaman, Flash is 11 months ago. You could easily change story points for anything, anything. But they could the kill Keaton in the in halfway point or something. But like, there's so much time. In the, in the same way that um, Matt Reeves was brought in as like an emergency panic. Yes, we need. We can't not have this bat. Like things are so screwed right now that if we don't have this Batman movie in production moving forward, mm -hmm. it's going to be so like the last the, the last nail in our coffin of multiple failures and so they and so it was a good decision it was Matt yeah. Reeves is great but 
I mean, they gave him more creative decision and more creative freedom and probably more money than like they would have anyone else because it mattered so much to have somebody oh. on the movie signed, committed mm -hmm. at that time. Um, and, I, and I think Keaton is a similar situation. Not Maybe not quite as panicked, but it's very much a we need to put a stake in the ground to separate. We, don't, we can't cast a new Batman. And I bring, agree 100%. bringing in a multiverse Batman yep. is a now, now, now Chris that that sequel we can still be ninety percent certain is going to happen, but we still can't be a hundred percent that the second that the Batman two is going to happen well, until we yeah. see things occur. But well, the first one did comes, very well, so it's and when it know. comes to Keaton, my I think it might, it might it, the safer prediction would be I bet he never gets a solo movie. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, do you, that, no, I, I, I don't know that he would, was ever. I don't know that was ever part of the. Well, by solo plan. movie, I don't. I don't mean like. I don't mean like solo Batman movie so much as like there. Is, there is not going to be. I don't think if he appears more than in the Flash, um, it's not and going. Batgirl. Yeah. Right, and Batgirl. There's not going to be a a string of Keaton continuity movies. Would, he, would you count a Batman Beyond as like a solo movie, or is that still like a he's? No, I would. I would count that as as. Like there's a there's a reasonable chance of, the, of of something like that happening, but I mean yeah. it hasn't been announced yet. It hasn't entered no. production yet. He's not getting any right. younger. Like if they're gonna get anything out of him, they like they're not gonna. Yeah. Like, well, the good thing is beyond well, it's just him in a chair. I mean literally yeah. they already removed Keaton from one movie. Yeah. Like, I, like yeah. that's that's the big yeah. thing about this that people like Affleck getting added to Aquaman is really interesting and and cool for Affleck fans, but legitimately Keaton's footprint on the DCU didn't just get shifted because of the schedule. He actually lost a movie. That he yeah. was supposed and, to be, and and and, be, and uh, this is and, and and this just goes back to this is why I pushed against all the people that are like, you know, we're so upset at the idea. That Keaton, why why would you have a seventy year old as the DCEU Batman? He's not the DCEU Batman. Yeah. Never he has been be driving any, any not yet. Right? He's right. Just I mean, I, I mean, I, I, originally I, wasn't Flash supposed to come out before Aquaman, and now yeah, yeah. switched. Yes, that's why more. they had. Yes. To, that's, that's why, why they had to. Yeah, that, I mean, yes. I mean, it's yeah. funny that Ke Keaton and Be and and Affleck are the the. I'm, I'm, the these guys are unique because. After they both quit playing Batman, they've been playing Batman <laughs> cons like, consistently ever ever since they both quit. It's it's funny. Yeah. Uh, and otherwise, Bale people. is like nothing, and then and then then Clooney is just like an apology tour, nonstop apology <laughs> tour. And yeah. even even Sorry Ben, <laughs> yeah. even Ben and Keaton, like Ben's like, yeah, okay, I'll come back. And Keaton's like, I don't know what the fuck they're doing with this movie, but I'm just happy to be playing Batman again. Like he gives yeah. no shits about like the multiverse, the canon, what's this mean? Yeah, he just he really doesn't understand it. He doesn't. Yeah. Understand he, 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 he just really wanted to be Batman. Like, again. Okay, to die. Yeah. Right. Cool. Like that's how much he, he's like. Oh, another check for my grandson. Yeah, no, why not? Yeah, I'll same thing as Aquaman. He's like, oh, you cut my scene. Is the money in the bank? Yeah, it is, Keaton. Okay, I'm cool. still getting yeah. paid for these, yeah. right? Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 it'll be on the people, DVD. I, cool, sure, whatever. Yeah, I saw people going like, "Oh yeah, this is like you know everybody's using that um, uh, for season four of the boys when you have Homelander uh, in the movie theater <laughs> watching, and he's watching oh, the, the, one, yeah. the seven, and then it's like, oh, this is Keaton watching all the news about Ben Affleck and the hype. I'm like, he, he doesn't, doesn't give a shit. He ain't watching he shit. Doesn't he doesn't give care. a shit. He's seven shit. years old. And he neither would Ben. Neither would Ben of the other. Way around it. It's just like it's a it's a it's a credit scene. It, it'd be different if they announced, "Hey, everything that Keaton in the Flash, we're fucking refilming it with Ben. He's out. Ben's in." It's not. It's gonna be one what maybe one minute scene, maybe one and a half yeah. minute scene. If this is all true, it's like that's yeah. a nothing. And that happens in movies all the time. People getting cut and like oh, in non like super. That happened stuff, just... with Morbius. Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> 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 The, the um, difference here, though, is that they that the intent was to the and it's not a, a massive deal, but I think it is significant that they were going to re, to not replace is such a bad word, but there's not the there's not a specific play, enough word a that I can think field. of <laughs> where they were going to swap. Um, they were going to branch the, the they were going to fork the timeline. Basically, is the way I understand it. In Flash, mm. he, Affleck would be in one. And that would probably just like not get much attention or not be serviced or whatever. Who knows what's going to happen to that? But then the, the timeline that would be followed for additional movies, Batgirl and et cetera, mm -hmm. would be the one with Keaton in it. And that timeline is already movies are already hopping to the Affleck mm -hmm. side of things. And that's what's significant about it is that Aquaman is not that it was a big role for Keaton. It was that it was the it was the 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 cementing the handoff that was going to occur mm -hmm. in the flash and so like now 
even Batgirl, they're saying like it's not very. It's a. It's it's not even a. It's a amalgamation of spaghetti of multiverse. It's yeah. Up in there because the only issue with Keaton, you know, being the DCU Batman, apart from the Flash, like there's one scene in the Flash that would kind of you know suggest that he's the Batman going forward. They can easily cut that out. But the yeah. problem with you know him being in the DCU is the Batgirl movie. Mm-hmm. They went ahead and shot his, you know, backstory with J.K. Simmons. Yeah, that's the only issue, and yeah. that's a, that's a big action. Well, right. but how much is he even in Batgirl too, though? Because like we, he wasn't on, like we, we don't really see him on set a ton. I'm not suggesting they're yeah. going to reshoot him with Affleck, but like if they were going, I mean, it would be smaller reshoots than Justice League was, it right? Like, but, yeah. the, like, the, but, the, but the fact that he's in the Batgirl movies, to me, that. is confusing. It, it makes more sense if Ben Affleck's Batman was in the Batgirl movie. Yeah. Well, because because J.K. Simmons. Simmons is in. Yeah. It, but, I'm well, like, yeah. what and, the and, hell and, is going and, on? And, and, and this is why this is why the biggest question, the biggest like pool of ambiguity that we have as DC fans, more than anything, is the Flash movie. That movie yeah. needs to tell us what the fuck is going on. Yeah, because we and don't like, know. We, we can all we can all agree that this is all Ezra Miller's fault. <laughs> like, he's <laughs> fucked everything up. <laughs> well, joking. but I'm the thing joking. is with the the Keaton and Batgirl thing. Damn well, it, I mean, he is Barry Allen. Barry Allen fucks up the timeline. <laughs> Damn a lot. it, Barry hey. Ezra. <laughs> the thing Best is, man he, alive, always late. What you want to watch with Keaton and Batgirl though is like, so Keaton's gonna be in Flash, right? And let's say there was some idea, oh well, maybe we could change things around, get Ben back in, uh, like Batgirl and stuff like that. But like Keaton's still gonna be a huge fucking deal. And after Flash comes out, if that really yeah. pops, people are, like really excited for Keaton, and then they just win it and like let's change a bunch of super backgrounds. Like oh fuck, people really want to see more Keaton. It's like that's why I really think with they're gonna because they can still play safe with Batgirl. They can still say that's in a separate universe. They can change a few ADR lines changes at all. I think after Flash. Yeah. Like we've talked about, they'll decide. But I think Keen is still going to be. People are excited for Ben, but as we've talked about before, Twitter's not real life, and there are millions upon people that don't know Keen's in this movie yet that will get that first trailer and go, "Holy fuck!" Right. They're bringing but, it. Like we just saw well, what happened with Top Gun Maverick. You know, people didn't know about it, and it's just like, yeah, it. it, and, it, and it was, I, I was weird about it. Is like the whole reason the that they got rid of the Snyderverse was because they wanted this more Marvel esque long term. Yes. they didn't want the five part plan. They wanted the the thirty part plan. Mm-hmm. Right. Which is why it's so weird to then swap Affleck, who was a barrier to a 30 movie plan, because he signed up for a five movie plan. It's weird to be like, all right, we'll get rid of him and we'll bring back Michael Keaton, who is not, yeah. also not a Batman for a 30 movie plan. CGI, well, right. I, th- I think that, the, the plan was Batgirl, though. I always think that was the plan that he was going to hand that off. And if you get Justice League 2, Batgirl would be the Batman like character. I think but that's what also, the angle was. But, 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 but we've, we've also <laughs> talked about how, like, all of this, like, like, everything that we're talking about here, like, this is part of the difficulty that, like, David Zaslav and Warner Brothers Discovery has to deal with. They did not create this mess, yes. they inherited it, but. They were the one, the previous idiots literally saddled them with a DC slate through 2023. And the whole reason that the reboot, if it does happen, is still continuous, is still delayed indefinitely, is because they legitimately need to see what the next five movies are even going to do. Because you're right. In, if The Flash does well, and if it is a case where the audience says we want to see more Keaton, how are they? It's the same thing. Like like people that were like, "We'll just reboot it now." I was like, "Okay, well, you do realize that one of these movies, Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom, is a sequel to a billion dollar film." Yeah, that's the same is, thing. What if the all, Flash makes a billion? This is yeah. all why so... hitting the reboot button right now is no. more. It, it's not that easy for no, Zaslav not at all. And Even if it everybody... would be the best, I, I still think it might be the the best. Not that they what I want. But the cleanest, just because, like, the because they aren't just inheriting like a mess of a slate, but like the the this slate is what it is, not just because of like bad decision making, but because of attempts to cover up and fix bad decision making. Mm-hmm. Like right. like like you were saying, I think Travis was saying this. They or or, or Tony or a bunch of people. Have one said of the it time. Um, yeah, one of one of these people one of these <laughs> um, yeah. is that fam- is, the, is the use of multiverse is a is like a band aid. It's like a it's just it's an, ex- it's, it's an excuse yeah. or an explanation for like 
Like, they're not like, ooh, we're actually excited about exploring the multiverse. This isn't like, oh, let's do multiverse of madness. This is, we need a bullshit excuse to not make ourselves, to make it so we don't look incompetent. They're right. making a lot of the decisions they made with the Flash were not creative decisions. They were, how do we make ourselves not look incompetent yeah. by fixing the universe? And I, I don't want to say that I'm like, I'm not even that negative about the Flash. <laughs> There's some things in it that I think are interesting, but it's hard to not be cynical about a movie that is foundationally at least partially supposed to use time travel to fix mistakes yeah. like even even days of future past travel did... because you've got keaton's batman and you get sasha kai's supergirl you uh. start to get the idea of who they're trying to get rid of affleck yeah. and cavill by yeah. giving us keaton's and batman it's and so, kai's it's such a cynical supergirl. approach like i get i get replaced and i get the, the necessity you know cavill might not even want to come back Affleck has been a, a problem with whether or, not he, whether or not he <laughs> wants to be a long-term commitment, mm -hmm. although he keeps on coming back, but you know, he yeah. says he doesn't want to. Yeah. And so, but to, to create a movie with a $200 billion or $200 million budget or whatever it is for the purpose of explaining, re like people point to days, of, like even days of future past didn't do that. No, like, that was just a coincidence more like they, they made that's such a small part yeah. and it didn't really go over well. And so then they went and did first class and that well. And and then they were like, Oh, I was hey. wondering when we we're going to go back to Marvel. <laughs> they were like, oh, hey, we, we have a, we have these two timelines going. Let's bring them together. They didn't have to do. They didn't. No. There was nothing that they needed to fix. They could have even yeah. made X Men four if they wanted to, picking up oh, after X Men after X Men three with uh, like without making Days of Future Past. They could have brought back that original cast and like uh, people would have been like. I, I, good. I, I, they didn't. They I didn't needed have the Days of Future that... Past. I needed the retcon at the end of Days of Future Past to happen. I needed well, that. sure you did, but but <laughs> if they had done if they had if they had done a sequel with this with, that provided a similar level of catharsis like that's just because what you were given gave you gave you the catharsis you needed but they could have done that in a sequel too despite how how messed up um and that's i i, I like days of future past a lot but my, my point is that days of future past was not them cynically saying no. how can no, we that's fix true. our fuck up that was a bonus right. that no, was just like true. oh while we're dealing right. with time travel you know what we could do we could bring scott yes. back we, it was not they did not sit down and be like hey how we do we bring get charles Mars? Yeah, how do we get James Marsden Cyclops back at the end of this movie? Let's make yeah. Days of Future Past. No, it was just, yeah. we could yeah. do this. Where, yeah, this was created to fix problems, which I don't know, like, there is bad stuff too, but there is stuff where, like we talked about, if Affleck was really done at one point and they said, hey, wait, I don't want nothing to do with it, I could see someone pitching the idea of Keen and right away people going, like, you know what, this is not a bad idea. Like, there's rumors of, you know, other things happening. People coming back reprising roles is such a huge thing. Like I feel like yeah. it's always been big, but when Force Awakens happened, I feel like that was the start of that trend of like people want to see these OG actors like really back. And then you got Creed, you yeah. got you know like again Top Gun Maverick, you got No Way Home. So like Keen, I think no matter what is a smart play. It's just now if it is like if Ben's like kind of like oh I'd play a little, you're like fuck like now well, that's why maybe that's... they just keep them separate again. Why don't they them. just do something where they fight together? I just want to see that. I the two see that. It's like you, you got Creed, really you got No Way Home, you you got Home Alone 2 lost in oh, New York. Oh yeah, you know <laughs> yes, yeah, you, know, you know what Travis, Travis, Travis I'm ready for those tra legacy of Home Alone movies. <laughs> tra Chris. Travis, yeah. he's absolutely right. Marvel <laughs> Marvel Studios has very very much leaned into this. With oh yeah, no way. and that's, I, that's that's all. No way home was, and they did it with Doctor Strange again, right? And they're gonna with Secret Wars because a lot of about like not the whole the story is not about like let's have a bunch of people fight, but it does deal with multiverse elements and whatnot. So well, it, the original you know. Secret Wars comic was literally how a can toy we commercial? Yeah, how, can, how can we? What concept can we use to put as many characters together mm -hmm. at the same time as necessary yeah. so that we can do these toys? Yes, like which which is like for most movies would be really cynical but like for the mcu they're gonna be like whoa that's like our game <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah fucking mm -hmm. yeah uh, um, the transformers but, movie i was like oh the first the first okay don't do you not uh, besmirch the name of the 1986 transformers movie don't you dare sir oh, yeah. <laughs> i know that that was just a don't you dare that was my first theatrical experience oh, I, I was four years old when that movie came out i only later learned that it was a cynical like relaunch of the toys. yeah of the toys yeah line which is why they killed the everybody toys. in that movie <laughs> you got the power let's go the so no 
you do not besmirch the name. No. I, I, I call upon Anthony of ACS when we did a we did a live. Oh yeah, you guys did quit. do that. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. I, I think I think it's funny how uh, after all these like these these like with Flash and everything with these with these reboots with with Ben Affleck with Michael Keaton and go and, and how mm -hmm. DC you can go into so many directions, but it's still it's still funny to me that. Only after what what three movies that that Zack Snyder did with what Man of Steel, Batman vs Superman, and Justice League, mm -hmm. his his fingerprints are still they're they're still going oh yeah they're everywhere. all over the place they're all, all over the damn place. They, I they, think Stephen they can, wrote an article like, about that. They can that. disassociate themselves from him anytime I they mean, want, and at the same time they, they still can't. lean on him. Yeah, yeah, and that's the thing with bringing it, Ben, you know. Yeah. Well, they're not, not even Ben, but but the Flash literally the villains are Zod and and Feora. Yeah. yeah. And then what <laughs> yeah. 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 from the well, first well, Snyder film. It's, it's like I mean, do you, you want to do you not want to work with Zach or not? What's going well, on? Well, here? Well, and the real like the irony is like despite all the drama, especially like from the Snyder fans like hating on the Flash and everything that that like the drama with that is that in the moonshot chance that all the stars and planets and galaxies of the universe align to to bring the Snyderverse back to finish that yeah the flash. the flash is a major part of why that happened yeah. um, right it will be and not not even because that's the intent of it but because it brought Affleck back and got him back in the bat exactly. suit which is why he ends up in Aquaman which like I thought it yeah. kicks this can down the road where is, like, is, is, any know, of this, is, could... is any of the Snyder fingerprints are, are on the blue beetle move or probably not I don't know yet. yet. But you look at, no you look at stuff like Sasha Kaye, though, where it's like, oh, it's a new character, but she's got the the yeah, Snyder look at the design. Right. Look yeah. at the how. Look at the so, design of her suit. Yeah. Snyder did nothing so, wait, with wait, Blue wait, Beetle, wait, which but one? like, what's Supergirl. Supergirl. Oh, Sasha yeah. 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 But like, so like, oh, if shit. Blue, like if Blue Beetle wait, goes to Blue Beetle, is she? No, no. I'm saying even even these movies that are bringing in new characters are still clinging to Snyder. Like, for example, what if what if Blue Beetle goes to Star Labs, or like, you know, if, <laughs> if something like that happens, and then do you do a new Star Labs? Do you do the Snyder? Like, would be perfect for a cameo. Or like Shazam, yeah. like like Shazam's got all the, and, like all the the and, Affleck batarang and, okay. the, and, 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 and Lex Luthor shows up. Like, yeah. can I change See, one and, thing in this room? Oh, that's the other right. thing. Batgirl's got <laughs> Batgirl's got Eisenberg Lex Luthor references. Not, and, not, not well, and it's, right. and it's got JK. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> see, and, and, well, see like... and, and 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 pursuant to what Stephen was talking about earlier about how Warner Brothers has been trying to make themselves not look incompetent this whole time. The biggest thing that makes them look incompetent out of all of this, truthfully, if we really look at it, is the fact that none of Snyder's movies failed. None of them. True. Not a single one of them failed. I don't give a shit what people say. Like people no. want to act like Man of Steel underperformed. Okay, fine. Like th th this is where the box office well, stuff really gets like but, ridiculous. Because yeah, sure people... they dropped. Sure they made less than they could have. But like, right. there's no, there, there, there's no bomb. It's just like sure that you wanted there more. Are no I'm not I, I, like you could argue that for whatever reason. But like, the, yeah. they 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 are enduring. People still yeah. talk about them and like them, even if they're they controversial. Made, yeah. they made they're the still. Money. Yeah. They're still, yeah. they're, they're such a big part of the conversation that they're still defining what the universe is today. Like, right. you know, Ben Affleck being yeah. in Aquaman is like a product of how yeah. powerful yeah. his appearance was in Batman v Superman and how resonant and like it was. It Even not. though people, like, but this, would all be, this would all have been so much easier and they, and they would have looked less incompetent if at least one of those movies had bombed or failed. None right. of them did. Well, Absolutely yeah. none of them did. So and that's it. Was all it was all about the nitpicking about what like happened in the movie, like the fact that right. like oh uh, uh Ben uh Ben Affleck's Batman killed a bunch of people. Like Batman doesn't mm -hmm. kill. Like have you ever read a Batman uh, <laughs> a, a comic or book even book seen movie? Michael Keaton? My, yeah. Michael yeah, Keaton's Batman real. killed so many people. Comic, <laughs> I say yeah. that. Oh my yeah. God, I say that yeah. all the time. Yeah. Batman, yeah, yeah. Michael Keaton murdered a lot of people. A lot. Yeah. A, 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 a lot. Comic book he is Batman threw people off of rooftops. All the time. <laughs> yeah. the Michael about? Michael Keaton blows guys up. He shoots them from his plane. He, he throws a guy off of a bell tower. <laughs> right. He, he, he smiled he, about it. He smiled. He, yeah, he, he, he lit it. a fire. He lit a fire breather on fire as he drove away. <laughs> in he the had snow. A <laughs> like, 
But yeah, no, I mean, I mean, that argument is always out there. He dropped the Joker in the first movie. Whoops. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he yeah. He let, yeah he, man. He let Jack so Nicholson we he took dynamite in a guy's pants and threw him down a yeah. man. Exactly. Just saying. Exactly. I watched that. that funny as hell. I mean, I mean, when, well, look, when that Batmobile burst into that building with those machine guns, just. Yeah. I mean, come on! I mean, no, no, when <laughs> no, when it dropped that that grenade out of that yeah, ball, yeah, yeah, off this little yeah. tire. Do yeah. you think those men survived? No, <laughs> oh, yeah, they're totally fine. They were totally fine. <laughs> yeah, according they're to yeah, fine. like like when Batman man does a kill. <laughs> No, I know, there's always, there's always gonna be that argument, and it, it's just kind of funny because I remember when they were talking about the Batgirl like uh, screening, and they were saying like, "Yep, yeah, you know the, that Batman doesn't have a kill," and I was like, "Yeah, tell that to his younger version." I mean, <laughs> my God, you know, if they're talking about Michael Keaton's Batman, but that's the rumor. Yeah, but the yeah, real irony yeah. is we're talking about like Keaton and Affleck, and like they have to bring in Affleck to replace Keaton and Aquaman because of scheduling change, like. The really, really funny part is this movie that's causing all these problems because of the, the delays and everything is coming out next year, which is going to be like three, two or three years after S Snyder's last movie would have been done. And Affleck would have been like, yep, that's my last. Like, they even died that's in the movie. Thing. And then you're just done with it and you move on. You put, cast whoever the fuck you want as Batman. You don't need to explain how he fits into a universe or anything. You just start over. But like, right. they, they're like, no, we can't let this happen. We need to reboot it. Five years later, they w they could have finished and then restarted, and they're still restarting, not restarting. Yeah. I guess that's the hope now, like, right? With well, like Zaslov, Horn, the future. That's the hope because, yeah. like we've said, they all they inherited this, right? So that's the hope yeah. that now it's well, whether like stop the can, recycle the can, whatever you want to do, just decide what you're <laughs> going to do with the can. You know? Yeah. Well, well and see the and, and see that's the other part. Like like it, like that's where it, it gets even further because like. Not only did Snyder's movies not fail, but the people he cast, one of them made a billion dollar film. Mm -hmm. Another one cemented herself as like the, the current live action definitive woman. And it, at least in the first film, like yeah. people can say whatever they want about well, not only these movies, but He made the movie stars. Jason Momoa uh, uh, yes. and right. Gal Gadot are two of the biggest people in two of the, the biggest actors in Hollywood because he oh, uh, they got like cast, plucked yeah. them from, you know, right. uh, I, 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 I really, I really don't think that the DC like, can reboot until Wonder Woman three is done. I, I that's how I feel. I feel like that's or even Aquaman done. three. Oh, Aquaman yeah. three, yeah, mm -hmm. Aquaman three well, and, DC, and yeah. Wonder Woman three. I think that's when the DCU can officially reboot. And that's the real problem. And people say like that's not a Snyder thing, but it is because those are character. The reason that they they, they can't reboot is because they can't justify recasting Momoa and yeah. and Godot. Not while um, they're winning, yeah. Which which uh, are like Cavill, product yeah. of Snyder. Snyder, yeah. Um, right. But like, literally anything any future creator wants to build off, the, the fact is, as long as you remain in this continuity, Snyder did establish all of this shit. So he's always going to have some fingerprints. And if it's in its vein, it's one yeah. thing. If it's not, well, then like... Well, I mean, well, Warner Brothers that had the ability to hit the reboot button anytime they wanted to. But the fact that they kept green lighting these movies that were connected that, that's that they they did this to themselves but that, but, but, but that's the other thing you know, pursuant to what you're saying tony is like these creatives are embracing his footprint mm. whether people necessarily well, wish to admit well, that or it, not like, it's not no like other i just saw someone passing around patty jenkins quote from before was it before wonder Woman 84 where she was like oh even the other dc directors don't consider whedon's justice league canon right. like yeah, well, so like when that, that came yeah, out, yeah. I was like, "That's a crazy thing to like just put out there." Like, what a yeah, what a that's coup! Yes, yeah. Like, yeah. Well, it's like it's got you got PlayStation villain that keeps saying mm, "mother" to like a boss. <laughs> <before, like, laughs> what I, I know, it's scary. like, what is that? What, I, yeah. what are you no, dancing? Yeah, I don't, I don't like that. I mean, I feel like whatever came out in the theaters is canon. That's that. I mean, we we went to the theaters, we watched, it, we saw it. I mean that. But whether whether or not no, Snyder's version want... afterwards but, was better but, or not, it's, and it's... and that's a and that's a it's a very traditional perspective on it, and that's why it's so crazy for for, um, for Patty and for other for her to say that all the DC directors are like, yeah, we're not gonna treat that as gospel. We know that's what you saw in theaters. Uh, yeah. We know that's what they released. 
but and that's Chris, not our. Look at the Shazam like, trailer. It's like that a rebellion. Uses the, the like, oh yeah, from right, Snyder's Shazam. version yeah. and not from the theatrical version. Right. The, 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 yeah, the, the only time, the, the the only time that the studio has <laughs> pointed it all to that 2017 version. In the last couple of years is when <laughs> that that 4K trailer popped up on YouTube, and that was it. Like no one else, <laughs> like none of these other creatives are pointing to it, like but at to, all. <laughs> But to Chris's point, though, if you even look at Aquaman, where they're like, oh, you beat Steppenwolf. So far, they've just used broad strokes that are plot points from both versions, right? And I think they will continue to do no, that. No, I not don't gonna think get... it's – well, I'm sorry. When you when you reference Black Zero and when you have the Batarang from BVS in Shazam and when you're using stuff from Zack Snyder's Justice League in the trailer for marketing, game mm. over. It's not That's not broad strokes. I'm sorry. That's specific. Well, you well, know, those shots, we don't even know if they're in the movie. If he's no, just talking about Batman, the, it's just Batman. You know, like right. those are shots they're using for marketing from other trailers. The question is, is the story going to do things that you're like, oh, that is impossible? Yes. Given what happened in this 100%. version. Of the, like, like, are well, they going to give like, a Ryan, are they going to bring in a new Ryan Choi and pretend there was never a Ryan Choi? Exactly. Like, let's say to, if you put up Silas Flash, Stone is alive. That's yeah. my point. Yeah. Stone is alive. Like, well, we I, haven't yeah, seen think, that yet, though. Yeah. And that's my point is I think. Yeah, like, he'll just use broad stuff. once in theatrical, but like there was nothing further. So it's like it, they could explore it later. That's another another example of the but... irony of their inability to slam the door shut on the Snyderverse is like even Ray Fisher getting removed from the Flash, which is c complicated for a number of reasons, but ignoring all of like the behind the scenes stuff, that means that that the Flash will not address canonically what the status of Silas Stone is. So once again. That like yes. they the the mm. movies that are that should like a, put a stake in the ground on like canonical they things. They avoid it. They, they things just keep on happening that like by like freak like the fact that that Fisher that whole thing happened that way and and resulted in him being removed from the movie. As a result, now also means that like justice like the Flash, it's it Affleck is going to be in it. They're not going to be able to confirm whether or not Silas Stone. Mm -hmm. is, is like there's all these things where it's like they, they it's like the the monkey like they, there's they can't get past it and that doesn't mean that they're right. inherently going to go back to it it's just like hilarious to me that like huh. they well, can't and, escape and, the shadow of they, snyder they, like they, well they, they they can't escape the shadow of it and I, I i feel like you know it it's really easy to assign the traditional ideal of we saw it in theaters that's what is canon i know brent says that all the time travis that's his thing that's why he mm -hmm. doesn't watch director's cuts or anything like that but my thing is i it is extremely difficult to me and i think in some cases disingenuous to act like this the situation surrounding this movie is like all the other times that that has happened this is a very very unique situation I'm just film. waiting for them to, like we said, address that. If Flash, they open up, say, oh, Silas Stone is dead, then it's like, oh, then they're following that. But if they don't do anything to, if they just talk about Steppenwolf and they just talk about, oh, Flash, the last time you team with Justice League, you don't say anything else. I think you get that after Flash because then you could easily say, oh, the Justice League they went through was the Snyder Cut now because of continuity changes and this and that, blah, blah, blah. But I don't think they're going to have any Snyder Cut references in like Aquaman. They didn't, I don't think it will be in Shazam Fury Gods. I don't think it'll be in Flash. I think it'll be after. I think it will be broad strokes again. Step and Flash is the one that I'm the Flash is the one that I'm not I can't I, I could see where you're going where you're coming from on Aquaman and Shazam. Mm -hmm. But uh... things, the, 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 the thing about the Flash though Flash has one. Flash has one. Dave, if you were gonna say something. No, I was just saying I, I just wouldn't be surprised if Shazam just because David F. Samber, I don't know. I just something oh, about true. that that's guy. Valid. I wouldn't be that, surprised that's that's if point. he just goes, "Hey," <laughs> and know? if they do it, then it's great. I'm just holding yeah. my breath because it's just I feel yeah, like no, they're I making that. these I in that. an era where they're like, uh, "Do we want it?" Yeah. To? Like it's a gray area. It was what was it? What yeah. the? It wasn't a uh, we're not a roundabout. What was what was the term they kept throwing around? I mean, like when you watch the Shazam the trailer, the sack. thank you. Scott. Yeah, yes. when you watch the Shazam trailer, you literally have him talking to Helen Mirren and saying like making fun of fast and furious when she's literally in the fast and furious movie. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Like, you know, I mean, that's the thing, the whole well, family it, thing. Like, that beat too is that he makes a fast and furious joke and she gives him a look like, you know, this is the wrong movie. <laughs> and then he clarifies the joke, and she's like, "Oh, okay, my cover's not blown." And it's like, "Yeah, <laughs> like, that, that, yeah. That, no." It, that, that Dave brings up that's a valid point. I 
I, yeah. I can't put it past Sandberg. I'm yeah. just saying. I'm just saying from a, a, a yeah. I know. What, I get that. Yeah. For for what we're seeing of like who's involved and like what's going on with these films, it. I'm not going to be surprised if the Flash is the one that actually does plant the flag. Flash is the one for that. Yeah. Wouldn't surprise me if that happens. Well, but we'll see. Haven't we? I, I don't remember enough, and I don't know if this is. I'm just not going to say it, so never mind. <laughs> <laughs> that's my philosophy. I think I, too. I, I, no, I, I think I know what he was going to say, and that's fine. <laughs> like, are, like he's like, aren't we just grateful that Ezra? Well, I was going to say, wasn't it, there confirmation that the Flash has a scene where? And then I was like, oh, you know what? Actually, I'm not going to. Oh, okay. Well, then, oh, no, I don't, I don't, I don't know you've that. read. You've um, read things. Okay. You've read things. things. Or, yeah, or okay. I could I could remember if it was said in an interview, or if it was a thing that we learned, and I don't want to <laughs> fudge the difference. So, yeah, that's uh, fair, fair enough. Okay. I'm, I'm, look, I'm surprised that that uh, it's been a couple of weeks as Miller hasn't popped up in the news lately. <laughs> right, he was a little, it was a little uh, it, iffy yeah. for a bit there. It was because Rolling Stone turned their attention to Snyder. That's why. Yeah, I, mean, no, we, I think we had a long stretch where where Ezra hasn't tried to take the spotlight, and so I'm wondering, <laughs> I'm wondering if this is the moment before, like, like <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty moment. sure he's gonna he's gonna pop up in the in the spotlight before the movie pops up again. But I, well, he has was, since he posted yeah. those stories, though. It's been like I feel like whoever's in his ear has advised him, "Hey, get your shit together, be silent for a bit, and just." Just trying to disappear for a yeah. while. Well, well, what we all what we all can hope is that he's getting help for anything that right. he's dealing with, and, and that's no the thing. And when when it when it comes to actually getting serious help, it's disconnecting from a lot of things, yeah. and that's what yeah. we're that, that's that's all we can really hope for it, for it, right now. Because it, it seems that he that he has yeah. infinite li- like it's like contra. He like like he has infinite <laughs> lives for yeah. all these chances that he's getting. Look, when Chris Brown did what he did, everybody was ready to throw him under okay, the bus. Okay, hang on though. Let, uh, okay, okay. I, I, I'm sorry. We can't compare that to Chris Brown. <laughs> I yeah, can't. I'm I'm not, 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 no, no, I'm, I'm, like, I'm sorry. I'm gonna die on that hill. I will because the difference. Well, all of them are dying. The difference between Chris Brown and him is that. Chris Brown did his thing once. Uh, Ezra Miller has done it multiple times. He still beat a woman what, once, yeah, though, yeah, and no, that's, no, that's, no, that's no, one too many right, for me. Right. What, what, what did Chris Ezra Brown, Miller do Chris that Brown was on did, the level of beating Chris a woman? Brown beat the hell out of a woman, what, yes. But what, Ezra Miller, what, uh, threat, threatened to murder uh, <laughs> like a couple. Uh, oh, what, really? Uh, uh, really? Really? Uh, what? Uh, Threaten to threaten to kill. Uh, uh-huh. uh, I will burn. What did he say? I will burn your your wife. Yeah, okay. Or something. I'll burn I mean, you like, and your slut wife. I, I think. Yeah, I, I, like, like, a, I Ezra think Ezra Miller has done these these horrible right. things. There, no, there, no, times. dude. There is there is too much here to say with that. There is way too much here. And, spicy. Too much <laughs> and, much and everybody that. keeps right. saying the same thing. I hope he gets help. They didn't say that about Chris Brown. They was like because Chris Brown beat the shit out of a woman. That's why. I mean, there's a difference, you know. Because technically, even let's say if Ezra did all this. Stuff. Threw a chair and, and hit a woman in the me. head with a chair. There's still a lot of there's, but there's a, there's a lot of uh, I don't know. It's there. There will be more coming out Very about this. Ezra Miller has more victims. I'm just. But, I'm sorry. Well, oh, okay. All right. Okay. I, I, there is a. <laughs> it's, it's hard to break down without. There's, there's going to be more that comes out about this, but there's a lot about the way that it was reported, um, yeah. not just like after after the fact, but like the way that like the 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 police reports were handled the way that um the police reports were reported in the media etc that is not um um the i don't know how it's going to play out because when stuff like this is so blown up and like a like a big deal it's hard for like the the narrative to change after the fact um and it's not saying that ezra has done absolutely nothing but the depiction and perception of what happened is is wildly out of line with with some of the things that actually did happen that's not saying like someone didn't get hit in the head with a chair there is a police report stating that you know there's all these things but the but there's there's a lot of a couple that bailed him out of jail that that he well that he didn't threaten to set on fire yeah but there's there's, a minor that he that that he but no no but but those are all okay okay. i don't know know, there's a lot there's a lot to get into there but like the minor situation is a that is no, no, I mean, all, my, my point is that Chris, Chris Brown had one victim, and I, it's it's horrible. Throw him under the jail. I don't give a fuck about Chris Brown, but as, everybody keeps saying the same thing about Ezra Miller. I hope he gets help. Well, right, but and the, then they the, keep the, repeating it, it, the same. I think the, the okay. important point with 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 Ezra though is that the, this is 
and and, and it, it gets it gets and this is why i'm saying that it's hard to understand with with the uh, hard to paint a, a proper picture with the 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 narrative but the 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 way it has been been reported and the way it has kind of taken root on social media um is a a a hyperbolic version yeah. of of everything that has actually happened and oh, so yeah. there's like okay yeah. ezra got in trouble at a bar yeah. it's like well lots of people get in trouble at a bar yeah. you know right. and but but there's nothing hyperbolic about reality let me be clear i don't give a shit about chris brown i mean but but the difference is chris <laughs> brown went to to, well, to but, court and he, right, and he exactly and he the difference is that Chris Brown, we know he did it. The difference yeah. is, no, Ezra, is, it, right. is that Ezra he, is accused of doing things. Yeah, yeah, he, two went, he went to yeah. court and he faced and he faced the judge. Uh, isn't Ezra Miller still like uh, has a warrant for his arrest and he's still on the run? No, well, there's that, no, that, a lot that's of things. Let me clarify that real quick. That's a really good example of what's wrong with that. I mean, he disappeared from well, right, but so what happened was that that the parents of the of the the girl on the is they're they're from a the, um lakota indians yeah. and so Indigenous they people. there is no jurisdiction outside of tribal grounds to to serve that ezra was really involved in the dakota access pipeline stuff and so had a had a relationship with with a bunch of people from the from the um lakota tribe and when the the parents started making these these accusations about about the the grooming and etc um and so the the like the it was no warrant what they said was that there was there's authorities that were serving the there's a and it's not even it's a it's a restraining order is all it is but there's no jurisdiction to serve it and so the original report was they ca they can't find Ezra to serve Ezra because they're he's Ezra literally does not live on the reservation and they can't serve Ezra outside of the reservation and that quickly turned into Ezra is on the run from authorities yeah. trying to serve an arrest warrant and so that's a good example of like that doesn't make it an innocent absolutely nothing thing but it, there's a big difference between on the run from a authorities with an arrest warrant versus there's a restraining order but, and they but can't is, but isn't this kind of to... but isn't this kind of proving my point i mean chris went to face no it's not proving kid. your point man he, Rihanna well, he, got he went to he went to court and he went through the process you 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 i mean you but that process word... doesn't happen with ezra yet because the restraining yeah. order does not require any evidence you just have to make an accusation and you can create a restraining order i, I right. mean but yeah but where but where is ezra well ezra has been uh, like, I, what do you mean by where is like there? There was. I mean, been... like I said, Chris went to court. I mean, he, I mean, he did what he did. Well, he yeah, I know, caught, but you don't go to court to the court. day after stuff happens. Ezra's not on the. Ezra's not in contempt of court. There, there have been like the like the stuff in Hawaii. There were hearings in Hawaii. Those were all addressed. The couple that made the claim. Wait, wait which which Hawaii charge? What? We, which one? Well, we can go through them. The first charge, the restraining order that was filed. No, I'm serious. No, I know. I, I know. No, no, so Chris, let's let's unravel this spaghetti here a little bit. What you you so, got to listen. You got to listen. That we've, yeah. the, the thing, Chris, is is that we've actually broken all of this down. This down. Yeah, this is yeah. not my first yeah. time. So this yeah. is not me. Yeah. Like, no, no, yeah. no, that's yeah. my point. Like, with Chris Brown, it was the one thing that happened. Well, right, but but also but it was the thing that it was all these things. But we're talking about this in retrospect after he went to court. Whereas, like with Ezra, there was a, there was a the that first like the claim of like the couple that bailed him out of jail and all of that. Ninety percent of that was stuff that people got from 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 Reddit, from what the couple said on Reddit. But they filed a restraining order against Ezra and then dropped yep. the restraining order. So the restraining they, they dropped that. So I don't know how you think that any doesn't of this prove is anything. equal to Chris Brown beating the shit out of Rihanna no, in no, court. I, I don't know I, how I, you I, think I'm any not, of look, look, I'm not I'm not downplaying what what Chris Brown did. It to, sounds like you are, but okay. No, no, I'm 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 not. It, but, okay. it, but but it was the one thing that happened. It, Why does that matter? It, as big as it is, it's the one thing that happened. He, well, went, right, but like, he went through the process. But, but like, how many times did Ezra, anything Ezra that Ezra has done? Multiple, uh, how many times things. does Ezra Miller need to get thrown out of a bar for disturbing the Ezra, peace Ezra Miller seems before to it's equivalent to beating someone? Things, one after another, after another, well, right, after but, another. But what are these? But what are the things? Because even you look at the... he gets help. You look at the body cam footage from the from the the arrest where they they said that like Ezra lunged at someone and all of that, and in the in the body cam footage Ezra says I was assaulted. That person is a Nazi. They did this. And none of that is even listed in the police report. Yet okay. Ezra said it on the scene, cooperating with police, saying these things happened. And you can look up the body the body cam footage. 
excluded from the police report. Wait, wait, wait which time are you talking about? The are you talking about the? the this would have been, I believe, this was Margarita Village. So when this he, would have been. You yes. talk, are you talking about the one where he choked that woman in the bar? No. Okay. No. See, that oh, was dude, in Iceland. Dude, dude, there wasn't anything with that. That's no, that's my point. No, it, see, that's, every every time when I brought up Chris Brown, I'm sorry, we're, we're only talking about the one incident. Well, I know, but, but once again, you're talking about a case that was went through a process, and we're right. making a judgment on it based on a legal conclusion that was reached. Right. That legal conclusion it, it, hasn't it, it, been hasn't been reached yet. Exactly. So it's, right. so it's so to compare the two of them as if so one of them was found guilty in a court of law, and one of them has been accused of things and not been found guilty. I'm not saying right, that that right, can't right. taint our perception of them, right. but we can't say that they are guilty of more or less. One of them is guilty of more or less than the other when only one of them has even had an opportunity to be found guilty yet. We can't, we, we can't claim that Ezra has done more until those things have actually been um, gone through the, the trial and is actually a legal verdict. My, my point the, is, how many th what is, how many things does he have to well, do but, but before how he many misdemeanors equal? Like, uh, so uh, how many misdemeanors does he need to commit before it's equivalent? Like, so I'm not, I don't, he, I don't, I don't care about the equivalent to what Chris Brown did. I'm just talking about when the hell is he gonna get charged? If you don't I mean, care about the equivalent to what Chris Brown did, why do you keep harping on the fact that it was one thing that Chris Brown did and it's a bunch of things that Ezra Miller did? Like numbers have anything to do with it? But that I think that's, but, that that is one hundred percent my point. I mean, I mean, how many times? That's why it's a bad point. The, that's I mean, why it's no, that's, that's I mean, why it's a flawed say, point. You're saying that Ezra Miller can have a, an infinite amount of crimes. Where no, I'm saying that in in a, mm, if you're living mm, in a world where you I mean, believe that Ezra Miller's alleged crimes are on the same level as Chris Brown's convicted crime, that's on you. That's that's an issue. Chris, that no, I don't give a shit about Chris Brown. He can go to jail for for life for all I can. No, I'm not but, saying but, you give a shit about Chris Brown. Good. I'm saying that the, the trying to equate dancing in like, jail. Sorry. No, no, my my no no my point no. Let me be clear. My point. Is, I don't I don't like it when people go. <laughs> I hope he gets help or they get help versus other other actors who've done worse. They, 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 well, right, but but contextually also there's a. Um, the, like the nature of what Ezra is accused of doing versus what like Chris actually actually assault and beat someone hundred percent guilty versus the other we, stuff we, is we still not but the reason the, choking but, that woman well yeah but, happen, there, yes. but uh, it did but there, but again I was this, this, this doesn't absolve Ezra but there's it's, a lot more context like even in the video it's hilarious you think that's on and, the same level but, in, you know, and in the account I don't even, say it's on, I'm not saying it's on, the, but, on the same level but but you also said but, but I'm glad what you just said a minute ago it doesn't absolve Ezra no, that's right. that's what I was looking it doesn't absolve it, it but there's a level of that's what, what, what's happening that's the problem with Ezra is that there is that all of the the accusations none of which have been had a legal verdict all stack up and so that's the way this conversation happens how many and and as a result, so you have like the thing in in, in Iceland, which not not defending that. However, yeah, contextually, yeah. you look at the video, and the video right. doesn't give a lot of what happened before. Why did the video start there? What right, happened right, before right, that? Right, what right, happened right. after that? Oh, that, that mean Ezra didn't choke right. someone, and, but and, and, uh, and, and, and per and, the and, clear, and, and per and, the account of the people yeah, that were taking the video, she yeah. was taunting Ezra to to fight her. Yeah, they said that. Yeah, they, they, yeah, they were, sure. And they and they said it was Maybe, playful. Yeah. And then they said Ezra. What, what did they, they say? Said, equal, equal, left, equal, right. Right. But they said, <laughs> but they said that they were taunting Ezra to fight, and then they're saying, oh, yeah. but she was joking, and then Ezra took it too seriously. So again, doesn't absolve Ezra, but it's, it's very different than there's a difference between Ezra running up to a random person on the street, grabbing him by the throat, slamming him to the ground, and oh, you want to fight? You want to fight? Fine. Oh, I went too hard. He did like, that right. to Austin Butler, though. Right? Uh, uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a good example, well, it, though. Is like that Austin Butler came up thing came up, and everyone was like, "Oh, oh my God, oh, there's other Ezra that's stuff." Thing. Is Clearly, well, the it, Austin it, Butler thing is true too. Thing. And it's like, well, no, we're st we're now assuming guilt because of a volume, as opposed to assuming guilt exactly. because of actual my, guilt. My, right. I guess what my so once you start peeling back these layers, you realize that the layers are stacking. When yeah. like people assume that, oh, this other assault must be true because the Iceland thing was true. It's like, well, the Iceland thing wasn't extreme as people painted it, and so it also right. doesn't prove that this other thing is true. Like right. the like the couple that filed the restraining order isn't doesn't prove that that's true, and then they withdrew that. But people are then using the restraining order as proof that the other one is true. But the restraining order was already pulled. And then you look at the the thing in the bar where he lunged at someone, and they were like, "Oh, that was violent." And it's like, well, you look at the body cam footage, and it's pretty clear that the cops, literally, the dude that that um called the cops on Ezra, 
to the police officer in the body cam footage, and again, this is this is like this can be viewed. This is not like a conspiracy. Says, so are you gonna fuck him up or am I? And they say we're not gonna. And this is the person that Ezra says uh, assaulted them. And then like the the police report just says like, oh, Ezra Miller was being a nuisance <laughs> and took a microphone from someone singing "Shallow." Um, uh-huh. I and, think the oh go ahead and like and like that's the extent of that story <laughs> and so like clearly oh, there's, there's something else like you know and, and it's and it's not uncommon for that kind of to be that kind of discrepancy with police being you know tr- right, especially right, right. especially that area of Hawaii is known for being a little bit discriminatory about against um, not just queer people but off off island colonizers um, right they'll, they'll, matter. someone from sure, out of sure, from out right? of town they they yeah, don't like right. it. Um, and so, once again, does not prove innocence, but then that is being, so then you've got Iceland and the restraining order and this, which are all something but not as big as they're being made out, and then adds weight to this next, to, like, to the next thing. And so when you get to the end, you're stacked up to this, like, well, they're wreaking havoc across the world, and it's like, well, actually, it's a it's a series of problems that need to be fixed and are not okay, and Ezra needs to not do those things, and, yeah. and maybe there's laws well broken that need to be penalized. Day, but Ezra it's, Miller is the common denominator. I mean, I'm sorry. I'm like, okay, but, no. but, 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 but what I, you I agree, asking, but, the, but the point is, once you peel back all those layers, you're like, oh, I mean, but is does, this like, does, does is this Miller's a cancel the movie thing, or is this a Ezra needs help thing? Yeah, no, no, but, this, but does, but does like, Ezra Miller's victims have to, or, or the people that he's conflicting with, have to be as famous as Rihanna for us to care? No, here's well, the no, problem. But, we also, no, 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 but Rihanna it, it, also had a court decision saying right, that she was a victim. True, true. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. It, it, right. So until you get right to pursue into that point, like until you can assess that all of Ezra Miller's victims are actually victims, like true, it's not the same comparison. And that again, it, like the biggest thing that I've said about Ezra is like, you know, the situations that they have found themselves in is situations that i personally would avoid i would not go to those bars in hawaii sure. i would not yeah, yeah, you know yeah. deal with i, I would I not deal with some of the situations that he he deals with that they deal with necessarily but by the same yeah, token yeah. the reason that it's not on the same level is because there's way too much ambiguity like literally objectively there is too much ambiguity with the ezra miller situation that is not ambiguous with the Chris I, Brown reality Chris Brown, yeah, you're right. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Yeah. So, so yeah. once again, it's yeah. not to say like, oh, magically Ezra did nothing wrong at all. Yeah. But I think that when you're talking about like why not are people that. saying I hope Ezra gets help, yeah. it's like, well, depending on what level of severity and how much you snowball all of these independent claims on top of each other, there is like, oh, Ezra's got problems and needs to get help versus like, whoa, we got to put Ezra in jail before he kills someone. Like there, there's a big gap of... of just... um a leap a leap of right. um of assumptions there that yeah uh, that is, is probably premature uh, i would say to make until there there is more that comes out oh, and, I mean, and, at, and, at least and, we, and, we can and, all agree at least we can all agree that he stayed out of the news lately right that, yeah. yeah hey hey we can do that we can yeah. absolutely do that and i would expect and, and, that there is a, a, a lot little more bit on this more comes out situation from a yeah. legal right. perspective and, and, and from a a PR? PR marketing perspective and, before the movie and, and, comes and, and, out. And, and, so I don't think this ambiguity will exist for long. They just need to right. quiet and, and, the the presses for a few what weeks. Are you about to say right? and, 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 yeah. and to be clear, absolutely nothing that we are saying means that this is set in stone. Something could happen that changes all yeah. of this. True. Of course, we yeah, don't. We right. we hope that yeah. is not the case. Right, but right, yeah. We, we, don't, we, yeah. We, we're we hoping, you know, it, you know it, 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 I kind of liken it almost to the, the, the James Gunn situation. You know, not that, exactly. James Gunn, not, not that James Gunn assaulted anybody, but when he got fired from Marvel because from of his tweets. horrific tweets. tweets from years ago, yeah. the question was whether that was, or not... That was tweet, brought up by a senator or something like that, right? Well, it, no, it was brought up by an alt-writer, but that's another yeah, yeah, topic. Yeah, exactly, but like, yeah. the, <laughs> but the, 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 the whole thing was... You know, the question out of that was, are those tweets emblematic of James Gunn's actual, like, lifestyle and personality? Is he someone that prescribes that? And so the idea was, okay, does he walk the straight and narrow or does he double down and make this worse? He didn't double down and make it worse. He walked the straight and narrow and now everything. Well, James Gunn called himself out before before he was called out by by anybody else. I mean, he called himself out. Well, and I think a big bit of the context too with Ezra to, especially when comparing to someone like James Gunn or like Ray saying like, I wouldn't go to those places is that Ezra is, is not Ezra is the type of person that is, will will 
will wear a sundress and heels to a bar in Hawaii right. you know, area where they're not going to be a big fan of that. And he, 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 the he fact that he, they won't yeah. like that, the, Ezra will go there intentionally uh, as a as a statement or a form of protest or whatever, which right. you could say is asking for it, but also there's no, problems with saying people that. are asking for it, right? Like how yeah. if you say I would say, you, I would say like, Ezra has the right to do that, I don't. I, I mean, I, exactly, I mean, does, I would but it is going to right attract to negative attention, yeah, right. um, especially would, from yeah. areas where like there is less cultural sensitivity to that kind of yeah, thing, and uh, so like that, I would defend right. Ezra's right to do that shit. But yeah, exactly. It's, it's so, my my, my yeah. point was that like 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 I mean. I'm 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 from Houston. I'm like my I I I know this is off topic, but it's like my like when uh, the Hurricane Katrina happened, and there was uh, uh, articles in the news where certain people would need to to get supplies after the hurricane hit them, and they would go into stores and 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 steal things, and the and the news would would point out certain people were quote unquote stealing and other people were finding in the exact same store mm -hmm. and it depended well, on what race yeah. it depended mm -hmm. on what race they were what how yep. they would be covered like yes. that's that was my, that's my whole point about yeah. Ezra versus like Chris Brown. I like, wish you'd have uh, said that. I wish you'd have said that up front because I figured that was where you were going. <laughs> I was waiting for you to say that. Yeah. And uh, you I said it you. minutes to get here. What I took. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, but I, I, I apologize for not. <laughs> no, no, it there. happens. It happens. It happens. <laughs> what I, what worry, I took man. from Don't this worry. whole Don't conversation worry. is we can be in the middle of a huge debate and you know talk about these big important you know serious topics, but then Captain Gator Girl can still thirst over. Over Casey in the chat and send a super oh, chat no. about passing. He's Casey, not even here. Casey, He's if you're here, here before this ends, because I'm sure it's ending soon, you need to yeah. answer we're about gonna, if you prefer pie, up. cake, icing, yeah. or whipped cream. The 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 ladies want to oh, know. Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, so, oh yeah. Oh, come right. on, what Casey. What I've noticed in this whole stream is that Travis, that yeah. I think you're, you you don't Just have right your AC on because you've been sweating like. Oh crazy. no, I'm I... sweating like a hooker in church right now. It is <laughs> the AC is all the way to the other across the room. My kids are sleeping, so the door is closed. But oh yeah. Yeah, I was actually going to point that out. Times, Dude, I was actually going to point that out, uh, Travis. I was like, no, your guys' combo has been so it. worried. I'm like, oh my yeah. God. No, yeah. no, it's just hot. It's it. Yesterday was like the hottest day ever where I live. So it's a week of that. Next week yeah. is supposed to be rain, but right now it's just sweat. So you've been gross. seeing you like the whole time. Fan? You don't have a little fan like blowing like right here, like up your shorts. So, I just so worry been... the mic catches it. I don't want to be that guy. Where you're like, mm, yeah. you're like oh, fuck. Right. Travis has this. Yeah, I, I got my AC off too so, over here. So, so yeah. conversely, you've been sitting there the whole time like, well, these fuckers shut up so I can cool off. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was fine. It was the around like 10. 10, 30 mark where I was like, oh, I'm starting to feel it now. And now it's like, ooh. It's, but yeah. yeah, Casey, if you're there, you got to answer these women about this whipped cream. I'll answer Captain Gator Girl's question. It's pie with whipped cream. Yeah, Pumpkin yeah. pie with whipped cream yeah. is the Casey's. ultimate for me. This is the question. Oh, wow. I'll bring it up again. Thank you for the $5 creep chat mm -hmm. for pie cake. And I would I, say, yeah. What are we saying? I think, here? I think I'm a cake. Cake. Man, so. Cake. Uh, yeah. Depends. I'd cake. go with cake. Oh, more I see a bubble. I see Casey. It's moving. Yeah, I, I said yeah. cake. Okay. Okay, you're a cake okay. guy. Okay. And icing or whipped okay. cream. I think they don't want to know for food purposes, but that's okay. Oh boy. Yeah, probably <laughs> not. Yeah, probably Definitely not. But, uh, yeah, Definitely but anyways, cream. I think this is a good way to uh, end it. And like you know, like when, when it comes to the Ezra situation, yeah, that's good. It's a, it's it was uh, it was good to get into that because Stephen's very much more in the know of like a lot of. A lot of things yeah. and he can articulate it better and everything like it's it's all it's a weird situation and it's like it's not where like going oh yeah he's 100 percent it but it's just a weird yeah. it's a weird no, situation i think I, i'm very stuff. glad that yeah. whatever they're doing they haven't been in the press recently because what is the biggest yeah. thing that's been needed is just to stop the headlines yeah. for long yeah. enough I'm people glad to, about to get that. their yeah. to get yes. their bearings yeah. on like what the hell just happened because people haven't been able to evaluate what happened in Hawaii because we're focused on what's happening here and what's happening here. And, right. and it, yeah. it spins out of yeah. control so fast. And so yeah. hopefully there's some quiet and Ezra, hopefully yeah. Ezra gets some help. Right. And then we'll find out more and, 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 truth about it later. Right. And, and Chris, pur pursuant to what I was saying earlier about narratives against the flash. Yeah. That's part of it, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. There are people that when they assess the situation, they don't assess it from the, hum the, the, the humanitarian aspect. They assess it from the aspect of they want this movie to fail. Yeah, so, they yeah. hope that, uh, so they hope that it gets more serious and they hope that, right. it, you know, for very selfish and 
ridiculous reasons. Yeah. So. No, and I, and I agree. And just to clarify to you guys, I'm not, I don't, I'm not a celebrity worshiper. I don't care <laughs> about Chris Brown or Ezra, Ezra Miller. I, I'm, I was more trying to make, I, I should have made the point like, like, or Ray pointed no, out, I, I should have made it clearer in the beginning. No, no, about, the, no, no about the no, coverage. Yes. I personally think it's, it's really about. good to have that kind of conversation, though, because that's the kind yeah. of like when yeah. we talk about it, we, we're, we're usually like, we don't, we don't have somebody, you know, in the past we've talked about it, we haven't had anybody that, that's been more, more pressing on some of these issues. And I think that's really yeah. important because, yeah. like I said, the, the perception of what's going on versus like what's actually going on is mm -hmm. like there's a pretty or i don't not necessarily what's actually going on but like what the range of things that could be going on yeah um yeah is and like because i i as a i i work in local news also and i used to write up police reports it's like i would go look at the police report from hawaii and then i would look at the the way the news wrote it up and then i would look at the way the entertainment media picked it up and you see an evolution mm -hmm. of like the facts to versus the narrative yeah that yeah. that all spirals out of control and yeah. then you get uh, and then you get piggybackers where it's like okay is this person taking advantage of the fact that people are already suspicious of Ezra or is this more yeah adding on right. top of it and um and there's i don't know there's stalkers and there's all sorts of cra like it's going to yeah. be a wild well, story when it eventually yeah. is told regardless yeah. of the what yeah. the but like yeah. it's um but no i think i think i do i do think it's it's very very valuable to have that discussion in a way that like yeah. can have it all out in front of people because that's the and biggest thing me, about I, the, I, I, I wasn't trying I wasn't trying to start the justice for Chris Brown movie. <laughs> no, 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 that's no, next no, Saturday. No, that's next Saturday. No, no, no. Yeah, we'll, no. we'll we'll do it next or, week. Or, but that's the kind of conversation about this that like but like that's the kind of conversation about this whole thing that like hasn't been happening, which is part of the problem. And why there's no there's lack of clarity is because it's just like headline assumption, headline assumption, headline assumption it, it, and so, because chris yeah. had you like you know because i'm not afraid i'm not i am not fearful at all of talking about race or any of those serious issues socioeconomically that we deal with had you brought that up before what yeah, i would yeah. have said is i believe that because of ezra's lgbtq plus status that puts him more in terms of the minority with respect to the perception of his story I know that because of the color of their skin, you it, it may seem otherwise, and that's what, what you're going with. But I think he's far more towards the minority in terms of how hit, their story is being perceived or, or being no, I, I, I transmitted out there. I know, I know in what that you're saying yeah. in that regard. Yeah. So, like, I if do, it were, 100%. you know, like if it were, if it were, like, you know. Uh, Hemsworth or Evans or something. Yeah, like that. Cis, like, cis white. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Right. So, yeah. yeah. Well, you look like even Anthony Starr like was arrested recently, and then uh, he was at Comic Con a week later, and people were like, right. "Ah, Homelander," and it's like, "Well, <laughs> right." Anthony Starr was like, "Yeah, like the." So it's like the you know how do these things get reported and how does the narrative evolve? He's and been anyway, in his evil, anyway, evil Tony, face. I how did Tony's it get so political on the film junkie? <laughs> I know, right? It happens. It happens. It does happen every now and again. But I think this is a good way to end it. And uh, I mean, I know Tony, you have to go first because you were mentioning that. Hungry so, girlfriend, go to bounce. Yeah, <laughs> hungry important. girlfriend. <laughs> hungry. Okay. Yeah. We'll see is that icing or fro or Should uh, be thirsty? Why is it? I'll I'm find out when. I... Uh, <laughs> oh, Travis is wiping himself off again. That's a, that's oh, a let's talk of why and hungry. <laughs> oh yeah, I can't wait. Oh. <laughs> There you go. All right. Thank you, Tony. And uh, follow him on uh, yeah, Bell and Jerry, man. Instagram. Thanks for having me, boys. Great yeah, chat. As always. Take always care, care. Great. Touch out. All right. Yeah. We'll go around the horn. And uh, thank you to, of course, the uh, my guest right here, Mr. Chris, uh, T3 Medias, man. This has been a lot of fun and great conversation that we had before these rascals showed up, of course, and, <laughs> and ruined it all. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, uh, no, they, but, uh, they, if anything, they made it way better. Oh, awesome. no, of course awesome. they did. <laughs> that's, that's what it's all about, man. And that's what it is. But uh, go ahead and promote promote yourself, promote the channel, do all that oh, stuff. Oh, yeah. At, at, at T3 Medias uh, with, the, with the S at the end of, of I'm sorry, I I didn't realize that it wasn't a, a plural kind of a situation. I'm sorry. I'm Scott, Scott's like, oh, Dave, not, Dave uh, spells junkie with two E's. I think I'm, I know. I'm, I spell uh, junkie with three E's. It's fine. I, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm one sandwich short of a picnic. I'm, I apologize. I, I humble myself before you and I beg your forgiveness. Uh, but uh, yeah, you can uh, every week, like I said, every week we do our uh, entertainment news uh, live shows and movie reviews and stuff. So come check us out. I appreciate it at uh, T3 Readers and I, I appreciate you having me on.
thanks guys there you go yeah i know yeah mm -hmm. doors always open man if you want to come on for sure and just always yes. join the conversation yes part of the family right there part of the lounge kc yeah you can find me at crypto on case on all social media as well as at the real talk live or sometimes having cake <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gotta start OnlyFans here soon, Casey. You know, just you eating cake. Just you bro. eating cake. Yeah, multiple. Yeah. I mean, oh okay. Lots of money there. Oh man, I love it. All right, with a chair. And then yeah. we got Ray. We're go ahead, Ray. <laughs> uh, on Twitter at the Flightcast, you can find my blog and my podcast at theflightcast.com. You can also find me on Squadcast Media with that gentleman right there because. On occasion, we do episodes of DCTV Squadcast, and we finally released our further discussion on Superman and Lois Season 2, which ended up being perfect timing because it's on HBO Max now. Mm, so yes. that worked out. No, I got I to uh, catch yeah. up. Yeah. Yes. All right, Travis. Uh, yeah, you can find me at Travis B. Snail talking all this type of stuff. I'm off for the next five weeks. So I'm going to be doing lots of podcasting, and you'll get to see me sweat my ass off in this room. But, uh, yeah, fill the time up a little bit. I'm talking about a bunch of stuff, and uh, yeah, it was lots of fun. Thanks for having me, and uh, and we're having a good weekend. Is it a long week? No, it's not a long weekend for you guys. Sorry. I was going to say have a good long weekend, but I got BC Day coming up. Woo! Yeah, yeah I thought you tweet something that you're off of work for a bit. Yeah, I, get, uh, I got paternity leave here, so nice. I get five weeks nice. off paid, so I'm pretty happy right. to just Congrats. be at home in the summer. Yeah, it's nice, so we're just going to be camping and hanging out while the summer, and uh Hopefully in a fucking pool here soon. So <laughs> I know, I'm right? gonna shower after this, cool off. and not yeah. just because of KC. I'm gonna shower just because like I'm sweating all over. <laughs> like that, you know? so, you yeah. just feel dirty for hanging out with us all night. That's what it is. You DC I fucking is. chills. I, Gosh, I know, man. right? Oh, you bought right here. Oh, oh yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Talking bad away. about the gold <laughs> print or the whatever the standard it is, whatever it is. Yeah. I'm too hot. Oh. You know you love it. You know you love yes. See that face. Steven. Yeah. Uh, -huh. uh yeah, I'm Stephen Colbert. You can find me on social media at SM Colbert. Uh you can uh, find my writing at screenrant.com. I talked about it a little bit on the stream, but uh just earlier today we published uh a piece I wrote called The Rock Applied the Pressure WB Needs to Bring Back Cavill Superman, basically talking yes. about him trying to play heel um mm. at, to the DC for the whole DCEU um and how uh he needs Superman to make that happen. Um and uh, you can check out my podcasts with uh, with Andrew Dice at SnyderMinute.com. Um, and I also want to plug Cold Showers. Um, yes. Uh, if you if you like, they're just awesome in general. But if you yeah, they are. If you're if you're not familiar, Travis, it sounds like yeah. you are. Um, yeah, I'm gonna be not just not just comfortable, <laughs> but like also for like temperature regulation is like actually like phenomenally helpful. So I've heard help you're even supposed like... to have them in the winter. It helps with bloodstream yeah. and stuff like that. All year yeah. round, all yeah, year all round. Year. Yeah. yeah, it's yeah. like it's amazing. Well, and just the like the mental like the stepping into a cold a mm -hmm. cold stream, like getting your brain That's training the your brain to do that. Yeah, like is like really anybody really who, awesome who thing, just so. turns into cold after they've done warm, <laughs> fuck you. No, you got to jump. You got to actually. <laughs> Jump yeah. into the shower. Yeah. You actually have to step into the cold and stay, shower. And stay under it. Some full, yeah. Yes. And, yeah. No, awesome. no. That's that's yeah. that's that's the, the the challenge right there. Yeah. Yeah. Just saying. Uh, so yeah, check out my writing, a screen rant, my podcast, and take cold showers. <laughs> so that's what I got to say. <laughs> All right, and I think that's it. Oh wait, no, no. We got Scott McClellan who's going to send us <laughs> off as he does. Scotty, too hotty. Scotty, send us off. Of course, you can find me on Twitter at ScottDC27. You can find my podcast at DC Squadcast, where podcasts can be found, where we will have upcoming episodes with our Comic-Con debrief, our Super Pets review, Man of Steel, Scene 1, and Batman, uh, Scene by Scene, Scene 10 and 11. We're on Vero, Facebook, YouTube, with entire network of shows at SquadcastMedia.com. And of course, every Sunday night at 9 o'clock Central, you can find me here on the Film Junkie channel talking with this guy about Batman the Animated Series on the Fan Animated Stream. This week will be Shadow of the Bat Part 1, the introduction of Batgirl. There it is. That, that was a soothing voice. I, I feel that's like why he does that. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's why he, that's why I save him for last. Yes. I love that. Chris, I'm, that's I'm, why I save him for last. Yeah. I'm going I'm yes. going to have great dreams tonight. Everybody. Yes, exactly. Right. <laughs> We're all going to have great dreams tonight. We really are. All right, guys, smash that like thumbs up and uh, do all that stuff. Follow me on all the stuff. All the links are provided down below. Thank you to uh, Chris. Thank you for being the guest. This has been a lot of fun. Thank you to the panel. Always a lot of fun. And we will talk to you guys later. <laughs> <laughs>